Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne. Guys, we have a wild video for you today. We are going to be talking about body shaming for men and body shaming of women. So let's get right into it. I guess I gotta go. I guess it's time to go. All right. So the first video that I have for you is a woman who says in the caption, when you push him away to see if he really cares and he really leaves you alone. Now, this is something that really hit home for me because I've been in relationships with women that I really felt like it could have gone a lot further. But a lot of times these women are commitment phobes, meaning that they don't want to commit because they still have their youth and they still want to see what's out there. So they do things to push you away, like say, oh, it's not you, it's me, or talk about maybe some things that they experienced in the past that is making it difficult that, for them uh, to you know, open up to you. There's always going to be some thing. They might even cheat on you. They might even treat you disrespectfully to see how long you are going to take it. So <clears throat> um, a lot of you know, pretty girls struggle with this um, commitment phobia where they have so many options that when they do get a guy who treats them the right way, they treat him like crap. And then on the back end, they're going to say, where did all the good men go? What? When I grow up, I'm not going to get a BBL like you. Mm. What's wrong with getting a BBL? I'm not going to wear a butt for the rest of my life. <laughs> what? So you heard what she said, guys. You heard what she said. She said when she grows up, she's not going to get a BBL like her mother and I talked about this on my other channel, Black Gen Z Mindset, which you guys should go and subscribe to, um, where we break down women who go overseas and die on the operating table in order to reach some type of vain appearance that they think is going to be attractive to men. You see a lot of these single mothers doing this, especially a lot of the single mother sisters doing this, because they think if they go get a BBL, then it negates the fact that they're a single mom and they're going to be able to attract like NBA players or NFL players or rappers or something like that. Because we all know that's the main reason why they're getting a BBL, either either to attract one of those guys or to get on OnlyFans and start popping that thing for $3.99 a month. So you have to understand the dynamic and the reasoning behind why these women are going overseas to get BBLs and mutilating their bodies and putting their lives on the line, even when they have small children at home and undergoing so much pain just to reach some type of vain body image that they are looking for. Let's watch this one more time. When I grow up, I'm not going to get a BBL like you. What's wrong with getting a BBL? I'm not going to wear a butt for the rest of my life. <laughs> so you heard what she said. She said the main reason why she's not going to get a BBL is because she doesn't want to wear a butt bonnet <clears throat> for the rest of her life. So I guess that's something that is, you know, protecting her behind in order to heal and whatnot. And then she's also on a lot of pain medications as well, I suppose. Um, and she has two daughters. What example is she setting for her daughters? I can almost guarantee that she's on social media twerking and doing all this stuff. What type of example is she setting for her daughter that, that makes it, appear that you have to go under the knife in order to have a banging body see these women are just completely lazy they don't want to get in the gym um 
they have complete control over their bodies, but they decide to go and give that control up to some surgeon who's charging 40% off of a procedure that you could get in the States that's going to be a lot more safe. So um, I would advise you guys, if you do run into some of these women who do have BBLs, I would just say use them for recreational use only. Um, it's unfortunate that she's showing her two daughters that this is how you attract men. And um, I mean, these sisters got to do better, man, especially when raising these little girls, because, <laughs> you know, I don't want to talk down on these little girls, but it just seems like they're headed for a fast life once they uh, graduate and get out on their own. Would you rather date a tall guy who was ugly or a short guy who was cute? I'm a tall bitch, so probably tall. Why tall guy? We want to breed athletes over here, so if we got tall and he has a good personality, that's all I need. Okay. If you can make me laugh and you're also a little bit above my height because I'm 5'8", if you got a good personality and you're tall, we're going to breed athletes. So. so if we're talking breeding athletes, is it better to breed an athlete with a white guy or a black guy? I've never dated a black guy, so probably white because okay. that's all I know. Yeah. I've dated a mixed person, and let me just tell you, I love him. No. Yeah. Okay. She knows I, and I don't. I still love him to listen. She knows and I don't. So, so I don't know how they, if you're watching, if they have this, the same personality. You. Would you rather date? Wow. So, <laughs> so the brother asked these lovely ladies, right? Would you rather date a cute short guy or a um, ugly tall guy? And here you have it. The height shaming goes straight into effect. She chooses a. Um, <clears throat> a uh, ugly tall guy okay and the reality of the situation is that these chicks don't even really understand what it takes to quote unquote breed an athlete just because you're tall doesn't mean you're going to be athletic there's a whole bunch of tall awkward dudes who you know can't shoot a basketball can't play no damn football run you know slower than a turtle so it, it, it's so funny that they're just assuming that if they get tall kids that they're going to be athletic. Um, no, ma'am, that, that's not how it works, okay? especially if the woman is just like some awkward. Like if you're not an athlete yourself, which they don't really look that athletic to me, then, um, you know, unless you're just breeding some with some freak of nature who is most likely going to, depending on what sport they're talking about, most likely going to be a brother they're going to have to um, switch up their standards. Date a tall guy who was ugly or a short guy who was cute? I'm a tall bitch, so probably tall. Why tall guy? We want to breed athletes over here, so if we got... I mean, it's, 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 it's completely laughable that they think that they're just going to breed athletes. Like, dude, I mean, look at this woman. Are you really going to be pushing out an athlete? Yeah, probably not. It's, it's like they already have expectations for their children and they don't even know what it takes to, to breed an athlete. It doesn't, it's not just about, Oh, you know, having intercourse and then popping out a baby. No, you have to train that child from day one to build toughness, to build character, to build poise, to build these clutch genes or, or, or these, these, um, uh, you know, these, uh, how do I say extraordinary, um, attributes that these professional athletes have it's not it's, it's not just about opening up your legs to a tall guy tall and he has a good personality that's all i need okay if you can make me laugh and you're also a little bit above my height because i'm five eight if you got a per good personality and you're tall we're gonna okay so all, for all my short kings out here i always tell you guys hey man um date somebody who's your height or shorter now i know that even the short girls are saying oh i want six feet i want six feet but the reality is they're not really smashing. Um, they're not really only exclusively smashing dudes who are six feet. Uh, I, I always say, hey, look at the last five dudes that she laid down with. Most of the time, not all of them are going to um, check off every box that she desires. So, um, you know, just look at what they do and not what they say necessarily. And breed athletes. So, so if we're talking breeding athletes, is it better to breed an athlete with a white guy or a black guy? There you have it. So this woman says she's never dated a black guy, so a white guy probably, you know, and I, and, and there's plenty of great white athletes out here. But if you're going to breed with a white guy,
who and you want the child to be like super athletic, you're probably going to have to make sure that he was an athlete as well, because there's a lot of tall, awkward, you know, black and white guys out there. So, um, you know, just some food for thought. I dated a black guy, so probably white, because okay. that's all I know. Okay. I've dated a mixed person, and let me just tell you, I love him. No. Okay. She knows, I, and I, know. I still love him to listen. So she loves the mixed guy who it sounds like he kind of did her dirty, but she still loves that man to this day. Hey, man. <laughs> we talked about in my live stream who has the advantage, mixed guys, white guys, or black guys. And honestly, I think the mixed guys are, are definitely – um, definitely eaten out here. She knows and I don't, so. So, I don't know know Labels, if you're watching they have this, the same personality. You. All right, guys. So, for the final video we have, we are going to be break down, breaking down, rather, a video from Lizzo. And she is looking absolutely ridiculous. And you have all the women and the simps in the comments section agreeing with everything she says so it's absolutely insane let's let's get into it the discourse around bodies is officially tired the discourse around bodies is tired so she says the discourse around bodies is tired meaning the conversations around what is a proper body image what men are attracted to what women um are attracted to but specifically what men are attracted to because it's not tired when you're talking about you don't want a short guy or you don't want a, a fat short guy or you don't, you know, want a guy who's bald or anything like that. Things that you can't control as a man. But once you start talking about a woman's weight, not, oh, now it's tired. Oh, y'all dragging it. No, um, actually, we're going to put our foot on the gas and we're going to keep having this discourse. We're going to keep having this discussion and we are going to keep bringing up Lizzo sized in the titles in order to let you know that, hey, this is not okay. The way that you look, the way that you're taking care of yourself is absolutely abysmal. It is not okay. It's deplorable. And we don't want women who look like this. We don't want our women to look like this at all. I have seen comments go from, oh my gosh, I liked you when you were thick. Why'd you lose weight? To, oh my gosh, why'd you get a BBL? I liked your body before. To what? I know they ain't talking about her because I don't see no weight loss. I don't see no BBL. And oh my God, her breasts are just disgusting, man. I, I, I literally have, I mean, I probably have seen, you know, chesticles like this before, but look how they split. And then they're just like, I guarantee you could like grab them like this and it would, it would, it would fit. They're so flat. It would fit in your hand. Like when it comes to boobs, you want to be able to do that. With hers, you can like slide your hands in and like flap them up and down. I mean, that is absolutely disgusting, man. Oh my gosh, you're so big. Oh, um, you need to lose weight, but for your health to, oh my gosh, you're so little. You need to get ass or titties or something to, oh my gosh, why did she get all that work done? It's just too much work. Um, yeah, men like natural. So maybe if you naturally lost the weight, obviously you're so big, Lizzo that you're going to have to, um, you know, get skin tightened and removed and whatnot, which we understand that if, if you're a big girl and you are like 300 pounds like Lizzo, and then you slim down to like 150, we understand that, hey, you're going to have to go under the knife to get rid of that excess skin. Perfectly fine. You know, there's some guys who will be fine with that. Me personally, I really don't want any scars on my woman. I don't want any tattoos. I want her skin to be like, you know, smooth, flawless, as, as flawless as humanly possible, right? Um, because I have smooth skin. So I'm only asking what I can provide. The reality is <clears throat> that <laughs> men like natural women. And yes, we will smash the BBLs of the world. But at the same time, those women are not getting married. Are we okay? Do you see the delusion? I know she's not talking about delusion. This is the same woman that says she's healthy at 300 pounds. Her body is disgusting. I mean, like it's that bad. It is that bad. And this is how a lot of Western women look. That's why people are going overseas. That's why men are looking for women who are slimmer because you ask this woman, hey, why are you fat? Like I've broken down in previous um, 
in previous videos and they'll say, oh, ma racism. Do we realize that artists are not here to fit into your beauty standards? Artists are here to make art. Okay, your beauty standards. Look, there's only one beauty standard, okay? I hate when they say, oh, that's just your beauty standard or your beauty standard. Like, dude, there's only one beauty standard and fat is not in it. And this body oh. is art. And I'm going to do whatever I want with this body. I can't believe she just slapped her ass. Oh, oh my God. I wish that comments costed y'all money so we can see how much time we are fucking wasting on the wrong thing. So that just shows you the comments are getting to her. Hey, shout out to the comment kings. Apply pressure. Can we leave that shit back there, please? All right, guys. So I hope you liked that video. We talked about height shaming. We talked about fat shaming. And it seems like women don't really care because they're, you know, open to height shaming and saying this and that and you have to be this and you have to be that. But once we start talking about that, that we're wide shaming, wide shaming, okay, then it's an issue. So let me know what you guys think. Um, is Lizzo's body disgusting? Is it beautiful? Would you hit? Would you not hit? Okay. Let me know in the comment section below. But you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Reclaiming Tone. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Send your relationship questions. You email down below with a screenshot of your cash app so I know you pay your time, man. Y'all need to be on your mark freaking game with the BS. You already know. Reclaim your throne. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step-by-step step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim What's good, Cyberspace? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. So guys, man, we have so much to get into. I haven't been live for so long. YouTube has changed a lot of their rules. So guys, boom, hit the rumble. Hit the rumble, guys. Check out the rumble. YouTube is changing their rules. They're getting more... Um, Peified, if I could say, okay, I don't want to curse within the first however many minutes, but um, <clears throat> even though, you know, once these rappers drop a song, their songs are like two minutes long and they're cursing, you know, 90% of the words in the rap song are curse words, but YouTube says, oh, th these songs can be monetized, but somebody giving their commentary if they curse within the first, I don't know, I, I don't even remember the rule, but the first seven seconds or is it the first seven minutes, something like that of of the video oh now you're demonetized dude it's such b s bro i i mean dude like the hypocrisy is crazy so i can if i as long as i put a beat behind it i can say whatever i want but if i'm giving commentary that is comedic you know presented in a comedic way or even in a you know pseudo intellectual way i it's so much b s bro like this is so unfair, man. Like I'm just sitting back, like looking at the, the community guideline changes and whatnot. And I'm just like, bruh, what? And then they did this thing where like, if you, if you use music um, from an artist, they're pretty much in, in your shorts or whatever. They're pretty much going to get the majority of that revenue. I mean, what, kind of, <laughs> what, how does that even make sense? I could understand giving them a cut, right? But, oh my God, it's like they're, they're basically saying, well, the music is what makes up the short. No, the content, the video content in the short is what makes the short go viral. It's not the freaking song. Yes, using popular songs help push it in the algorithm, but what you do in that video is what's going to make that, that, that video go viral. It's not the, mm. 
that's how you can tell that the people that work at the, you know, at Google or Alphabet rather, dude, they're so out of touch, so out of touch with the culture. And I'm not talking about just the black culture. I'm talking about internet culture, period. They, they want so too much control. It needs to be decentralized. It's disgusting what's going on and, and, the, and, and how they can just arbitrarily change the rules and they're taking more money from content creators who built this platform. Content creators build this platform. And, and yes, there are people who are willing to get on this platform and sell out 100%. But the people who stand tall on their scruples, man, um, you got to give kudos to those people. And, and, and when it comes to this type of stuff, I'm about the honor of it, man. Um, I'm about giving back to you know my subscribers, the guys who 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 put me on, bro. You know, other content creators who put me on. The we the content creators create this platform. We are the backbones of this platform. These guys who are editing these videos nonstop, spending hours to give entertainment to people online. I mean. It's a thankless job. But anyways, shout out to my subscribers, the guys who are in, in the chat. We're reading chats. Also, if you feel so generous, do hit that super trap and I will give you one of these. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello? Where we at? Where we at? Oh, you want to know where I'm at? <laughs> we outside. <laughs> okay, so um, if you do hit a super, hit the super trap, I will give you a um, shout out. Uh, but uh, Clan Siege uh, 20 says, Austin Holloman just apologized to them. Apologizing is an admission of guilt. Never apologize to the woke mob. Yeah, shout out to Clan Siege. I always, 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 always have said this since day one when I was doing the Quarantino streams, which I'm still doing the quarant Quarantino streams. But Quarantino to God is severely um, shadow banned. So, I mean, all of my channels are shadow banned, but so it does, it really doesn't matter. But guys, that's why you got to go to the Rumble. But um, yeah, you cannot apologize. Stand on it, bruh. Stand on it. If there's anything that I got to say to Austin Holloman, bro, never bend the knee. Stand on it. Y'all be weak in the knees. Stand up. Stand up. You got to stand up. I hate seeing men apologize and, and when it comes to these feminists they want to humble men so after i read these chats i do want to get into a story that you know is a heartbreaking story that i want to show you guys but then we'll get straight into the austin holloman stuff i don't want to get too deep on it yet but yeah the, the, i i 100 agree with you clan siege you have to stand on it bro whatever you got to do if you in brazil man you want to grip up nigga grip up grip up okay like I, I don't give a fuck where i go i'm getting my hands on a hammer okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying and i'm not even trying to sound gangster I, I i own guns i love guns i'm about guns bro so wherever i go i'm gonna be holding i'm not saying i'm gonna fly to the destination with that but we gonna make some connections i'm gonna be holding because y'all like you threaten my life oh yeah we gonna be gripped up um, Caesar D says, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like the video she took is filtered. What's up with these young sisters? Yeah. So that was a, um, a, a video from my channel. Um, Goosebeard says, what's going on here? He also says he got deported for replacing their short AF men. Makes sense. Um, he didn't actually get deported. Like nothing, nothing legal has actually happened. It's just like online BS. Goosebeard says, see, um, he says, oh, good grief. Lazy people have mics. Yep. DVB says she looks terrible. Yep. Talking about Lizzo. Um, she said DVB says she has 80 backs. Yeah. Goosebeard says, dude, you go all the way. Oh, yes, absolutely. I do. OK. And we're never calming down, turning down for what? All right. Caesar D says nothing is worse than a fat chick with little tits. Absolutely. You're 100 percent right. I mean, if you're going to be a fat chick, at least have some big, plump, juicy fucking tits, man. I mean, because that's the only thing that's going to make you come back, you know, and, and, and at least a cute face. Come on now. Um, or a big old ass. Like it has to be proportional. Like if you're going to be a fat chick, you have to have proportions. 
Um, House of Lamar says she stink. Yes. DVB says that Brazilian feminist is wild. Um, David Digital from the uh, 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 Twitch says the one piece is real. DVB says she tried to put a target on all American black men. Wow. Um, the Do Better podcast with Theo Coop says uh, salute. So shout out to you guys there. Uh, <laughs> he says fat chicks with no tits were cursed by God. Uh, yeah, no shit. All right. Like <laughs> it's 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 wild. And, and it's wild how they're like trying to give fat hoes confidence. I'm just sitting back like y'all just I mean. No, the standard is gone. So anyways, I did want to share this story because this comes from my alma mater. Uh, very sad story here. Um, Georgia football player uh, staff and staff member killed in a car accident. Um, and this is Devin Willock, 20 year old defensive lineman. Um, just like a, a straight hog, a straight hog, bro. I mean, he's a beast. All those guys on that on that team are just like excellent athletes. And we talked about, you know, women trying to breed athletes and, and you know, what are the best odds of breeding an athlete? Um, yeah. If you want to breed an athlete, these are the types of guys that you breed athletes with you, a guy with an athletic history. So, I mean, this story is just absolutely sad. Athens, Clark County Police said two people deleted in a car crash early Sunday morning. University of Georgia Athletics Department confirmed the victims are a Georgia Bulldogs football player and staffer. Police said 20-year-old Devin Willock was a passenger in a Ford Expedition that crashed on Barnett Shoals Road. Wow. Barnett Shoals Road. You got to, man. I mean, that's just tragic um, because I used to actually stay on Barnett Shoals Road back in the Dene during my college days. Um, and And it's just like that road is not that difficult to drive on. I don't know who was driving, but I, I don't know what was going on in that vehicle. Maybe there was some intoxication. I really hope not. I pray to God that everybody, well, I mean, it was a Saturday night. I'm not going to say that everybody was sober, but at least the driver was sober. Okay. Um, in a Ford expedition that crashed on Barnett Shoals Road, police responded to the 900 block at around 2 45 AM. Woolock was deceased at the scene. Lord have mercy. The driver of the car, 24-year-old Chandler LaCroix, died after an ambulance took her to a nearby hospital. LaCroix was a member of the Georgia football recruiting staff. Okay, so the woman, Chandler LaCroix, she was the one driving. Damn, bro. Damn. So everybody is giving condolences um, to her Instagram. <clears throat> I don't get it though. Like what, what, um, was she geeked up? Hopefully not. Oh man. I, that, I would hate for that. Police said two others, a 21 year old man and 26 year old man or woman were seriously injured. The UGA athletics confirmed that both, po uh, both injured people were also members of the football program. They're in stable condition. Well, did they hit anybody? I'm trying to figure out. Damn. So Kirby put out a statement. We are all heartbroken and devastated with the loss of Devin Willock and Chandler LaCroix. Devin was an outstanding young man in every way and was always smiling. He was a great teammate and a joy to coach. Um, Chandler was a valuable member of our football staff and we and brought an incredible attitude and energy every single day. We grieve with their families for this tragic loss and we'll support them in any way possible. Um, and, you know. What I will say, though, is a lot of times the staff are not really supposed to be hanging out, like going downtown and, and linking up with the players. I will say that I don't I'm not trying to, you know, it's obviously a tragic situation, but um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's interesting to kind of see what was going on. And then obviously, so we'll go to her. I'm not saying that they did have something going on, but um, this is her Instagram, as you guys can see. And she was obviously, I told you guys about the uh, Blackout Tuesday joint way back in the day. I told you about it. Um, so we don't <laughs> really have to get into the details of that. But all in all, man, this is a tragic loss. Maybe they had something going on. I don't know. I don't know how she wrecked the whip. 
Um, you know, it, it, it's tragic, bro, because accidents happen for show. I really hope that they were not intoxicated or some type of, um, I don't know. There were, there were witnesses. They could, we don't know, you know, I'm not really going to get into the woods of what really happened, what actually happened in the car. I'm sure we'll find out something. Um, but yeah, man, that one blows. So anyways, <clears throat> Let's get into the Austin Holloman video, but uh, the first thing I want to do is get into the woman who is coming out and going extra hard on Austin Holloman. All right, we're going to have to use a translator. Okay, we're going to have to use a translator um, on this one because I don't know Portuguese. It, it would have been easier in Spanish. I know um, a good amount of Spanish. But this is Portuguese, so I'm not well versed in Portuguese. But I, 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 I do think that you can actually communicate with Portuguese people speaking a little Spanish as well. Um, so I can pretty much read this. It says "ser negro." Um, it says to be black, and I guess or activism. I don't know. I don't know. And then it's she it's a quote from Beyonce. Something about to be black, though. Let's let's look at it. I'll say being black is your activism. Black excellent excellence is a form of protest. Black happiness is your right. I mean, Jesus Christ. I get the, you know, being <laughs> proud of your race and all that stuff. But y'all motherfuckers really just be dragging it. I'm not going to lie. OK, you black. Good. Good for you. I mean, if white people had this much pride in being white, you know, we're going to call it white supremacy. So. And I'm not saying that you can't be, you know, go out and celebrate your blackness and all this shit. But at the same time, it's just I mean, it just seems like such a cope to I'm black and celebrate my blackness. And, you know, obviously, <laughs> I mean, I get it. People are trying to instill um, confidence within themselves and then within the other black people. Um, but at the end of the day, man, your confidence usually is going to come from the family that you were brought up with. Um, it's more about the people that you were raised by um, than the color of your skin. You know, we we try so hard to get to a point where, you know, you even have white people out here saying, oh, I don't see color. I don't see color. But then, you know, every chance that black people get, we're out here. Oh, we're black. And, and you know, our blackness is this. And you know, we have it, being black is activism. Like, how the fuck is being black activism? Like, dude, you could be a piece of shit black dude. Dude, you're not a fucking activist. Um, and, you know, the black excellence is a form of protest. Bro, what? <laughs> oh, no, they, I'm, I just think they drag it. I really do. Um, in this woke society, we are dealing with hella feminists and it's global. Um, I, I, I love the passport bros. I love what they're doing. I love the movement. I love the fact that you have, you know, black men who are now going out and exploring the world, just like every other man has done. Okay. Every other man has done. But, um, the issue is the issue is that, uh, when it comes to Austin Holloman, he was doing a little too much. I will say that. Okay. He was doing a little too much. You want to leave room for discretion. You don't want to put out everything that you're doing. And I think he was giving the people a, a, a little too much. Um, as far as what she's accusing him of, sex trafficking and all this other bullshit, dude, that's straight bullshit. That's straight bullshit. Because there are certain legal prerequisites that you have to have to you know, classify something as sex trafficking. Now they're trying to do the th same thing to Andrew Tate. And I, I, I will do a live stream on that. Once we get a little bit more facts, I want to wait just a little bit longer because they have a lot of shit coming out that I see as being false. And I see as information that's being true. Um, I remember the first time I was exposed to Tate is through his little webcam course and how in that that thing that they're saying is sn self snitching and whatnot. That's the literally first video that I ever seen of him. And when I heard that video, I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was entertaining. Um, but I, I thought that, you know, 
maybe he was saying a little bit too much, especially if he really had bread like that. Um, <clears throat> so we have this, this feminist and she obviously she's dragging the black shit, which that defeats the argument of the sisters in the state saying, oh, you're going over there so you can deal with non-black women. No, they're actually, I've already broken this down in another live stream. There are actually more black women overseas than there are black women in the United States. So just because, I mean, look at all the black women in Africa. There's a, a whole lot more um, peop, uh, black people who were brought to South America than the United States during the transatlantic slave trade. Um, a lot of people don't know that or understand that to be true. And that's the freaking reality. So um, she's doing a lot here. I want to get to the Austin Holloman um, back and forth stuff. And let me go to maybe Austin's Twitter as well. And I'm going to tell you like this, bro. The Brazilians, they don't play. Okay. They do not play. They will slice and dice your, your behind. But you can get deleted in the States too. If you if you watch my channel, Black Gen Z Mindset, these super gremlins will pull up on you with the blicky and X you out over a, a 15 minute joyride in your Kia Sonata. Okay. So you can get deleted in the States just like you can get deleted in Brazil. I think it's a lot more brutal in Brazil. Brazil. They do a lot more mutilating, they keep you alive longer. Um, if you guys don't watch USA Crime, you probably need to go and check it out because they don't play. Um, I mean, let's keep it a buck. <laughs> I mean, people are going to hate me saying this, but, and obviously this is not all Brazilian people, but, um, even South America in general, it's not as civilized as the States. I know people are not going to like to hear that, but it's not, it's not okay. It is not as civilized as the States. And um, a lot of those people, especially in the favelas, not all of them, not all, not all, not all. You have to goddamn preface this. But the people in the favelas, bro, um, these motherfuckers, I don't want to curse too much, but these these individuals are straight savages. They're animals. OK, they're monsters. They they still are on that Aztec Mayans type shit <laughs> y'all know what i mean they're drinking blood from skulls and i mean obviously not all of them but they are very brutal very brutal and i don't particularly think that austin holloman is in that much danger i really think that maybe even he is overestimating his his uh, the amount of danger that he's in i really do because at the end of the day if you go if you go and get somebody you go and get somebody OK, so I think the danger that he's in is not I, I would say on a scale of one to ten, it's probably a five, maybe a six. OK, there might be some women who hear about him because it obviously what this Stephanie Ribeiro woman has done. I think they've written multiple articles. It, it, it's it's um, biased and there will be women on dating apps who may, you know, try and scope Lamine his ass. That's a possibility because what people don't understand is feminism swept in Brazil so crazy. That's why when he went over there and said, oh, yeah, the women are easy. The women are easy because feminism is huge in Brazil. <clears throat> feminism is huge in Brazil. The women are easy because they they are sexually liberated and they sleep around 100 miles per hour. <laughs> that's the reality and look i you know i i know some brazilian bitches and i know some really good brazilian women i know a brazilian woman who you know was a foreign exchange student at the university of georgia and she dated one of my homeboys she dated a black guy um you know and he was yoked up he was i, I think he's like six one african um i mean he's probably 215 220 pounds um pure muscle uh, so he was a he was a jack guy and he wasn't like it wasn't like his face was like super attractive, but he was in really good shape. And she was a beautiful Brazilian woman and um, she was faithful to him the whole time during their relationship. And then she ended up moving back down to Brazil. And I'm sure that, she, you know, she, I don't think she's taken right now. But so, you know, obviously a bad bitch don't go six months without getting the D. So she's out there, you know, having sex, obviously. 
All right. But when she was in a relationship with my boy, she was 100 percent loyal to the soil. OK. Um, and I know that to be a fact. Uh, but I mean, they, they don't play. So let's get into some of the some of the things she was really OK. So. All right. A lot going on here. Let me translate this. Um, oh, OK, so here we go. She's referring to Austin Holloman in this tweet tweet reply. And let's see. OK, we got some people in the building. I just went and checked the chats. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Cloud Buster says, I think you're missing the point as to why they're upset. OK, enlighten me. Obviously, I'm, I'm going to open up the stream, too, if you guys want to join. DVB says she probably has a great, great grandma that is black and claiming to be a 100 percent black. Brazil dating culture is more open, but it is a woke society. Sorry, passport bros, but it is the truth. Exactly. I mean, you get a bad bitch in Brazil, but she is going to, you know, she's going to be a feminist. All right. Even the interviews that he's been doing, most of those women that he brings on are feminists. Like they 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 say the same shit that American women say. Cloud Buster says this is just misinformation. Where did she accuse him of sex trafficking? She's literally accusing him of sex trafficking or sex tourism, whatever. It's the same shit. Playlist says he's fucked. Cyrus MUFC says Brazil is way worse than the States. Um, Escape Tricks says he needs to sue her. Yeah, I mean, but I do think that she did accuse him of sex trafficking. I think she accused him of encouraging sex trafficking because obviously the sex tourism and sex trafficking is not the same. But I mean, who gives a fuck if you're going for sex tourism? How about that? This is a hot take. Who gives a fuck? Mind your goddamn business. How about that? Why do you care what this man is doing with his dick? Huh? Why do you care what this man is doing with his dick? Because if we was to say, if we was to reverse the roles and, and, and talk about women, why do you care what she's doing with her pussy? Why, no, no, no. I just broke down a video where Amber Rose was like, why do you care? Why do you care what a woman's doing? Let her do that. It's her body. Okay, so let the nigga go over there and bust a nut. If, he, if he's literally, I mean... He's going over there to have better success with women for sure. So if you want to classify that as sex tourism, then it is what it is. But even if we want to say full blown, okay, Austin Holloman is a sex tourist. He's known around the world for sex. And who gives a fuck? <laughs> who cares? Because I don't see nobody on these on these hoes ass when they come coming to the DR, getting a BBL and sleeping with niggas down there. I don't see nobody getting on their ass when they go to Dubai and get shitted on. <clears throat> when they go to Africa, the only people who really get in on them are us, dudes like me. Okay? And I even get backlash for getting on them. But guess what? I stay with a few blickies, though. <laughs> I stay with a few. I'm in hot Georgia, hot Atlanta. Okay? And it's hot out here. So, you know, if, if somebody want to press me about my content, yeah, <laughs> them hollow points is going to reach you real quick. All right. We don't play about that. And, and, and I have said, yes, if I travel to another country, I'm going to get in touch with a hammer. I'm going to get in touch with a hammer. You're not you're not finna catch me lacking. I'm going to extend my Second Amendment rights wherever the fuck I go. Damn right. <laughs> you dig? OK, so. um. Anyways, and, and, and that's just self-preservation. Uh, but anyways, th she responded to this tweet, tweet. The tweet says, so what if the videos are about ass, sex, etc.? They are free to make whatever content they want. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's free to make whatever content that he wants. And he never did anything illegal, bro. This nigga didn't break one fucking law. So, like, like shut the fuck up. Um, anyways, uh make the content okay so this is her reply make the content you want but say that it is um sexual promotion content and not content that values a country or culture or even romantic content bro what 
He's literally interviewing the women, talking about what 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 does a guy have to have to make you fall in love? You know, what's what is your soulmate? Like he's dude, he's asking very detailed questions within the language barrier. Like they obviously don't watch Austin Holloman's content and have taken maybe certain live streams or certain clips out of context. But dude, when he talks to the women down there, he asks them legit fucking questions. It's it's so crazy, bro. Like these women are so mad that men are actually having sex. But then when the women are having sex, they want you to shut the fuck up about it. It's fucking bullshit, dude. Fuck these hoes, bro. Um, alpha male is a red flag to girls. You denounce a practice, grotesque criminal, and male comes to want to disqualify you for relating or not relating. This is a tweet that she retweeted. Relating effectively? Are you trying to sum up the whole um, appalling situation and lack of an eff effect? effective relationship okay i don't it that didn't really translate well but basically they're saying alpha a guy being an alpha male is a red flag dude get the fuck out of here because i guarantee once they watching them damn telenovelas and shit like that the the guy who's getting all the fucking putang in them videos is a fucking alpha male dude these hoes are full of shit bro they're full of shit <laughs> um I, I guarantee, and, and look, they, I, I, all the all the hoes be on Bad Bunny's dick, dude. And, and I wouldn't say that Bad Bunny is a quote unquote alpha male. I mean, he is in his own right, but he is a bisexual man. And I'm not even gonna say that you you can't be alpha and be bisexual because, I mean, honestly, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna sound crazy. Pause, but there. I mean, unfortunately, it's it's gonna sound really fucked up. It's going to sound really fucked up, but there's nothing more dominant than than. I mean, it, it, it sounds fucked up and I would never condone this, but there's nothing more dominant than taking down a grown ass man. Like if you're a bisexual man and you're I mean, it sounds horrible. Pause. OK, but if you're a bisexual man and you're smashing women and men. OK, yeah. Like smashing a woman. Yeah. OK, like it's easy. All right. Not not easy in the sense of acquiring a woman. But once you get in there, it's pretty easy. Um, and I don't know from experience, but I can only imagine. I mean, from having anal intercourse with a woman, it's got to be even harder to get into a man's butt. Pause. So there's really nothing more dominant. Like and a lot of people. This is why women like guys in jail. I'm telling you right now, they're going to have to they're going to come out and say, oh, I reclaim your throne's gay. Da, 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 da. Dude, I'm so secure in my uh, masculinity and my sexuality that I can talk about some gay shit and never have committed a gay act. I'm telling you right now, that's why women like guys who come from prison, because and it's it's not that they know that these men are bisexual, but in a man's psyche, there's nothing more dominant than realizing that. Like even for one to be able to beat a nigga's ass is is uh, is one thing. And that's dominant. That's bravado. That's that's masculinity in its purest form. But there's another thing to say, I will beat your ass and then I will fucking beat your cheeks. That's a whole nother level. That's why um that that uh show Snowfall on Snowfall, you had the gangster dude who was who was beating that dude's uh knees with a bat and shit, and he broke his legs, and then he turned his behind around and started mm, 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 stroking that man from the back. I mean, this is reality. This is what dudes who spend a lot of time in prison do. I'm gonna tell you right now, a guy the. Uh, I would say about 50 to 60 percent of men who spend over 10 years in prison have engaged in a homosexual act, you know, consensually or against their will. Consensually or against their will. OK, so, <clears throat> I mean, as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing more dominant and I'm not saying that it's masculine, but there's nothing more dominant than than taking down a freaking man. I mean, that. It's just like, OK, yeah, you can shoot does all day. But then once you take down a buck, it's a whole nother situation. It's a prize. Nobody's putting up, you know, uh, doe heads on their on their mantles. They're putting up buck heads. OK. They're putting up buck heads. So, I mean, that was <laughs> that was my gay segment for the day. <laughs> But I mean, that, that's the reality. So, like, when people call me homophobic, I laugh because it's like, dude, I could talk about any type of conversation in general. Um, I mean, it's, 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 it, it, it's wild, but at the end of the day, you know, I don't even know how I got onto this <laughs> topic. 
Lord. But um, anyways, it says sex tourism is, is not about. Oh, oh, my point is that, you know, when it comes to women wanting alpha males, they definitely want alpha males. That's obviously um, spoken for it is sex tourism is not about sex work necessarily. Many men even come to Latin countries and do not pay for sex. They use the behavior of a different society and lies to deceive women and get sex. Dude, get the. F oh, my God. But these women do the same thing. These women, I mean, even overseas and whatnot, what, what is like the no, the number one thing that um, they understand or that we understand about dating overseas? If the woman start asking for money like five, five clicks into the message thread, then it's a red flag. Women do the same thing. They use their sexual allure to get money and resources from men. So men use their game that they learn from another country to get sex from women. It's fair game. What the fuck is this bitch talking about, bruh? It's fair game. It's fair game. Okay. It's fair game. Um, okay, let's see. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. That was that was a funny segment, though. But um, let's see. Let's read some of these chats. I know niggas is probably grilling me. Um, Cloud Buster says he's marketing the entire country that way. They care about publicizing it, not what he does. Bro, he's not he's not marketing the whole country like that. DVB says it's not spoken a lot, but a lot of women are going to the Caribbean and parts of Africa as sex tourists and Mexico. It's known. It is spoken about. It is spoken about. They come blatantly. Women come and blatantly say, "Oh yeah, I had a hot fling in Cancun." Like, dude. And they're praised for it. Just read a fucking Reddit thread. Cloudbuster says women don't create YouTube channels and say, come to Dubai and get clapped or get crapped on big difference. They don't have to. They create Instagrams <laughs> and they're ashamed of it. That's why. That's why they don't publicize it, you idiot. Noel D says nothing is wrong with having relations while traveling. As long as you're not paying these women that are for the streets, in my opinion, these feminists are full of envy. Yeah, they're mad. Uh, they have penis envy. Ray Green says, anyone else think this guy looks like RG3, the football player? Yeah, I get that. <clears throat> I get that a lot. But um, RG3 got a gap in his teeth. My teeth are straight, pearly white, no gaps. Um, House of Lamar says, Brazil went woke. ID only. Oh, I'd only go there to visit. Yeah, I mean, the only there. The Brazil is super woke. I don't get why people don't understand that. Um, no LD says reclaim chill brother. We can't condone that suspect debauchery. I mean, I'm just talking about it. I'm not condoning it. I'm just saying, I mean, dude, who are the most, who are the most fucking masculine guys in the prison? If you ever been to jail, the dudes who are, 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 you know, tops in prison, you're not messing with those guys. They're lifers. These guys are in there in prison for life, you know, after deleting their whole family or, or deleting, you know, 30 people or something like that. Lifers are most likely to be homosexual because they'll, they understand that they'll never have sexual interaction unless they have intercourse with a man. Okay. So I'm not condoning it. I'm saying the most, the, the guys with the most bravado and the most, I mean, dominance are in prison taking men with against their will, which is one of the hardest things to, I mean, physically, that's going to be one of the hardest things that you will ever do in your life. I mean, I'm not saying you should do it. It sounds fucked up, but I'm telling you right now, like, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that it's right, but I, I mean, obviously it's not even easy, quote unquote, doing that, graping a woman, but to grape a man, dude, are you kidding me? Do you know how hard that would be? Because e even with a woman, she, she's got, I mean, it sounds fucked up, but she has two holes. So at least it increases the likelihood of connecting but as a man you really have to i mean i'm just talking about anatomy at this but <laughs> cloud buster says nothing is more dominant than bumming a guy in the butt i'm out <laughs> yeah i knew that would uh get a lot of people i mean that's just the reality if you go to prison if you go to jail if you know niggas in jail the guys who are fucking guys are big strong and you don't fuck with them that's the reality I wouldn't be surprised if Suge Knight was in there doing that. I really wouldn't. Um, Internet Explorer, and, and people know how dominant Suge Knight is, okay? Internet Explorer says he should never, he should have never apologized, was a bad move, yep. Internet Explorer says he admitted fault, It oh, it's over for him, yep. 
guys, never apologize to the woke mob. Dude, I, if I would, I would have said, um, so, you know, I've, I've gotten word that there is a Brazilian content creator and he's reaching out to her and she, oh man, the groveling, it's bad. I know he's young. I'm 20, I'm about to turn 28, but I know he's young, but as a man, bro, you stand on that shit, bro. You stand on that shit. Any nigga who comes into like and tries to challenge me on what I said, there's nothing that I said online that I will not stand on. Never apologize. If 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 those if those women would have came to me and said, "Yo," um, or, or if if they would have tried to accuse me of that shit, I would have said, "Dude, fuck you, uh, dude, fuck you, suck my dick," because you literally have these women who are going overseas and getting dookied on in Dubai, and then Buddy says, "Oh, they're not talking about it, dude." Have you ever watched the No Jumper podcast? These niggas, that's what I'm telling you. These motherfuckers are not even in tune with the culture at all. They know nothing about, I mean, American culture, overseas culture. Dude, this shit is so crazy, bro. You literally have these women going over to Dubai getting shitted on. They're coming back and doing no jumper podcast interviews talking about it. And then he's like, oh, well, they're not promoting. No, they, no, you don't see any wrong with it, but I can go to no jumper and, and, and find 30 videos of women saying that they went overseas to have sex. Like what? What's the problem? <laughs> I really don't understand. <clears throat> Eddie Ida, Ada or Etta Ida says Brazilian women are not attracted to Holloman type. If that was a white guy, they will give him pass and it and see it as empowering. No, I don't agree. I mean, for you to say Brazilian women are not attracted to Holloman type, what does that even mean, bro? I mean, he's taller than damn near every nigga over there. And he's getting laid. Obviously, he's getting laid. He, I don't know if he was paying. I think he said he paid two times or some shit like that. I mean, at the end of the day, niggas paid. <laughs> um, the peso man says, oh, yeah. Uh, Romare Dubo says, you got to spit in that ass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, we I could talk about this for days because, for one, when you understand anatomy and understand... I mean, it, it, it's just, it's physics, honestly. It's it. Oh damn! Internal temperature too high. Oh shit! Hold up, my camera. What the hell? I don't know. My battery is tripping. <clears throat> oh, maybe because it's charging too fast. Fuck. Damn. But um. Anyways, I just opened it up. Um. He said, you got to spin that ass. Yeah, I mean, it's just anatomy. I mean, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Um, it's disgusting. I think that it's disgusting. It's debaucherous. But that's why That's why when, when you know, even with Miko Worldwide, okay, the reason why Miko Worldwide shit is so fucked up because he went overseas and it was kind of obvious that he was, he was like, you know, talking to little boys, which is even more deplorable. And, and underage kids that that uh, people have accused him of that. I'm not saying that he's done it, but um, in Atlanta, he did have um, I what what I see as consensual intercourse with a 17 year old boy. I know it sounds fucked up. I know it sounds fucked up. But at the end of the day, the age of consent is 16 in the state of Georgia. Um, <clears throat> from from the from the evidence that I saw, I thought that it was consensual intercourse it's 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 horrible it's fucked up and i don't think that you know he should have been doing that but when you read the uh court documents miko worldwide what did they use they use strong drugs methamphetamine they use heroin because it sounds fucked up but it relaxes the bowels even um who's that guy andrew who's the guy the the florida the florida um politician um LGBT Florida politician, the black guy. Damn, what is his name? What's his name, Andrew? But he got caught. Andrew Gillum? Was it Andrew Gillum? Yeah, Andrew Gillum. He got caught in a hotel and, you know, he was having gay butt sex and, and there was a lot of drugs involved because it's so hard to do that let alone with a woman but with a man i mean your glutes are the strongest muscle in your body i know a lot of people don't know that but i am a personal trainer so the glutes are the strongest muscle in your body 
And especially, I mean, it sounds fucked up. <laughs> I keep saying that. And I'm probably going to stop with the prefaces, but I know they're going to try and clip up 10 seconds of this and shit like that. So, I mean, dude, you have to relax your bowels in order to have anal sex. That's why women have to get enemas. That's why have, they have to wear butt plague, butt plugs. I mean, if you ask any adult film actress, that's the reality of the game. Um, uh, so, I mean, that's just the reality. It, it, it does sound fucked up. It's absolutely disgusting. Um, but, you know, I'm not afraid to talk about these topics because I'm a grown ass man and I talk about whatever the fuck I want. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, to to engage in that type of intercourse, you have to really forcefully insert. I mean, if you guys have had anal intercourse with a woman, it's not easy and it gets shitty. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's absolutely disgusting. That's why, I mean, I've done it a couple times, but I'll never do it again. Uh, Cloud Buster says, since when are men in prison considered dominant? They're literally held against their will in chains, LMAO. I'm going to stay or going to say the dude running for Fortune 5 company is more dominant. No, I'm talking about on a physical, biological like state, not in a mental. Obviously, we know them niggas are dumbasses. But when it comes to like just straight caveman brain, hind brain, like that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking. I'm talking about the occipital part of your brain when it comes to dominance, your physical dominance, meaning, you know, uh, your T levels, even though they're, they're, they're putting shit in the food to lower their T levels in prison. So, because these guys are naturally high T levels, that's why they have to put shit in the, in the prison food in order to lower their T levels. <clears throat> um, Romare Dubo says, ain't no man going to open that spincher so willingly. Exactly. Um, DVB says there was one passport bro who admitted to smashing a homeless chick for her to earn money since she was begging him for money to a coffee spot and they're linking Austin to him. Oh yeah. I think he might've hung out with this guy or something. Um, <clears throat> it depends on how homeless she was, <laughs> right? Right. I mean, come on. I mean, uh, how many how many rap niggas have admitted on the track? Yeah, I got my dick sucked by a crackhead for, you know, a, 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 a eighth of Coke. I mean, come on. I, I, I would not engage in that activity. But honestly, is that really that bad? I mean, it's better than giving money to the homeless for free because for them to just shoot it up. Right. I mean, if they're going to shoot it up, at least shoot my dick up first. Right. No, I mean, I wouldn't do it. I'm saying I wouldn't do it. <laughs> But come on. I mean, you really mad at him for that? Eddie Ida. I mean, it's disgusting, but Eddie Ida says white guys sexual sexuality are welcomed in from foreign women. Yes. Romare Dubo says ghetto gaggers Dubai style. Exactly. And them motherfuckers are wearing all types of uh, um, uh, ancient garbs and shit like that. He says, pull up, pull up. W what is that? I don't know who the peso man is, but I mean, if you want me to drop the link, I will drop the link. All right. So if you guys want to join the stream, we can get it. Um, Andrew Gillum, Andrew Gillum. Yep, yep, yep. Mr. Jake the Great says that Negro was going to be governor of Florida. Biggest dodge bullet of all time. I, I mean, come on. Thank God. I mean, he's literally having homosexual sex and he has a family at home. I mean, he had a wife and kids and this guy. I mean, he sounds very, um, I mean, he was the former mayor of Tallahassee. I mean, what a fucking L, bro. <laughs> L, Florida State. <laughs> L, Florida State Seminoles. No, but I mean, he was married to a black woman, um, you know, and he was attracted to men. She probably understood that. They had children. He was, you know, he, it looks like he had the family for his political career, and I'm sure he loved his children, right? But, I mean, he just didn't didn't love pussy as much as he loved men, okay? <clears throat> Shino Blade says, hell nah, not for me. Cloud Buster says, so if I grape a male lion, am I, a more do am I more dominant than every man in prison? I mean, if you fucking grape a male lion, uh... Physically, hell yeah, you're more dominant. I mean, you got to be Thor to grape. You got to be the Hulk to grape a male lion. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, even when it comes to dogs, if you ever seen dogs humping, I mean, obviously small dogs hump too, but the, the dogs that actually connect, <laughs> and y'all know what I mean by connect, 
Um, those dogs are definitely more dominant. DVB says that's the guy who argues with all the passport bros. Oh, okay. Okay. He, uh, they say the peso man, why won't you let me up on your stream? Cloudbuster says that. Okay. I, I don't know who that guy is. Um, but, <clears throat> um, let's see. So let's read some more of this. Okay. So this guy, this, and this tweet was deemed sensitive, which is fucking bullshit. I don't even know what he says yet, but the fact that a tweet is deemed sensitive, it says sex work is only when the workers are women. Sex work is not wrong when the workers are men. I, 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 okay. So I think I, 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 I think I understand what he's trying to say. I think it's getting lost in translation, but what he's saying is women can participate in sex work and it's all good. If the women are running it like only fans. And I know literally Brazilian women who are on only fans. Um, like, and then he says, uh, feminist logic. Okay. Um, so let's see. Oh yeah. So this is look, this is the wow. This, so this is the women getting butt massages in in you know in the Caribbean. Massage, massage. I'm finna name her Chucky Cheeks. <laughs> this beyond <laughs> me. Cheeks. Her man let her come to me. <laughs> you a fool, Bucko. Oh, she in here with Utopia Cheeks. I'm in paradise. Utopia this is supposed Cheeks. To be an hour session. I'm finna turn this into a lifetime experience. I mean, come on, guys. The women are literally going overseas. Look at her. She's face down, ass up. Every time them pass them cards. Getting their ass massage when they know for a fact they can get a a, a a dude. They're literally paying this guy pennies to give them an ass massage and and fucking grope them. And honestly, she's got a really big ass. I mean, I know he's having a ball. She's ne not necessarily my type, but I would fuck. Um, but. <clears throat> Like, dude, are you kidding me? You literally have women out here doing these ass massages, and they're trying to get on Awesome and Holloman for literally talking to women, attracting them off of the strength, off of, you know, just straight, um, you know, conversation. He's not, he's not, I mean, he, I think he said he paid two bitches, but he paid two bitches who knew that they wanted to be paid. That's just like I said, oh, yeah, well, I went to Vegas, and I paid two whores to suck my dick. Who gives a fuck? They were willing, point blank. I think that prostitution should be legal. I really do, because it's bullshit that that these you um even there's a law in New York that they just passed where you can get uh, the women cannot get arrested for selling pussy, but the men can get arrested for buying it. Dude, what the fuck? You're arresting the consumer instead of the distributor. That's just like me saying, oh well, I'm gonna arrest the the crackhead instead of the fucking kingpin. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Let me see if my camera will turn back on. Uh, all right. All right. We back, baby. We are back. But it's absolutely bullshit. I mean, it's such hypocrisy. And the women also go over there to the Caribbean. And I, dude, I just did a video on this where they're literally getting stroked. Like calling it a dance, and then the women, the caption says, "Well, I can't date outside of my culture because they won't understand that this was just a dance and nothing more." Like, dude, it's fucking bullshit. Let me go to that video. Let me go to that video because, um, but let's watch the rest of this. One. Oh yeah, and a lot of these guys are scared to show their face, whereas me, I stand on my shit. <laughs> Georgia boy, I ain't like, bro, like we ain't dodging nothing, bro. Like, you know, obviously I don't want no harm to come upon nobody, but you're not finna tell me that I can't say shit when I got a first amendment, right? You dig? And YouTube is, is getting more, um, <clears throat> you know, they're, they're getting more woke and, and we're going to have to transition to other platforms and rumble just updated their site, even though I still think that it has some bugs. Uh, but you know, I like, I like rumble and I hope that rumble grows even bigger than YouTube. And I hope they don't sell out to any one of these major companies in Silicon Valley, even though that's what I would do. I'm not even gonna lie. Like if I own rumble and then one of these niggas came to me and said, Hey, you know, we'll buy the company for 1.5 billion. I'll sell in a heartbeat. <laughs> so, I mean, those guys, they have, I mean, these guys are stand up guys. You could tell the guys at rumble, you know, they're stand up individuals because the fact that they haven't sold out yet and they've built the platform that they they built, 
I mean, that's that's remarkable. That's that's you know, respect. Um, because you see what Instagram they sold out, Snapchat they sold out, all these small um companies that grew into bigger social media platforms, they sell out really quick. Uh okay. Um Cloudbuster says, Quarantino, I disagree with some of your points, but you have a great setup and delivery on camera. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm a natural born entertainer. Mr. Jake the Great says, see what I'm saying? Yep. Eddie Eda says, uh, Viv with Fed YouTuber distanced himself from Austin Holloman in the last two days. Viv with Fed? Who? Viv with Fed? Who the hell is that? Mr. Jake the Great says that arch is wild though. Yeah, I mean her arch is absolutely remarkable. But she's fat though. She's overweight. So I mean she could stand to lose like 50 pounds. But Jesus Christ. I mean, honestly, like I wouldn't even care. You know, I'd still fuck her. I wouldn't cuff her just because I I could tell that she's on her way to being fat. But I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, imagine your shit getting lost in that. I mean, there's I and I fuck some big asses. Hers is pretty big. Um, <clears throat> DVB says, wow. Coco Puff says, bravo, Brazil, for protecting themselves against these sorry black males who have destroyed their communities. Okay, so this is what Coco Puff doesn't understand. You, when you say black males, are you talking about American black men or are you talking about Brazilian black men? Because I've already broken this down way before. There were more black people, African slaves, who were brought to Brazil like, who do y'all think the favelas are filled with? They're filled with black men, you fucking idiots. So when you say black men, are you talking about American black men, African-Americans, or are you talking about South American black men? Because if you're talking about black men in general, then you're talking about South American men too. And those are the guys that y'all are supposed to be feeling sorry for because they live in a third world country. I mean, y'all are full of shit. <clears throat> how, so, how are their de communities destroyed when they were these people were literally enslaved and then thrown into favelas okay um because because nobody talks about the atrocities that the white brazilians have committed um amongst the uh african brazilians house of lamar says vibe with fred vibe with fred okay he got 5.4k subs um, he's in Brazil, medical Brazilian from Sao Paulo. I mean, it looks like he's doing the same shit. He's taking pictures of Brazilians with big asses and using it as a thumbnail and whatnot. I mean, what? He's saying stop dating American women today, like doing a whole bunch of videos. What? He's literally doing the same thing that Austin Holloman is doing, except Austin Holloman is bigger than him. Um, <clears throat> Cloudbuster says, I wouldn't go that far. You're okay playing you good what uh y'all ain't making sense bro y'all have to make y'all chats it, it, um, make sense for me to read them god damn romare dubo says i sent you some snaps bro some snaps what do you mean some snaps you got my snapchat i don't know what you're talking about um eddie ida says austin should take his safety seriously yeah i mean get blicked up get blicked up <laughs> house of lamar says he's a brazilian youtuber that moved to brazil okay DVB says she's saying black American men single-handedly destroy their community. Exactly. I mean, dude, I mean, let's keep it a buck. I mean, come on. They're a third world country for a reason. They're fucking savages. And there's, there's a lot of corruption. Let's keep it a buck. And I'm not saying the American men are not savages either. Be, uh, especially, you know, a lot of these super gremlins, American black men, there are some black men who are still fucking savages in these hoods and shit. And they're not that, but the thing is, they're not really even savages. They're fake savages. They're, they're careless and and they shoot people indiscriminately. But I wouldn't say they're savages, meaning they're not really, you know, super masculine guys. But the guys in Brazil, I mean, you could say whatever you want. You could say killing and murdering people isn't masculine. But I mean, <laughs> th that's what the women say toxic masculinity is. So, um, I mean, those guys get dirty and they're not a, they're not afraid of blood at all. Like I would go to USA crime today um, if if. Well, I could do it on Rumble, maybe, but I, I couldn't do it on YouTube because the gore is just insane. And I'm not I don't have a you know, I'm, I don't really have a squeamish stomach. So I can literally watch like somebody's head get chopped off. And I mean, they literally mutilate you. They'll they'll fucking cut your penis off. I mean, they're fucking savages. 
So let's not act like these people are not fucking savages. And you, you can say whatever you want. They're saying, have you lived in Brazil? Dude, <laughs> you don't, I don't have to live in Philadelphia to know that those niggas out there are fucking savages. How about that? Have you lived in Brazil? No, I don't have to go to South Africa to know that there are black South Africans who are literally raping and pillaging white South African farmers land. It's on the news. You can read the stories. You can read the reports. I don't have to go there. I don't have to go to Mexico to know that the fucking cartel is beheading people and hanging niggas on the highway. What type of logic is that? I don't have to go to North Korea to know that every citizen in North Korea is fucking enslaved. <laughs> what is the logic? I mean, come on. Have you been there? No. <laughs> no, I haven't. But when it comes down to that murder game, I'm very familiar because I study this shit. I study crime. That's what I do. All right. And I'm going to tell you what. When it comes to the crime in the USA, yes, there are some very savage crimes. Um, I did a story in St. Louis where a man chopped up a woman. I did a story in um, Detroit where a guy chopped up a woman and shit like that. Yeah, so, so it's fucked up. I did a story in Yonkers where a guy chopped up a woman, black man. I mean, all these guys were black men, honestly, and, and we can go to the white men who do it too, okay? But at the end of the day, dude, I don't have to be there to know that these niggas are savages. I don't have to go to New Orleans to understand that they have the number one um, crime rate per capita. Okay. Oh, he said he sent me a cash app. Okay. <clears throat> Romare Dubo with the $20 um, cash app. He says for entertainment. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Um, yeah. So this is literally this is damn near a fucking happy ending i wouldn't be surprised if they turned the camera off and finger banged her till she fucking came are you kidding me <laughs> are you kidding me like dude what the fuck it's such bullshit the hypocrisy um, Eddie Ida says Austin Holloman could be the next Andrew Tate if he grabbed Matrix attention. I don't advise anyone to be streaming in current climate we are in. What? Bro, Andrew Tate fucked himself up. I mean, the, the reality when it comes to Andrew Tate, even though that I think that ultimately he's innocent, um, I think those hoes were willing. I've seen videos of the women who are accusing him twerking at his house. So um, when it comes to Andrew Tate, I, I, I do think he's innocent. I think he he did run a shady business. I think he didn't do shit above the board. I think the, that he did not have his paperwork right. And that's the issue with what he did. Running a cam business is not illegal. There are, there are people in Miami right now. There are Jewish men who run the porn industry who have webcam businesses and they're doing just fine. They're, 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 abs, they're, they're not evading taxes. They're using the tax law to their benefit so they don't have to pay taxes. How? By using that, that illegal money. Who do you think, who do you think owns P hub? Who do you think runs three moves? Who do you think runs XXX videos? Who do you think runs, um, all these live Jasmine dude? The, I mean, come on Jewish men. I mean, like, so what are we talking about? The, the, the thing about them is they got their paperwork right. So sh salute to them. This is not a shot at them, but they run the, the P industry and they run Hollywood too. That's not a shot. It's not anti-Semitic to say this. But what I'm saying is he, Andrew Tate got taken down <clears throat> for the same reason, um, you know, he was talking too much. See, when it comes to these people who own these industries, they don't talk. They le they let that money do the talking. When's the last time you've seen an interview from George Soros? You barely see it. The last one that I can find is a 60 minute one where he talked about rounding up his own people, his own Jewish people for for, um, to, for, for the Nazis to bring them to concentration camps. <laughs> so these people don't really talk. And he, pro he probably looked back on that and says, uh, you know, I probably shouldn't have divulged that information. So these people learn their lessons and they don't fucking talk. The issue with Andrew Tate is he talked about his shit. And he didn't have all his paperwork right. I can guarantee that he wasn't he wasn't doing his paperwork right. 
He, you have to have these women under contract. You have to have them sign NDAs. You have to have them sign non-competes. There's nothing wrong with running a webcam business, just like there's nothing wrong with running a brothel in Las Vegas, or I think it's illegal in Las Vegas, but in Nevada, it's legal. So it's illegal in the place where everybody does it, but it's legal in the state. How does that make sense? You have to understand that these lawmakers make the laws to benefit them. So they're going to say, can't nobody buy pussy in Las Vegas. But since I understand the laws, I'm going to buy pussy in Las Vegas and I'm going to be good. Since I have power and influence, I'm going to buy pussy in Las Vegas and I'm going to be good. Y'all niggas need to start reading between the lines, bro. Just like, a, just like, and this is going to be a hot take too. There's nothing wrong with selling drugs. There's something wrong with it not being regulated in people, you know, abusing those drugs. Because last time I checked, JP Morgan had a ship full of cocaine and it was going to land on a, on a dock on U.S. soil. <laughs> so like I said, Obviously, they don't think there's anything wrong with selling cocaine, and nobody was prosecuted from that. Oh, that's just a big misunderstanding. Oh, it's just a big mistake. JP Morgan didn't have to pay no fines. Why? Because they use that coke money to fund mortgages. They use that coke. I mean, guys, I'm a, am I the only fucking Jesus Christ? I mean, it's right in your fucking face. I mean, you, and, and then you guys will come in my comment section and say, oh, well, reclaim your throne. You're just this and you're just that and you're mad at women. Dude, I understand how the world works. That's what I understand. And I understand that business power influence is amoral. You think that these billionaires, uh, uh, you know, answer to an ethics committee, an ethics board, HR, human resources? Fuck no. They're above that. They create the rules so that you abide by it so that they get fucking richer and you get fucking poorer. You know why Kanye's not a billionaire no more? Because he ran his goddamn mouth. And I think that's the same issue that Austin Holloman had, okay? He ran his damn mouth too much. He showed too much. And, and when, the, when the going got tough, he didn't stand on that shit. First thing I would have said if, if them bitches came to me and we ain't even broke down his video. But first thing I would have said, guess what I would have said? I would have said, and what? And what? Did I do anything illegal? No. So uh, as far as your take as Andrew uh, Austin Holloman being the next Tate, nah, I don't believe so. Because for one, he's not running any type of intercourse business out of that country. He's just having fun and showing his travels and maybe divulging a little bit, a little bit too much information. They're literally getting finger banged and, and, and promoting it on Instagram, dude, and they're getting hundreds of thousands of views. They talk about, oh, the women don't talk about it. Yes, they do. They're showing their ass on the balcony of a fucking Budai uh, or on the fucking balcony of a Dubai chic. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? The women don't talk about it. Yes, they do. They don't have to talk about it. They just open their legs and then take a picture. <laughs> and then they 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 deal they drop the deal location and like, oh, okay she's in South Africa goddamn she must be fucking a South African prince oh shit she's in Ghana goddamn that bitch getting fucked we they don't have to talk about it it's understood let's look at the other um tweet this woman says my trip left me melancholy I felt so free wandering around not wanting to fulfill a tour schedule just experiencing cities that now I don't know how to live without that freedom. Okay, so she wasn't really talking about um, the sex intercourse shit. Um, this brother says, the irony is women want to have complete autonomy over their body, but they can't respect a woman's autonomy when she wants to choose up on a foreigner. Exactly. Exactly. Look at this. Look at this. Facts. Okay. You see what's going on. Exactly. The women just want to have, they, girls want to have fun. It's not just girls, they want to have fun. Oh, girls, they want to have fun. It's not just that. It's that girls want to have fun, and then they, they, they only want the men who do whatever the fuck they say to have fun too. <laughs> That's what it is. The irony is, why are you following me if you're just another in, in, incel waiting to make sex tourism morally acceptable, even with the racist and imperialist overtones of it. What? 
What the fuck is all the racist and imperialist overtones, dude? God, Lee. This is why you can't make your blackness your fucking identity. You're a clown, bro. You're a clown. You literally have made your skin color your identity. <clears throat> like, that's all you have about yourself. Oh, well, this happened to me because I'm black. Fuck out of here. Brazilians love each other so much because their videos are about asses, sex, and how to fuck us weird. Huh? Okay, so I'm 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 trying to. Okay, I'm trying to. Um, so this is what she's re responding to. We never abuse women. We take care of them. In the USA, women don't give the same care back. Foreign women are much nicer and friendlier. How is that bad? Most women would be happy for a man to pay for their lifestyle. Okay, so this. So her response is, um, what we just broke down. Let me see if they have a. Oh, shit. So her response is what we just broke down. And then she's basically saying that, oh, well, these videos are, are about how to fuck us. What? Brazilians love each other so much because their videos are about asses, sex and how to fuck us. What? And, and, and even if they were, how is that weird? How is that weird? <laughs> I mean, but women have podcasts like uh, uh, Angela Yee's Lip Service where all they talk about is how they want to be fucked. So, dude, get fucked. Get fucked, dude. They, women are, they're literally hypocrites, dog. It's surreal. Black men and incels defending sex tourism as a benefit to our country. Hey, we don't want misogynistic charity. So here they go. They're saying, oh, uh, you know, we're incels, dude. OK, like that, they, they'll literally sit up here and call a guy like me an incel when obviously I get bitches, dog. I've been getting bitches since since the beginning or let me oh, I've been getting women. All right. Like, God damn. Like, you can't even talk no more. You can't talk like a man anymore, bro. You can't just talk. You, you can't just talk shit, bro. It's so sad, man. Um, <clears throat> oh, here we go. Now they're talking about grape. Now they're talking about grape. Um, this woman says, uh, you don't see problem because sex tourism has a gender focus in which women are the most affected. Dude, fuck out of here. Women benefit the most. Therefore, you are not the one who has to deal with your body being touched or abused without your consent by men steeped in imperialism and stereotypes. Without consent, buddy says, you're just adding things now. Without consent is called grape. Going to another country to date is not grape. Words have meaning. Those women are adults and have agency on who to date. Absolutely. Absolutely. If women want to be equal, you have to take equal accountability. And I'm sorry, ma'am, but if you decide to give that pussy up and then you regret it on the back end, that's retroactively withdrawing consent, which I've talked about before, then you can't get mad. Like, that's straight bullshit. Um, this without consent in Brazil, Brazilian women are often victims of harassment by men who believe in the idea that we are easier. OK, so now Brazilian women are being harassed, dude. Give me a fucking break. If, if, if I go to USA Crime today, the only people who are harassing Brazilian women and even Vice did a video on this are Brazilian men. <laughs> Who's chopping up Brazilian women and dicing them up like fish food? I rest my case. It's not American men. It's Brazilian men. So how about y'all hold your own men accountable because your own men are a bigger problem than the foreign men? How? Oh, they don't want to have that conversation because once I start talking about them Brazilian gangs who are killing women indiscriminately, chopping their bodies up, because when I was talking about mutilating people, it wasn't just men. As a matter of fact... <laughs> Um, these women are the ones who need to be holding their own men accountable. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because I'll go to USA crime right now and I won't share it on the stream. I won't share it on the stream, but hold on. Let me turn my heat down because it's getting a little hot. Give me one second. We'll be right that we'll be right back, but I'm going to show you what the fuck they do. I'll just read headlines coming out of Brazil and you're going to be like, Jesus Christ. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. 
The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative. Oh, shit. All right, guys. So my camera overheated again. Damn it. I'm sorry, guys. But, um, yeah, let's break this shit down. Down. <clears throat> Let's break this shit down. All right. And I'll do Latin America and South America. Cause y'all, y'all seen what happened when um El Chapo Guzman's son just got arrested. They they burned the fucking, they burned the city down. They burned the city down. I mean, Black Lives Matter compared to the Mexican cartel. Um, you better forget it. <laughs> Black Lives Matter riots look like a fucking uh, look like a fucking kindergarten recess compared to what the Mexican cartel did um, when when uh, El Chapo's son got uh, uh, got um, arrested. So get get the fuck out of here talking about American men are going over here. No, 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 dude, y'all need to be worrying about your own men because those motherfuckers are savages. And I'll say that, and I'll stand on that till the day I die. Um, why do you think there are so many people le leaving Mexico and crossing the border to come to the states? And I've already spoken on this. I believe that at least 20 to 20, maybe even, I'm not going to go as far as the 30%, but 20% of those people who are coming over um, the border are Mexican cartel. And yes, they are selling drugs in the United States. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'll stand on that. And, and that's the reality of the situation. You can read all of the documents that you have to read. You can read um, FBI statistics and data. Um, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes they so y'all worried about american men um no all right let's see let's 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 just do a search let me see if i can because this shit gets deep this shit gets deep let me read some of these shits um coming out of brazil Army sergeant executed with shotgun in Brazil. And they're talking about American men. Army sergeant. This is a, decora a decorated army sergeant. And I'll, I'll describe to you what's going on in the video. <clears throat> Brazilian man on a motorcycle. The army sergeant is the Brazilian man on a motorcycle. A, a, a man, a Brazilian man in a, mini a minivan pulls up to him pulls out a shotgun, the, the army sergeant puts his hands up, the army sergeant is putting his hands up saying, I surrender, I surrender, and this Brazilian man takes a shotgun, and, and I'm, I'm literally watching the video right now, the army sergeant hands up, he's like, hey man, I don't want no problems, the Brazilian man puts a shotgun to his fucking chest, and then while he's down, he blasts this, this Brazilian army sergeant in the head twice with a shotgun and these are buckshots baby these are buckshots and if you don't know what buckshots are they literally splatter upon firing so these are multiple sh pieces of shrap metal going straight into this man's carcass and y'all are talking about well american men are going to brazil y'all need to worry about your own goddamn men they're fucking savages Zyrik has joined the stream. What's good, Zyrik? Yeah, what's up, bro? Yeah, I just want to say, like, this whole Austin Holloman situation is basically from jealousy, bro, from about the yep. women here and some of the men. Because they see, like, yep. Austin is a young, handsome black man. He's going Absolutely. overseas. He's having, he's having fun with these women. And they're, like, watching on the, like, like on the TV or the computer. Like, man, I want to live that life. So if they yep. can't get to live that life, they're, the only solution they have is... It's a destroy him, you know? And that's what Absolutely. he's doing, bro. So it's Absolutely. Kind of yeah. up what happened to him, man, you know? He yeah. should have he been a more low-key, but hopefully he learns, you know, there's other countries to go explore, you know? Yeah, go, lay low for yeah. a little bit, come back. Dude, this shit will blow the fuck over. I'm going to yeah. tell you right now, he's probably getting death threats and all that kind of stuff. I guarantee it's from bot feminist pages, some yeah. fat-ass Brazilian bitch who, you know, is, is miserable, giving him death threats. I guarantee the, the men don't give a fuck. About, I mean, yeah, there might be some men who give a fuck about that shit. Yeah. But most of the men are not following these feminist hoes. Dude, 
The Bro, reason why like, feminism is so strong in Brazil yeah. is because the men are brutalizing their women. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. literally decapitating and mutilating the women. I'm watching a video yeah. right now. Police mm-hmm. drop a woman hanging from a high rise building to the ground in Brazil. Yeah, bro. I mean, like a lot of those gore videos, they're from Brazil, bro. They're, they're yes. primarily from Brazil. Brazil, people. Venezuela. Okay. Yeah. The mm-hmm. communist fucking country Venezuela is. I mean, people just don't understand geography and, and world news. Dude, these people are fucking savages. Yeah, they yeah. are still in a third world country. Look, protesters shot in the head with tear gas canisters in Peru. Yeah. Dude, mm-hmm. if they did that in the in the United States, you'd have lawsuits coming out the wazoo. Yep, yep, you think yep. those fucking uh people uh the, the the police force who are breaking up these protests, you can't even you can't even protest in these third world countries. They'll chop your fucking head off. First of all, bro, I don't know where the fuck they're they're, they're getting this information that this dude was like promoting like sex trafficking or whatever. It's bullshit. None of that from his videos, bro. It's at all. Bullshit. Like, what the fuck? Where did they get that from, bro? That's crazy yeah. as hell. That is yeah. crazy. Here's another story coming out of Brazil. And this one is is this one you have to uh you have to go through a paywall. The 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 thumbnail is graphic as fuck. Mm-hmm. And the headline reads Brazil man beheaded has organs heart ripped out of his chest yeah. barehanded yeah. Yep, barehanded yep. this is on yep. usa crime today go yep. get you a go log into usa crime people and then you see what's going on overseas go log into usa crime and you see how brutal these brazilian men are let me yep. let me read yep. another story man beats his wife in brazil to death yeah it's beats crazy. her with his bare hands i'm watching the video right now and she's fighting back too she's yeah. fighting back so it's it's mutual combat and guess what she it looks like she started it and guess what he finished it off and he beats her to death with his bare hands yo you so know what y'all want to talk about american men american yeah. men are not going over there and doing that if yeah. they're worried about men they need to be worried about the, the yeah, men in their own that. fucking country because yeah. guess what they're still fucking savages yep yep yeah you know what's crazy too like a lot of those women, bro, like American men provide them with a higher quality of living. So I'm not sure Absolutely. why the fuck they're trying to run us out of the country. Because white men, when they go over there, they'd be running through them. Black men, we're, we're more likely to at least get in a relationship or some shit. I'm not, yep. you know? So Yeah. And, and, and guess themselves. what? Yeah. I'm, I'm reading another story. Man accused of harassing woman clubbed to death in Brazil. So if Austin Holloman was seriously over there harassing women, yeah, he'd be he would have probably faced the same fate that this man did. There's no type of uh, law and order and justice in Brazil. Yeah. I mean, like, it's yeah. absolutely crazy how they're trying to yeah. um, shit on this man's name. Now, I don't agree with his apology. You have to stand on that shit. Yeah. Dude, put the middle finger in the air and, and say, fuck these women. Not, yeah. not you know, fuck all women, but the women who are accusing him of things that he did not do. Yeah. Absolutely, dude, fuck you. Because if you're worried about Austin, you need to be worried about the men in your damn country. Why, yeah. I'm watching a woman right now. Woman beat and shot to death. Um, in Brazil, they beat her to death and then shot her multiple times while she was dead. Another one, two men dismembered and ditched on the road and they literally scalped this man. They literally ripped his skin. Um, they, they, they ripped his skin off of his, his skull that they chopped off. Dude, these people are savages. And and, and let me make another point. Brazilian women, they don't have to. Like the thing is, people don't really understand that uh, fem- feminism is huge in Brazil, and and MGTOW is 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 literally bigger in Brazil than it is in the United States. Why? Because the Brazilian women, not all of them, but a lot of them are whores, and sex work is normalized. Yeah. 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 Same in Colombia. Yeah. Same in Mexico. Yeah. yeah. Same in a, because same in a because, DR too, Dominica. Yes. There because, too. Yeah. because guess what? The more dangerous a society is, the more dangerous a, a civilization is, the yeah. more likely they are to go toward their biological, um, um, uh, 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 the, th- their biological advantages in yeah, order to yeah. come up. So guess yeah. what? The women understand that ooh, men want to fuck me, so I'm gonna charge them. I, I'm gonna charge local men fifty dollars a fuck. I'm gonna charge. Foreign men, five hundred dollars to fuck because yeah. I I know they got more. But I'm I'm watching a video right now. Drunk girl strips naked and gets arrested during block party in Brazil. 
Brazilian women don't. Austin Holloman doesn't have to go out here and make Brazilian women look easy and look hoarse. They're they fucking hoes because they're, they're in the are. streets butt naked. <laughs> yeah, they just are. They, like that, it, it's just like saying, "Oh well, you know, you're shaming women at the slut walk. I don't have to shame women at the slut walk and call them sluts and whores because they're calling themselves sluts and whores." Yeah. Like it's 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 complete insanity, and the fact that they're trying to make it seem like I mean, he's like, doing something illegal is straight I mean, bullshit. Because like, there's nothing illegal feel, that he like, did in Austin, his videos. Yeah, Austin should just move out because Brazil got the highest AIDS rate in the world. I hope he knows that. Like AIDS is yep. like big down there, so like I don't give a fuck if yep. they have me out. There are plenty of other countries. He got Eastern Europe. He got Germany. There's so many places black men could travel to, bro. Like it's crazy. Yeah, but you know, you know what they're gonna try to do now? Like, you know, if this this whole passport thing goes mainstream, I bet you the government is gonna start to put like restrictions on passports. They're gonna make it harder to get. They're gonna raise the prices up because they're they're seeing we're having pleasure from it. No, nope. no, nope. I don't. And I, I don't think that'll happen. You know why? Because. These these foreign countries, they benefit off of tourism. They benefit off of sex tourism. So yeah. if they make it harder for people to get passports, then um, <clears throat> then 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 they're going to lose a lot of their GDP. So they're not going to do anything. American men are welcome. Yes, you might face some racism being black. But guess what? You also face some racism being white, because last time I checked, they call white men gringos, too. Yep, so stop yep. with fucking bullshit because as a matter of fact you're more like those people in those in in these countries than white men are okay yeah. you can blend in more in brazil as a black man than you can yeah. um as a white man so you stick out like a sore thumb as a yeah. white man in brazil um than a black man so it's such bullshit and they're trying to push this propaganda but the reality is because people don't understand history and they don't understand the demographics um <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going I'm to I'm get us a... There's 120... Okay, let me read this. Over half of the nation's 215 million inhabitants, 56% or about 120 million people are Afro-Brazilian. That yep. means that they, their, their ancestors right. were probably brought over from Africa during the transatlantic slave trade, which yep. there were more slaves brought to South America um, and, 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 you know, facilitated by Portuguese Jews, okay, there were more slaves brought to South America than there were um, in the United States. And yeah, there that, were even that's where the slave boats from, stopped first. Exactly. There were even slaves sent from the United States to South America. So for people to talk about, oh, well, they're trying to do this, and they're trying to get away from black women. Dude, there's more black people in Brazil yeah. than there are in the United States. There's 120 million black people in Brazil. Guess how many there are in the United States? Between 45 to 50 million people. Mm -hmm. So yep. get the fuck out of here. It's absolutely insane. Um, <clears throat> now she's trying to accuse... Uh, now she's trying to accuse this um, Austin Holloman of more shit. Let's read. Let's 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 translate this really quickly. Hey, you know what I'm scared though is that Austin Holloman, like this woman, has attacked every platform he's on. So if he was supposed to come back to America, it would be hard for him to get a job. But he says he's a barber, so hopefully you bar he'll be all right. You know. Um. No, because I mean, it, it, as long as he's making his money online, he's good. Um, this is a new day and age. You don't have to like work for somebody. Uh, he just needs to come out with some type of product, something that he's good at. Like, yeah. like if he's a barber, he probably needs to come out with, you know, I don't know, like get an affiliation with some type of maybe, I don't know, some, some sm uh, small business where he can do ads and stuff like that. I mean, there's so many ways to make money nowadays. Like just because you're online, talk, I'm online talking shit and I, and my businesses are flourishing. Why? Because I formed them in LLCs. I don't put them behind my name. I put my businesses and my properties in trust. So nobody knows who the fuck is owning what. And I mean, it, it's just a decentralization of your assets, which, you know, if you're smart, you'll do. So I, I don't think anything's going to stop his bag unless he gets to monetize on YouTube um or or you know removed off patreon but you could just move to another platform <clears throat> let me read this tweet though this guy says women choose to sell their bodies absolutely what i've told you guys before women sexualize themselves they don't uh, men don't sexualize women women sexualize themselves first and then on the back end men sexualize them that's literally how it usually goes now are there some dickheads who are just gonna come out and cat call and talk all this type of crazy shit yes but 
um, at the end of the day, most of the time it's women sexualizing themselves. Then the men come on the back end. That's why you, the Instagram explore page models um, comments are full of simps because the women sexualize themselves. The simps come in. Then the simps send them uh, dick pics and harass them sexually. And then the girls are like, oh, my God, I don't know why these men do this. <laughs> yeah. So um, and then Stephanie Ribeiro says, if that's what it is, if that's what it was about, men who call themselves passport bros would would pay for sex in their country. It is not about women selling themselves, but about men wanting to exercise the violent, imperialistic and misogynistic masculinity and only achieving this in Latin and Asian. OK, so for one, like I've showed you guys before, the men of of the their native men are way more violent than men over here. Yeah, I mean, more. that that's the whole reason why they're still a third world country. If, if Brazil got rid of all their crime, they would be probably second first world country. Yeah. But because they have so much organized crime. Mm -hmm. and, and it's way more organized um, from from the favelas all the way to their presidency. OK, yeah. well, organized well. crime. That's why they're still a third world country, because they invite corruption. So, like I said, stop worrying about American men, because the American men, majority of them are going over there genuinely looking for relationships, whether it be with many women or just one. Yeah. But and they're getting the, they're getting money. Yeah, exactly. But the and they're spending money over there in your country. But the native men are, you know, still participating in illegal drug trade, in illegal sex trafficking, in all different types of under the table businesses, you know, and, and I mean, they're, they're breaking international law. OK, so it's absolutely insane how this woman is trying to talk about, oh, men who come overseas and the passport bros are doing, dude, that's absolutely bullshit. Check the men in your country okay this guy says so you're against sexual empowerment of women fair exchange is no robbery uh, so she's saying why don't they pay for the the women in their country um guess why men don't pay for the women in their country because for one it's illegal in most of the united states and for two them bitches in fucking las vegas are stuck up like i mean yeah. come on dude like, nobody wants to fuck these yeah dude these you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna enjoy it bro because these chicks exactly they're going to suck your dick reluctantly and and oh, I mean it's not going to be a good experience. Yeah. Why yeah. would I pay thousands of dollars yeah. to get sex from an American woman in Las yeah. Vegas yeah. when I could get it for if I was going to pay for prostitution which I wouldn't personally, mm -hmm. but if I could get it for cheap overseas. Yeah. With yeah. a higher yeah. quality, better looking, sexually attractive woman. It's bullshit. Yeah, y'all yeah. you also get your your ego boosted overseas like here like you could be like the best looking dude if you have, if you have sex with a chick here she's just looking down on you man cuz we, we're just so toxic you know <laughs> you know yeah. here in America Yeah <laughs> so she I mean this woman's full of shit um somebody says so you're against sexual empowerment of women fair exchange is no robbery I've seen guys spend 500 USD on women in third world countries so you're against that those women can feed their families off that money she says not it's not it's not possible. You're trying to say that sex tourism benefits vulnerable women as if it's a social benefit when it's predatory. I mean, but, but the reality is the women are the main ones who are who are um, they're inviting this like shit. It is what it is. Um, the women are the ones who are selling their ass on the streets. Otherwise, dude, I talked to I talked to this OnlyFans model um, from Brazil. Uh back in the day when OnlyFans was just starting. And I asked her, I said, I said, um, <clears throat> is it safe for you to, you know, do OnlyFans in Brazil? And she was like, no. <laughs> oh, no. And I was oh, like, th I was like, then why are you doing it? And then she was like, because I would rather do it myself or, you know, find a, a, a boyfriend, which she she specifically said I would find I would rather find an American boyfriend yeah. because those men are the ones who have entitlement over the women like yeah. it, they have it all flipped around and the reason why feminism is so strong in brazil is because their men are so bad it's not yeah. because american men yeah. it's because their men are fucking animals we barely <laughs> don't even live over there we just visit so how could how could it be all our fault exactly <laughs> but okay exactly so let me look up the crime statistics for brazil we already have broken down that there are way more black people in brazil than there are in the united states so all that y'all trying to leave dude white brazilian women are way more reluctant than even white women in the states to deal with black men yep yep so yep. your options are regulated to black, black women in brazil yeah, yeah. 
they might have a little mixed look, but you know, they're black too, you know? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, these people are, are literally just uneducated. Mm -hmm. And I know there was a guy earlier talking about pull up, I guess the peso man, dude, you don't want to debate me on this shit because <laughs> it, it like, it's just too much reality smacking you in the face. All right. So let's look up the crime statistics in Brazil. Okay. And I can, I can keep going down USA today and look at fucking, um, disgusting shit that's going on in these third world countries man stabbed 70 times to, to his death during robbery in brazil and guess what it was a brazilian man robbing a brazilian man i mean nobody in the states you might have like one a, a one-off situation where you get robbed and you're getting stabbed 70 times yeah, the most the, right the most they'll do is shoot you in the face and then you know clean your pockets out like they did um, to that old, uh, the old security guard on Cleveland Road last November in uh, 2021. That was brutal yeah, itself. Back of his head, huh? Yeah, they they, sh they shot this security guard on Cleveland Road at the chicken spot in Atlanta. This was like 10 minutes away from where I stay in Buckhead. Um, and and they killed that man, you know, for no reason. The nigga killed him, ran his pockets, and you know, just kept it moving. Yeah, some cold blooded shit. Too. Yeah, so I mean, even in the states, yeah, they might do you bad, but shit, they not gonna stab you seventy times. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm. It's another video on on USA Today, and this is all within the last two months. <laughs> Man executed at close range with assault rifle in Brazil. Yo, they're they're savage down there, bro. I tell you, like the gore side, they're animals. Brazil, bro, like they're animals, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. They're, I don't even Fucking know where. To I don't even know how the fuck they're that evil because we got goons in America, but they're yes. nowhere near as fucked up as those guys are. You know, those guys are like straight psychopaths, man. Like yes. Bloody type shit. So, yes, they're, <laughs> they're literally Aztec fucking blood sacrifice. They're bloodthirsty. Man mm -hmm. killed, shot in the face inside Poly Clinic in Brazil. Gang member gunned down by ops. Even Brazilians <laughs> have ops. And guess what? These are black brazilians yeah and i'm gonna tell you right now you know black men are struggling all across the world when it comes to crime and violence yep mm -hmm. okay people are saying what side is that what side is that this is video evidence video evidence i'll drop the i'll drop the link in the chat video evidence this ain't me reading headlines this is me watching videos yeah. You want to see what's going on around in the world in these third world countries with these men? You better wake the fuck up. Brazil. And if, if you got a squeamish stomach, you better yeah. not click on this site. Yeah. Yeah. Mexico is another evil ass country, too. There's some evil. Evil. Yeah. Evil. Evil's They're animals. Uh -huh. They the are show, Mexico. animals. El Salvador, Mex like those type of countries, bro. Like they're, they're Guatemala. Like there's some evil people, bro. Like and they're killing people POV style. They're, yeah. they're holding the camera and holding the gun like this and mm -hmm. shooting people in the face POV style. There's a headlock, there's a, there's a thumbnail right now. Man executed for Brazilian uh, disrespecting gang in Brazil. And, and, and the guy who's holding the, 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 the gun is filming with his goddamn iPhone. They're literally <laughs> filming murders and they're all getting away with it. Mm -hmm. They're filming, they're, they're filming murders and they're all getting away with it and you want to talk about american men are over there exploiting dude yeah. shut the fuck up and say that to your own men because you know I, and I don't condone this at all but i and that's why these feminists don't talk about the men in their area and they dare not talk about the goddamn gangs mm -hmm. because if they disrespect one of these gangs their head will be on a fucking stake yeah ribeiro will have, yeah she would get fucked up and that's why hey, you I, know exactly what? A lot of these feminists, they only can talk this shit online. They can't go home yep. with their husbands or boyfriends. That shit, they'll get fucking whooped, you know? Yep. <laughs> and, 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 and they would do things that American men couldn't even imagine to yeah. their women. I'm talking about mutilating their genitalia. I'm talking about all sick shit. I'm talking about chopping your titties off. This boys. is what the Brazilian men are doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't play, yeah. And you're gonna come over here and talk to me about American men, dude. I, I, I mean, I've heard hey. of maybe a few serial killers who do that type of shit in America, but dude, American men are some of the greatest men on the fucking planet. Yo, you know, you know, you know, also has served to our detriment too. Because when you look at it, 
there are a lot of beautiful women down in these South American countries, but the reason why some of them are so humble is because the men are so fucking savage, you know? In America, yes. chicks like those, they'll be off their ass. You wouldn't even be yep. able to talk to them, you know? You're absolutely 100% right. Yeah. They're humble and they and, and those men make it a point yeah. to make sure that those women understand, hey, you might be beautiful, but yeah. I will literally cut your fucking head off, bitch. Yeah. That is the mindset of Brazilian. Yeah. I'm not saying all Brazilian men, but the Brazilian men who are driving up the crime rate. So let's look at crime statistics in Brazil. Because I don't want to talk about, oh, anecdotal videos. You're just going to a video that's it's biased because all they're doing is showing, um, you know, uh, 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 murders. Well, <laughs> I bet you can't find no site like that. It, um, this just like straight POV style murders in the U.S. like that. All those sites get taken down. Twitch streamers who, you know, the um, Peyton Gendron shit, that shit got taken down off of Twitch. I mean, you can hey, only find the video on USA like Crime. Can't do none of that shit in America. If you fucking like whoop a dog, you'll be on you'll be on the fucking yep. you'll be on the news, like you'll be in jail and shit like that. Like, bro, like those crimes, I don't even think shit like that happens here, bro. Barely, yep. barely. Watch this, and the crimes only going up. Intentional homicides are estimates of unlawful homicides purpose or uh, purposely inflicted as a result of domestic disputes. That's the number one. That's the number one crime. Uh, that the, the number one form of homicide in Brazil is from domestic disputes. That's <laughs> man gets an argument with woman, man kills woman. Mm -hmm. These niggas are fucking savages. So guess what? Brazilian women are pining for foreign men. They're like, yep. please take me from these goddamn animals. Yep. Yep. You want that green card? Come here. They want <laughs> that shit. Uh -huh. Like we're saving them. We are Hercules going over there <laughs> and swooping them up from their own country. And I don't give a fuck what you guys say. <laughs> That's why a lot of those women are single too. Yeah, those black. Like there's a video. <laughs> there's a video where. Yeah. It's and I'll I'll play this video too. I haven't even gotten to Austin Holloman shit. I'm just getting started. But there's a video um, that I have saved where this black Brazilian woman is explaining why black women in Brazil are not getting married and they're staying single until they're fucking 50, 60 years old. It's the same shit like here, man. Yeah. Yep. And, and, but it's worse there because yeah, worse. there's even less options there because those yeah. men will fucking kill you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God. And a lot of black people don't lot understand. Of black there don't even have money, bro. They can't go nowhere. Like, it's all yep. fucking them, bro. <laughs> Like here, yep. them, there are millions of successful black men here, so their options are even even worse. Even yep. worse. this this video is titled "Why Black Brazilian Women Are Alone in Brazil," mm -hmm. which I've already told you guys that there are more black women in Brazil than there are than there ever would be in the United States ever. There yeah. will never be as many black. I mean, if there were 120 million black people in America. Do you know what the crime rate would be? Yeah, it would be off the fucking Jesus pain, Christ. Bro. I mean, come on. It's just fucking common sense. Like, Jesus. Okay, so let's read the rest of these statistics. These are murder, homicide statistics coming straight out of Brazil. The number one result, uh, the, the, the number one uh, um, cause of homicides in Brazil is domestic disputes. Man gets an argument with woman. Woman talks back. Man kills woman. The number one reason. So for y'all to talk about American men going over there and exploiting, dude, talk about your own men. How about yep. it? And guess what? She never will. She'll just keep talking in general about imperialism and, and, and these people coming over here. And, and guess what? She'll give those men who are killing their women the excuse. Oh, well, they're disenfranchised and they were enslaved for years. And, and yes, that is a factor, but that has nothing to do with your pers interpersonal um, decision to commit a homicide on a woman that you're supposed to love. That is that is inexcusable behavior, but these feminists will talk it away and say, oh, um, uh, white supremacy. Hey, you know what? I'm going to sound like a, a coon when I say this right here, but do you think like us as black people have a propensity to commit like criminal acts? Because if you look at all these black countries, mm -hmm. they're all criminally infested in Africa, Congo, you know, you got Jamaica. Yeah, that, yeah. Why, why are there so many crimes? What's going on? Yeah, the short answer What's is yes, on? bro. Yes, yes. Um, I mean, we just have not 
we just haven't gotten there yet. That's what I'm saying. Like we haven't gotten to that overall, it, that global level of civilization. Yeah. And yes, there are other factors that have um, contributed into our downfall, like imperialism. Yes. But uh, at the end of the day, if, if white people didn't come to South Africa, they yeah. would still be shitting in buckets. Yeah. Well, you're, you're so people. let's stop the bullshit. White <laughs> yeah. people civilized South Africa point blank. And it's still not as civilized as it it's still not as civilized as it should be because it's I mean, it's a pet project. It's only, you know, it's less than um, a century in the making. But before those people came through South Africa, I mean, that was the originization of society. They were still living in the Stone Ages. Yeah, <laughs> they were still living li like it was fucking 5000 B.C. So yeah. people need to stop with the bullshit. Yeah, uh, and, and, like and, and oh, imperialism. No, they came over here because you, you know, one, yes, natural resources, and two, they they wanted to civilize the world so that there was not a threat to their safety once they built their own societies. Yeah, yeah, because even when you look at Aboriginal people, the only the only invention they have made in the last five hundred years is a boomerang. You know, meanwhile, the European people have built phones and shit. Now, like they're far behind. Yeah. Now, so. There's some some genetic differences going on. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that because guess what? If if I had to put money on a you know a fucking uh of what a, I don't know, a white boy from Britain and uh you know a, a a white boy from the Congo, 15 years old, same height, same age in a track in a track race, 100 meter uh dash, I'm yeah. putting my money on the Congolese man. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> like yeah. There's different things that people are good at. Um, yeah. Generally, I'm not saying that you know you can't be a black inventor. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying overall, in general, there are certain races that are better at different things. Just that's why there was discrimination at Harvard against Asians because the Asians were coming over the, coming over here and getting perfect scores on the SATs because yeah. they done took it 50, 11 times. Yeah, that's the difference. Um, so let's keep reading. <clears throat> Intentional homicides are estimates of unlawful homicides purpose uh, purposely inflicted as a result of domestic disputes, interpersonal violence, violent conflicts over land resources, inter-gang violence over turf or control, and predatory violence and killings by armed groups. Intentional homicide does not include all intentional killing. The difference is usually in the organization of the killing. Individuals or small groups usually commit homicide, whereas killing in an armed conflict is usually committed by fairly cohesive groups of up to several hundred members and is thus usually excluded. And this, so this is not even including all of the homicides they have. They, they literally had to create another classification for intentional homicides because there are so many murders going on in Brazil. So they had to redefine intentional homicides <laughs> Uh, by individuals or small groups usually commit homicides, whereas killing in an armed conflict is usually committed by fairly cohesive groups of up to several hundred members and is thus usually excluded. So they're not even including like extreme organized crime where where it's just like a mob of people going and killing people, which happens in Brazil, just like it happens in the United States on a smaller scale. <clears throat> yeah. Like in Philadelphia, there was a um, these young black kids. Uh, who killed a 74-year-old black man with a traffic cone. They beat him to death with a traffic cone. And if you guys don't believe me, go look that fucking video up. Black Gen Z Mindset, look it up, okay? Um, let's, let's keep going. Brazil crime rates and statistics for 2020 was 22.45, uh, a 7.5% increase from 2019. The crime statistics in 2019 was 20.88, uh, a 21% decline from 2018. So that's probably where they've seen the most decline was in 2018 within the past five years. Um, so, so this is, this, I mean, this is absolutely insane that they're trying to make it seem like American men are going over there and, um, and making Brazil unsafe. Um, no, that's your own men. Those motherfuckers are savages. Not all, not all, not all. But the reality is, it's hot in Brazil, okay? And there's no fucking denying that. There's, there's literally no denying that. 
Yeah, I mean, you know what, too? A lot of tourists got a fucked up misconception of what Brazil is because they only go to Rio de Janeiro. They don't yep. go to the parks. They just go to the front where the beach is at where they're playing soccer. But there's a much deeper, darker, like, um, you know, like, thing behind it, bro. Like, after oh, yeah. Rio, it's just, like, killing favelas, some crazy shit going on, man. So, yep. you know, it's not all yep. just beaches and football. Exactly. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, it, it's it's literally crazy. Let's let's look at some of these charts that they're presenting. These these charts are actually really interesting when it comes to the uh, population of Brazil. So this is a distribution of the male and female population uh, by age, I believe. Yes. So this is age. So on the Y axis, we on the Y axis, we have age. And um, <clears throat> on the X axis, we have the number of people. OK, and this is going um, from from left to right. Men on the left side, women on the right side. So the population by age is damn near locked in like there. It's almost like there's one man for every woman yep. um, uh, or, or vice versa in Brazil. So that's a really interesting chart there. Um, and, 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 and if, and if that's a fact, if there's one man for every woman in Brazil, why are so many black Brazilian women s single, still that's single? That's a big question right there. And, 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 and I'll even hold the men accountable. If I was a woman, I wouldn't get with those men. If, cause yeah. I'm watching USA <laughs> crime and I, I mean, at least if you get, get with a Pookie and Ray Ray, yeah. yeah, he might shoot your ass, maybe, yeah. but at least he's going to have some trap money coming in for a little bit. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, yeah. I mean, it's absolutely insane. And another reason why Brazilian women are uh, uh, Afro-Brazilian women are single is because they sleep around. Yep, they sleep they're, around. They sex. OK, they sexual, yeah, they, they're prostitutes themselves. Man. Yep. This is this is the growth of population in Brazil um, from uh, 1950s into uh 2023 so their population has exponentially grown and they're predicting that it's going to fall off around 2080 um <clears throat> so that's that's really interesting I, I mean i don't see really how it would just fall off going into 2050 but if you read the documents about agenda 2030 there is an overall yeah. agenda to yeah. lower the population so this like projection that. might be based off of you yeah, know, yeah. even involving the CV vaccines with the CDC yeah. just came out and yeah. said that that actually it, it increased um, strokes uh, yeah. of people over the age of 50. And I guarantee there will be more information coming out. These yeah. things that they told you to put in your body a couple years ago are fucking dangerous. What happened with that graph <laughs> is that the population grew too quickly. So they're like, you know what? Fuck it. Yep. We got rid of them now. So they just started killing them off. So that's why by 2080 might just go down, you know? <laughs> yep. 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 Um, they're even like fucking marsupials out there, man. They're just popping out kids. It looks like exactly, yeah. They're fucking in Brazil. They are fucking, and that's why their population has grown so much because those women fuck, and and I and that's a that's a known thing. Even yeah. if you go to Miami, like out of all the women who you can fuck with in Miami, the ones who are going to be selling pussy the fastest are Brazilian women. Yeah, yeah. That's all they know. That's their profession. <laughs> exactly. Like it's such bullshit how they're trying to make it seem like these women are victims dude they choose to sell pussy that's just the reality of the situation and and i mean even in thailand you got the same thing going on and like i said there's nothing fucking wrong with that stop yeah, trying yeah. to you can't you can't shame the men and then and then excuse the women either shame them both or shut the fuck up point blank it's the world's oldest profession man yep Shame them both. Say it's deplorable and it's immoral for both or shut the hell up. So let's listen to this woman. Then we'll get into the Austin clip. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are you? Welcome to my channel about Brazil. Well, this issue, I don't like to talk too much, but my videos is not about my opinion. And I like to teach about everything in my country, what happened. So let's run it back. Why she don't like to talk about it? Because her ass single. I don't like talking about this discussion so much, but I'm going to talk about it. Why? Because she's single. Been here. Well, this thing I think is very sad, okay? But this is real. When you come to Brazil, you will find 
a lot of women, black women, alone here, or dating someone. Let's see how quickly she br blames white supremacy. <laughs> who is white or Caucasian. Here we go. Okay. Because of the white supremacy. <laughs> Bruh. All right. End of the stream. End of the stream. I I'll Want see to become an elite level athlete? Go. Well, look go. no further. The <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but Jesus Christ. <laughs> This is why we ain't going nowhere, bro. No solutions. There's a victim mindset. Yep. Yes. We have white supremacy in Brazil, unfortunately. But this issue is hidden. You it's hidden? What the fuck does that even mean? The reality is, <clears throat> and people are going to hate to say this, but when you're literally shooting each other and, and, and creating gangs and, and, and mutilating people, people are probably going to stray away from you. And I'm telling you right now, the majority of people committing murders in Brazil are Afro-Brazilians. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. We just looked at the statistics. That's the reality. Those are That's the reality. Those are facts. It's a fact. Don't see people yelling on the streets with black people you don't see um embarrassing situation at restaurants or something like that but you can realize another stat brazil is ranked 10th in crime out of all of the countries in the world they're ranked 10th their top 10 most dangerous countries ever, <laughs> ever, okay? Yeah, they're, they're, they're vicious down there for sure. Fucking vicious. Yep. They're ranked 12th in violent crimes. They're six times more violent than the United States. Six times more violent than the United States. Okay. Their murder rate. Their murder rate. 40,974. And just to give you some perspective, the United States has a, uh, on average about 10,000 murders a year. Yeah. I mean, if you if you were to like break down those stats even further and just and just put it and just like isolate it to black people alone, it's much worse. Yeah. Yep. So the United States had 12,000 murders last year, I believe. Brazil had 40,000 murders. Three times more dangerous than the United States. They're ranked first in violent murders. Hmm. <laughs> Brutal down here, man. And they're talking about American men. We're way less violent. We're way less violent. <laughs> the red knight says top 10 in the world but passport bros are making it dangerous exactly yeah. these people who are making these points saying passport bros are making it dangerous no actually we're making it safer as a matter of fact if there were more white passport bros who went to brazil i guarantee the country would turn around in a heartbeat yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the reality maybe we need a mass exodus of mm -hmm. white men to brazil to civilize the country it's yeah. fucked up but that's the reality. Yeah, you need white people to control us, man. They need they, they bring structure. I just put it out there, man. Like they need they need like a lot of a lot of people say like you know they don't they don't want to live in a white system. But if you're living a strictly black system, it's gonna be fucked up. It's not gonna right. be right. it's not gonna be run right. All the safest yeah. countries are in white systems. Yep. They you know what I'm saying like unfortunately it's the truth. You know that's the truth. And then what, what's happening now? Multiculturalism, they're letting immigrants in. And, and, and now the countries are starting to fall like Sweden. Yeah, Sweden didn't have these problems until they were bringing in random Palestinians and random Iraqi refugees and Iranian refugees. These people coming from these countries, not all, not all, not all, not all, but a lot of them are savages. Yes. And they savages. resonate with that. Like it, it's not a, it's not a, a, a um, it's not some type of insult me calling them that. I guarantee, just like if I, if I said, 
you know, if I if I went and asked Lil Dirk, yo, what's good, Dirk? You a savage? Hell yeah, I'm mm-hmm. a savage. <laughs> These niggas want to be that. Mm-hmm. Okay, and it's not all, but Jesus Christ. I mean, to, to act like it's just not happening, it's literally insane. Um, Let's read some more chats. Distant Life says, black people have so much smoke for each other, LMAO. <laughs> Mr. Jake the Great says, that poly clinic dude was leaking. Yep, he was. Distant Life says, wasn't the gun POV camera style an ISIS tactic too? LOL. They used to recruit teens with edited Call of Duty style videos of them shooting people and stuff. Yep. Distance Life says they keep their women in check, LMAO. Eddie Ed, Edda says Latin America, uh, Latin America are violent countries. Yep. House of Lamar says facts. Uh, Shing Shang says Tino going in. Yep. House of Lamar says don't look up a video called No Mercy in Mexico. Jesus Christ. Shing Shang says that does explain why they're single. He also says great points. Cloudbuster says the average man in Brazil is not murdering women. Yeah, no shit. Just like the average black man in the United States is not murdering people. But the reality is the majority of murders are coming from the black man's hand. So it's not to say that, oh, yeah, every black man is a murderer. No, it's just the saying that we got a murder problem. OK, so yeah, uh, Brazilian cookies and Ray Ray's, they come from hell, man. <laughs> exactly. And they're 10 times worse. I mean, even from these statistics, they're six times worse when it comes to um, to or three times worse when it comes to uh, murder. When it comes to violent crimes in, in general, they're um, <clears throat> they're 11 times more worse than uh, the United States. So I'm not saying obviously I mean, only in, I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, disrespect you, Cloud Buster, but only an idiot would have to conclude from what I said, even though I'm breaking down the statistics like obviously there's there's um 215 there's 215 million people in Brazil and you know um 120 million of them are black people and they only have 40,000 murders a year by my regard that's damn I mean that's pretty decent <laughs> that's pretty decent you know comprising to how many how many niggas they really have in there so um, for you to conclude that, oh, every man, ev- the average man is not murdering women. Yeah, yeah, no shit. No shit. Just like the average white man is not a colonialist white supremacist. But y'all don't, if I say that, then y'all like, oh, no, well, all white people have internalized racism. Fuck out of here, bro. Y'all are, su- y'all are such hypocrites, bro. Shing Shang says they want foreign men to save them. Yep. Shing Shang says every country, uh, every country with black people in it. Black folks play the same song, right? Cloudbuster says that literally makes no sense. Plenty of black countries that have, oh, I wouldn't say plenty, that have lower rates of murder. The police in Granada don't carry guns. You're picking the outliers. No, I'm picking the majority. You're picking the outliers. Those are Brit- white and those are British like outlier. British, British control those countries. They're still under British law. Like the Cayman Exactly. And shit like that. They all have like British, like they're you know, colonized. They're colonized, yeah. What happened when Haiti got their independence from France? It fucked up, yeah. Look at it now. I'm waiting. Look at Haiti now. Y'all <laughs> don't want me to pull up the statistics from Haiti. Y'all yeah. don't want me to pull up the statistics <laughs> on Libya. Yeah. Y'all don't want me to pull up the statistics on um. I mean, shit. We just go down down the list. Yeah, there are millions of them, man. I mean, keep it real, dude. It's not every country, but the majority of these countries are fucked ass up. Yeah. You could blame white supremacy all you want, but guess who had to sell out to to white supremacy? The black leaders. Yeah. The white supremacists couldn't be supremacists if they weren't invited into there by the people who control the country. Mm -hmm. That's just a fact. Just like the slave trade, the, the white people couldn't have gotten slaves from Africa if African people didn't sell the slaves. Because yeah. they were not able to just go over there, pull up in Africa and overpower everybody. That's not how it works. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're not just going over there showing your monkey ass some shiny things and then, you know, clubbing you over the head and throw you on a boat. Did it happen sometimes like that? Yes, for sure. But guess what? They had black men on the beaches auctioning off slaves to white men and yeah. shaking hands at the end of the day. And then they're counting their fucking, you yeah. know, how many pieces of um, silver they had. Or shiny plates, yeah. Exactly, or a fucking <laughs> iron bow and arrow. Yeah. Some stupid shit. House of Lamar says, is this one of the feminists in Brazil, bro? Yep. 
DVB says, I saw this video. Romare Dubo says on her channel came up on my algorithm. I watched some of her videos. Her voice is sexy. She's a six though. Yep. DVB says, wow. And I guarantee, I mean, how old is she? About 50. If we do the body count formula, I guarantee she don't ran it up. The red Knight says top 10 in the world, but passport bros are making it dangerous, right? TS says, that's not the truth. What the fuck? Where the heck did y'all get that from? What do you, what is TS talking about? Just say, that's not the truth. What are you even talking about? I mean, be specific. Romare Dubose says that having a working system and a system to take care of my ass after I worked for 40 years. Alfred says, fact, Sweden is um, the number one gun crime country in Europe now. Yep. DVB says, sounds harsh, but Sweden is getting more dangerous. Those Somalis are destroying Sweden. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, sadly. And the Somalis are destroying, um, uh, is it Wisconsin? Where is that? Uh, what was that boy's name who, who got shot? Uh, it was the first video that I did. Damn, I forget his name. <clears throat> um, let me go to my, my other channel okay. real quick. Yeah. Was but it, uh, it was a guy who got shot by the cops. Um, yeah, I heard. You know what? I was reading the comments already under a video. Amir Locke. Amir I heard Locke. A white, I heard a white guy call Chicago, Chicago. I was, I was dying, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, pe people call Chicago, Chicago. And guess, <laughs> look at the leadership at Chicago. Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Yep. I told you, like, we can't run under LGBT a sister. Fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and, and the district attorney, Kim, uh, Kim Porter. Mm -hmm. Trash. All of these Democratic run, run, all of these catch Democratic and release. It's are all fucked up. New York, California, like anywhere, like you know, where black people have a, a high yep. influence in politics, it's always either corrupt or there's a high crime rate or some shit, man. You know? Yep. R Romare Dubo says Somalis in Minnesota. Yep. And guess yeah. what? See, it, and, and 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 the thing is, the fucked up thing about it is that you don't hear nothing about no ukrainian refugees who had to flee the country coming to the united yeah. states and then fucking shit up guess nope, what they're nope. coming into the country grateful assimilating working jobs working construction jobs getting mm -hmm. getting housing at hampton university and hbcu and they're not yeah. causing no ruckus <laughs> doing less than uber yeah exactly they brought over a hundred thousand ukrainians and guess what you don't hear shit about them mm-hmm you don't hear a goddamn peep. They're quiet. They work. They are yeah. not committing crimes. Yeah. Can we say that about the 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 Mexican refugees? I'm not even just mm. keeping it on black. Can yeah. we say that about the Haitians who are coming oh. over here? Even though I love my Haitians, sa passe. Mm. But mm. <laughs> I mean, we got some shit going on. Okay. It, it, it's dangerous, man. Um, Cloud Buster says the majority of murders are not coming from black men. There is a higher percentage related to our population. You're interpreting the stats incorrectly. Black men in America Whoa. commit over 57 percent of murders. Yes, so. absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's talking about because you literally have not looked at the data. Uh, I, I literally have looked at all of the data, FBI crime statistics. You're wrong, bro. DVB says, yeah, the promotion is that the very small percentage is doing all of the hits and many times not getting locked up. Cloud Buster says the British do not control Grenada anymore um, than they control Jamaica. Simply not true. OK, you can debate that. But um, look at what's happening in Jamaica. I think yeah. they're one of the number one uh, yeah, homicide rates, rates <laughs> in the country. So yeah. guess what? The Britons, they said, OK, we're going to fall back. You know, we still going to do some business over here, but we're going to fall all the way back. And guess what happened to the damn country? It's a fucking shit show. It's yeah. a shithole country, like Trump said. Yeah, OK, yeah, yeah. Dark Energy says. Can anyone base the things on facts and gender studies opposed to um, feminist talking points? Exactly. I bring out the facts. I'm looking at nation master statistics and charts. We're, we're coming from uh, um, we're coming from sources that come straight from the United Nations. So whatever you got to say, I don't know. Maybe talk to the numbers, bro. But don't talk to me with that bullshit because I'm reading straight from the facts, baby. DVB says true. Even Dr. Umar said ain't no black oppression without the help of a black sellout facts. House of Lamar says Vermont, Minnesota, Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota is where the Somalis are literally taking over. Uh, that Amir Lock <laughs> situation, the reason why he got that. killed. <clears throat> huh? I didn't know like Somalis were in Minnesota. I Dude, they're taking over. I mean, look at if you go and look at the bad and busted in Somalia are in Minnesota, all the niggas who are getting arrested on bad and busted for like violent crimes are like Somali. They all have like some Igruk Abdubal type name and shit like that. Like these niggas are out there and I'm and I love the Somali people, but at the same time, y'all got some motherfucking issues. Yeah. Okay. Especially when it comes to assimilating to um countries that don't let you just, you know, walk around and take shits in the street. All right. So uh <laughs> 
Um, so, uh, you know, that Amir Locke situation, the reason why Amir Locke got killed is because he was hanging around with some Somali gangsters who were out here robbing the plug and running off on the plug. Pirates, bro. Pirates. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, it, people just don't even understand. I broke that whole video down on my channel. That was the first live stream I did on Black Gen Z Mindset where we broke down and we read the warrant that, that was served for the no not warrant for a mere lock. And then Minnesota tried to... Um, <clears throat> They tried to get rid of the no knock warrant, and then they got they brought it back because the no knock warrant. If if you have if you have a uh, if you don't have the no knock warrant, you're putting officers' lives in danger because the element of surprise it was is what saves officers' lives from these savages who shoot weapons, firearms indiscriminately. Okay, um, Hassel Lamar says Africans are swarming the state of Vermont too. Who I don't know what African country they're coming from. He says, Illinois just passed an assault weapons ban, so this will halt all crime in the state of Illinois. LOL. Exactly. Um, T.S. says, boo, hey, tomatoes. You know the cops, they don't go down in the south side of Chicago. That You know, that it's primarily the south side of Chicago where all the crime happens, but cops, yep. black people kill themselves down there. They don't give a fuck. Yep. <laughs> so, so we have dissenters in the comments section. I would love you guys to join the stream. DV, um, I just dropped the stream link. If you disagree, join the stream. Don't talk all that shit in the uh, comment section. Let's get at it. DVB says, yeah, if they're doing something, it's under the table and not on the streets. TS says misinformation. Where's the misinformation? I'm pulling up stats from the United Nations. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, uh, Mr. Jake, the great says what happened after the British left Jamaica in the 1960s? Um, yeah. <laughs> Shane Chang says the guy who made that comment, Forgot the rappers that got shot from takeoff of the Migos to Young Dolph and the color of the main culprits are. So, yes, yeah. black men do more homicides to each other. Absolutely. Um, there, there's no question about it. Um, black black men are the leaders in homicide when mm -hmm. when it uh, comes to the United States. The And, and the reality is <clears throat> um, and that's the same in Brazil as well. Um, Afro, Afro, um, Brazilians, but, but the reality is we have an issue and nobody wants to confront it. And they're just saying, Oh, it's misinformation. It's misinformation. But I literally have another channel where I specifically cover inner city crimes in all the major cities in the United States. And who's driving up the crime rate, unfortunately is black men. When, let's talk about the Kia boys. Yeah. Who are those? You don't see no <laughs> damn white Kia boys. You don't mm -hmm. see no white boys out here carjacking like that. It's a black man sport. You don't see like like uh, there's literally songs. I'm on some murder gang shit. Take a the race like yeah. the uh, YNW murder on my mind. Like, how the fuck are y'all not seeing this? You you yeah. literally just sound stupid. <clears throat> Crazy. Um, so anyways, on. yeah, let's keep going. We have a racism here. Hidden. OK. And unfortunately, many black women in Brazil, prefer to date um, white men, Bullshit. Caucasian, blonde, and etc. There you have it. Mm -hmm. So they're saying, oh, the men just want to date white women. Yeah. Oh my black God. Women, give fucking like black men down there a chance to date them. You know, they don't, they don't, right. They don't black men for a favela, bro. Come the fuck. And, 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 <laughs> and even if that's the case, guess what? What's the solution to that? Be more competitive. Yeah. yeah. Point blank. I'm tired of these women talking about, I don't have to compete. There's no competition. I'm the only competition. It's me versus me. No, the fuck it's not. Just like it's not me versus me. When it comes to this YouTube shit, I'm in competition with other content creators. There's a ranking for a reason. When you go on Social Blade, there's a ranking for a reason. When you go, there's, there's algorithms, there's, there's, um, data analytics for a reason to show you who's the best and who's the fucking worst. <laughs> so if you want the men, you have to compete. So get up in their face. Stop waiting for them to approach you. You have to approach. If you understand that you're not the first chosen, guess what? Just like black men who want to date IR, you know, you're not the first chosen. Guess yeah. what? You're going to have to step to some white bitches. Yeah. Point yeah. blank. Yeah. Be competitive. Put yourself out there. And I guarantee people will be able to overlook your skin color for the character inside your heart. But guess what? Y'all don't have no character. You're not bringing no value to that man. So he, 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 he passes up on you because mm -hmm. these other women are bringing character. Mm -hmm. Stop with the excuses. And 
black men in Brazil, the Brazilians, they prefer white women also because of the white supremacy. <laughs> they think if I marry with a white person, I can have babies more cleaner with the color of skin more cleaner and they will be accepted in the society and will not to pass for the same embarrassed situation that I has in my life. They. Oh, okay. So Cloudbuster says still not true. African Americans account for the majority of murders in the U S not black men. What the fuck? Are what? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? La last time <laughs> I checked, African American men identified as black men. Last time I checked, if I look at my ID, it's going to say black. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I didn't know we were making a delineation between black men and African American men. Yeah. So he must be including African men mm -hmm. who, if they move to America and they get citizenship, they would literally be considered African-American. Yeah, yeah. That's why the joke is Elon yeah. Musk is, you know, the, the most successful African-American to ever live because he's literally from Africa. He's got citizenship in the United States and now therefore he is an African-American. So yeah. I, I don't, I didn't know we were making a delineation between African-American and black men. I know they like to do that ADOS and FBA delineation, whatnot. <laughs> but um, last time I checked, African Americans were black men. So I don't know what the fuck this guy's talking about. Yeah, if you're going to do a test, you're not going to see Caribbean black or, or African American. It's just going to say African American. Was... This is wild, bro. He says um, Caribbean ethnicities have a much lower incarceration rate and higher education rates than African Americans. Are you talking about in the United yeah. States? It must be in the U.S. Cause... Okay, I was because uh, I was like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you must be out your mind if you think they're getting a higher education in in their home country than in the united states the reason why they have higher um, the um education rates even though these africans are definitely catching up when it comes to crime in the united states yeah. um and caribbeans are as well mm -hmm. like they're doing better than african americans americans but they're still not doing better than the other immigrants like indian immigrants and um, Middle Eastern that, immigrants who are coming over here. The reason why you got that that that, that perception too is that, that those countries self-select for the best, so the best leave their yep. and come here, so they they're more likely to do better. You know. Yep. And just like Trump said, the Mexicans they're not sending their best, dude. Yeah. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you just living in Atlanta, the Mexicans run the fucking coke game. <laughs> they run it. They. Run it and 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 look, bro. I love drugs. I don't do every drug, but I love the idea of drugs. Okay, and I think that um there should be legalization and and and, and structured regulation. The reason why they can't legalize it is because it's more profitable being illegal. Yeah. Okay. That's why they don't want to legalize it because it's more profitable illegal. Because if you legalize it now, I mean, look at what they did to weed. Yeah, weed. Shit. Back in the day, nigga, 25, 30 a gram. Yep, yeah. And that was in high school. Mm -hmm. That was in high school. Now, it's now look at this shit. It's 15, 10 a gram, all this bullshit. Like, damn. And Nobody you getting some Zaza for 10 a gram. Mm -hmm. Back in back in the day in Miami, like dudes were like doing like weed was a was like coke, man. Like, you made a lot yeah. of but now, like, nobody gives a fuck about that shit, you know? Dude, weed was $4,000 a pound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just 20, 20 years ago. <laughs> Early 2000s, nigga, you flipping a pound of weed, you're making four bands. Yeah. That's wholesale. That's not even breaking it down. If you break it down, what? So, like, people trying, oh, you don't know about the street, dude. Dude, <laughs> I mean... It's simple math, bro. <clears throat> Especially when you cover crime and you understand how these operations work. I mean, there was a there was a, a drug kingpin who was involved in uh, Honeycomb Brazy's, uh, the killing of his grandparents. This dude was making seventy five million dollars in in Alabama, and he's fucking uh, he's three hundred pound fat ass black dude, and he's making seventy five million dollars calling hits on people straight off of of, of coke, fetanol, heroin. Uh, perks, you know, pills, Xanax. 
I mean, this guy was a fucking boss in Alabama. So, and Honeycomb Brazy, you know, fuck with the wrong one. And these niggas got old money, too. That's the type of nigga who was selling weed in the 80s and 90s. And he's got an extensive criminal record to back that up. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the Red Knight says in Chicago, they call it the Wild 100, Southside. It's like an occupation war zone over there. The police swarm around in unmarked cars with body armor and assault rifles. Yep. Burgess Meredith says, excellent show. Thank you, uh, Burgess. Shane Shane says, it's the same old song as I said earlier. Um, whether it's the States or in a country like Brazil facts, dark energy said, I heard enough. So he's calling me a coon because I'm stating facts. I mean, that's fine. I don't give a fuck because <laughs> I mean, I, I rather live in reality. Um, Burgess Meredith says <laughs> house of Lamar says Mexicans. If you disagree, like I said, I dropped the stream link. You can call me a coon to my face. You're going to have to cam up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Romare Dubose says uh, they have lower standards in those countries, so they appear to have better educational systems. Yep, exactly. When they come to America, they got to still take remedial courses in college. Absolutely. That's why you have women. Um, it, uh, that's why there's a huge feminist movement in Brazil, and the women are supposedly being more educated than the men, which honestly, I wouldn't put it past them because it's so much easier for a man to just get into the drug game in Brazil um, yeah, than go through the education. So I get that. Just like the same in the States. It's so much easier for a you know, black guy to pick up some crack and move that shit than actually go to college. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why they do it, because it's the path of least resistance. But there are so many, quote unquote, educated women. You got you got you got Brazilian women who are attorneys at law at 20 years old in Brazil. What the fuck? Yeah, and, and because their education standard is so much lower yeah. that they can get a law degree by the age of 20. But guess what? That shit, though, you come over here in the States and you try and practice law and say, oh, I got a Brazilian law degree. <coughs> nope. They're going to send your ass over and take the bar. Yeah. And I guarantee them hoes will fail. fail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to fail. I mean, like it's the like, same thing, too, in America, like a lot of black women, they just enroll in college. They don't, they don't really have degrees. They don't really graduate. Yeah. And a lot of them don't graduate. Um, yeah. There was actually an article that um that uh, black women are dropping out of pwi specifically at an extremely high rate and their reason why oh well you know the culture the white the, the white supremacy and whatnot dude there's not a pwi in the united states that is is built i mean i'm not gonna say built off the backs of white supremacy but there's not a pwi that the the students are just like brazenly white supremacists OK, no. the majority of them, you might they, have like one or two who might talk shit. Yeah, but yeah. if you uh, compare the compare the danger to being on an HBCU campus yeah. um, compared to a PWI, it's not even close on a PWI. I could leave my MacBook, my phone, all my shit yeah, on campus in the in the um, in the uh, library, the, the mm -hmm. UGA library where I went to school and it'll be there the next day. Can't yeah. say the same for um grambling can't say the same for valdosta state can't <laughs> say the same for howard can't say the same for hampton can't say the same for spellman can't yeah. say the same for morehouse so <laughs> stop with the bullshit fam you fam you fam you can't say the same for fam you they got they, they had a woman uh fam you who took her graduation pictures butt naked <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Dude. It's ridiculous. Terrer says that's because they started um, making profit off weed. Cloudbuster says LMAO, no African or Caribbean country sends immigrants to the U.S. I, know, I say they sell, select. they sell select. So the best will leave. I didn't say they send them to there. And, you, and you're absolutely and he's absolutely wrong on that, too. The parents yeah. send their children to get a better education. It's not like the country says, hmm, let me go through our population data and yeah. pick. The most, but it's not like that, no, you idiot. No, no. It this is how it is. Okay, let's say let's say I'm in Nigeria because I have a lot of Nigerian friends, and I'm actually um I, my my uh genealogy um stems back to Cameroon, yeah. but I have a lot of Nigerian friends, and guess what? Their parents, you know what they do? They educate them in primary school in the United States, and then they uh, are in Nigeria, and then they send them to the United States. Because mm -hmm. their parents are wealthy. It's not the yeah. country sending them. <laughs> it's their parents who are wealthy who send them over to the United States. Why? Yeah. To get a better education and yeah. to have better financial upward mobility. Yeah, because, yo, you know, I was at school and I have this Nigerian friend. And I, I saw this dude in a fucking, like, Range Rover 2022. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing with that? He told me his mom and his dad were, like, doctors back in Nigeria. So the ones who got money, they send their kids here, dog, you know? So there are a lot of wealthy, like wealthy African kids here. Right. 
Mm-hmm. Cloudbuster, you have to join the stream. He says he says um, your crime stats are completely incorrect. Which crime stats? Because we've only covered the crime stats in Brazil and the United States. So which crime stats stats are you talking about? And then also um, you have to understand that in Africa they don't have um, in in some African countries, not all, but the 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 more uncivilized African countries they don't even have a government to cover crime stats. Mm-hmm. So obviously their <laughs> yeah. their statistics are going to be way off. Yeah, that, those are facts. Yeah. So <laughs> you're you're talking about data, but you have no idea how data is even collected. Um, but let's keep going. They don't they don't feel they are accepted in society in any place here. So. Cloudbuster, you're gonna have to join the stream, bro. You know, I like the the debate and all that, but I can't just go back to every single one of your chats. Join the stream. I'm gonna time you out. Um, you know, if 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 you if you want to talk, bro, just join the stream, bro. You don't yeah. even have to cam up because yeah. you haven't insulted me. But the people who insult me, yeah, you're gonna have to cam up. But if you're being respectful and trying to present data, then that's fine. But um, yeah, join the stream. This is the chance for you to find a black woman. If you're a black guy, that is easy for you to find a black woman. He's famous as Austin. Yep. This is the true, the real situation. And that's why it's difficult to me to find someone black to date. Because in some cases, they don't accept me. They even don't accept me. Bruh, and this Come this on. chick is damn near. I mean, there's levels to this black shit, ma'am. I'm sorry. Yes, you're Afro Brazilian, but I'm black. Yeah, yeah, I'm black. Yeah, yeah, yeah for real. You're I'm black. Biracial. You, <laughs> you're high yellow. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, when it comes to this black shit, yeah, there are levels. That's me. Yeah, not yeah. you. Okay, yeah. you can go to any other country and be racially ambiguous. Yeah, not I, ma'am. Mm-hmm. If anything, they're going to assume I'm African. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So come on with the bullshit. Accept me. That I'm not dark skin, but they even don't accept me just because of my hair. My hair is curly and I have a, I am a, I am like a, a brown. Okay. And they don't either even accept me because I, I am I don't have a blue or here we go. Here goes the um the data kings. <laughs> yep. TS says, bruh, you are such a loser. Just because you see some stats data don't mean you go ahead with it. You need to test the data. Well, I don't have to test the data because the United okay. Nations tested the data for me. So we were talking specifically about Brazilian crime rates. And we were also talking about American crime rates when it comes to the FBI statistics. And mm-hmm. yes, I do trust their statistics, even though they didn't put out crime reports from 2021. But I'm looking forward to look at the crime reports from 2022. And I guarantee it's going to be even worse than t- uh, 2020 when we got the last report of crime statistics from the FBI. So you coming on here insulting me, bro, I dropped the stream link join the stream or get timed out which you're gonna get timed out right now so let's keep going or green eyes i don't have a european ancestors but i I have european ancestors but i have more uh in my skin ancestor from africa no i don't believe you're mixed believe that i don't believe that so you're mixed exactly this woman looks like she's around 70 percent white I'm fucking tired of mixed, like mixed high yellow chicks going so hard on the blackity black shit. Mm-hmm. I'm t- because, ma'am, you have light skin privilege. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, this chick is not even. Bro, you're not black. <laughs> you're on it's crazy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. She thinks just because she got a damn afro, I mean, now know, I she's black. <laughs> black woman until she said she was black i i didn't even like see her as a black woman she does not right (laughs) like damn and and look there's some reasons why you're single for one that makeup is atrocious ma'am jesus christ (laughs) the eyeliner is ridiculous you look like one fish two fish three fish blue fish like you look like the rainbow fish from that little uh, children's storybook. Mm-hmm. That shit looks absolutely ridiculous. You're a grown woman 
wearing this super bright um, eyeliner, it looks bad. So that just tells me you're not really that stylish, which means you're not that competitive. Them ancestor from Europe. So that's why it's difficult to me also to find a black guy in Brazil to date or marry or do something like that. Because I, I had before, uh, some of my students, they were asking me, Rosa, why you are alone? Why you <laughs> don't date a black guy in Brazil? So she works at a school and her students are asking her why she's alone. That just goes to the fact that these kids are honest. They're like, you're a woman. Why are you alone? But these women will tell you, oh, I'm single by choice. I'm single by choice. I, I, at least I respect the fact that she's out here coming and, and giving some type of excuse as to why she's she's um, uh, single. At least she's saying something instead of, oh, well, I'm single by choice and I want to be single because that's a fucking cope. Um, Druid says, bro, why you delete my comments? I don't delete comments. That's for YouTube idiot okay i don't delete comments i time people out if they insult me and tell them to join the stream and then you can comment as much as you want on the stream he says bro why you delete my comments you on here for clout spreading false information about black people can where did i spread false information about black people bitch where join the stream and hop on or keep being a pussy in the comment section shang shang says honestly every person on this uh person um is every person on this planet i think he meant is mixed there's no person on the planet who is pure black, white, etc., but different variations of said race. Um, so, no. Uh, OK, so, yes, I agree to a certain extent, but um, not everybody has intermingled, bro. Yeah, that ain't that Some ain't people true. Are like similar phenotypes. Her phenotype is not black. You could say yeah, that. there's only I, I, I forgot um, how to break it down, but I think like there's only like a few like real genuine races when it comes to the difference it's obviously caucasian um mm -hmm. asian or like mongoloid mm -hmm. um then there's obviously like the negroid. african yeah yeah negroid right and then um there's uh, uh I, th I think i think um aboriginals have their own like subsection too they're not even yeah. on the right yeah. all right so this faggot druid is um you know comment in the comment join the stream you bitch and cam up you got to cam up but you know if, if you guys aren't insulting you don't have to cam up but um this pussy you can cam up my nigga i bet you're a fucking bitch all right let's keep going because it's it's hard to find someone <laughs> so i'm laughing but this is the way of most of brazilians brazilians laugh when we are talking about serious situation oh sure it's sad and serious situation okay and unfortunately happened here the white supremacy it's about the past and the colonization uh, they they try to to do this thing with the population in brazil mix for everybody and try to clean the skin so I, I I think I already talk about this history here on my channel, explaining something. And obviously there is a history of slavery um, in Brazil, as we know. So I'm not discounting her her excuse of mo white supremacy, but to blame the fact that you are single solely based on the fact that white supremacy. I guarantee if you were yeah. a virgin, you oh. would have been cuffed already. And yeah. I guarantee she has. She has done so many good men yeah. dirty. She ran the streets. She you ran. ran the fucking streets. You have, I mean, I don't know how old she is, but I guarantee the body count formula is accurate with this one. Nobody wants a fucking 50-year-old whore, bro. Jesus you know, you know Christ. Women, women don't really have like long-term scenes. So do you think like during their prime right now, it's just going to last forever, but right. it's a fan real quick, man. You know, it's so. a exactly like i mean damn it, it's so crazy that you can't just get this through your head you slept around and now you're single the women who stayed chased she could have easily gotten a passport bro yeah easily so and, and I'm, I'm in the passport bro facebook group i'm not gonna lie some of them niggas are bagging some ugly ass bitches yeah 
Like uh, niggas think so everything select- just sugar and spice, selective. everything nice in Brazil. It's some ugly ass hoes in Brazil, yeah. Brazil too. Just like it's some ugly ass hoes in the United States. Yeah. She was too selective, you know. Yep. It took herself yep. dating game. She was waiting. She was she she waited too long. <laughs> and she drank the feminist Kool Aid. DVB yeah. says I hear that a lot of Brazilians that look like her and have less than 25% black DNA and have uh, one black great grandma identify Afro Brazilian. Exactly. Shang Shang says, yes, I have. They are few exceptions regarding nationality. Okay. He was talking to somebody else. Um, Main ghetto says the guys in the gym farted. What the hell? <laughs> what are you talking about? I know, right. And you can find the video if you want to learn more. Okay. But this is true. It's real. We have the situation in Brazil, and I think it's very sad. Sad, okay? So, that is it. Hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Subscribe on my channel if you like my videos, my content. And click on the bell, on the notification bell. Okay, now she's just self-promoting. All right, so let's get into the Austin Holloman video. Yeah. Let's get into the Austin Holloman video. So, I mean, a lot of these people are cowards. They don't want to come on stream and confront me straight up. And that's fine. Um, you know, y'all can stay in the comment section. Uh, but uh, anyways, anyways, we're going to break down the Austin Holloman video. Finally, we got there. And then we'll conclude the stream. This one's been a really good stream. Very informative. Um, we've triggered a lot of people <laughs> in here. So um, that's pretty hilarious, but let's keep going. Hello, YouTube. It's Austin Holloman, and I already recorded this video in Portuguese earlier, but I want to put it in English because I can come off a lot more genuine in English and Portuguese. All right. But let me say this. If you speak Portuguese, do not watch this video first. Watch the Portuguese version first because a lot of people that – and the reason that a lot of this is going on is because a lot of people in Brazil are misinterpreting – the things that I'm saying in English and they don't really know how to speak English that well. And yeah, that is true. I think a lot is being lost in translation, but I think specifically um, the woman, uh, the okay. woman who is going after Stephanie Ribeiro, the woman who's going after Austin Holloman, she's obviously jealous. She obviously has yeah. penis in uh, envy and yeah. she obviously hates black men. Yeah. And that's just the reality. And that's why she she literally threatened his life. Yeah. And if I was him, I would have stood 10 toes and I would have blicked up. I would have got my hands on a fucking um, I, I would have got my hands on a goddamn pistol and I would have dared a nigga to try me. She maybe Fuck got rejected by a passport, bro. And now she's just like fucking angry. Yeah. <clears throat> exactly. Let's keep going. They they're misinterpreting a lot of things because. I don't say anything negative about Brazilians, so it's that's why it's so shocking to me. That, but if you guys haven't known me already, I'm Austin Holloman. I want to say that first. This that nigga sweating. Yeah, yeah, he looks heartbroken, bro. Because this dude really loved Brazil. Woo! Yeah, like fucking. He bad. loved Brazil. He had to, he got to got to get his ass up out of there for a yeah. second now. Yeah, it'll blow over, Austin. And Austin, yeah. don't take it too seriously. It'll blow over. Five years, bro. You'll be good. Yeah. And you don't even give it give it five months, dude. Nobody's gonna remember who the fuck you are. Come on. There's 215 million people in Brazil. You think everybody follows this bitch? No, that bitch don't got no that that this much pull, dude. Get the fuck out of here. She got she got how many followers she got on Twitter? I heard like you know, it's a lot of people who know about it because I heard like his face was on the news down there. Oh yeah, they did put him on the news. They did put him on the blast on the news. But yeah. she's got fifty thousand followers. I mean, but shit, it's just one story. One headline, and it'll. I'm telling you, it'll blow over right now. He's not even. I don't think he's a, he, he's even in Brazil right now. I think he left. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know exactly where he's it, where he's at. But this shit will blow over so quickly, dude. Oh my god, dude. Fuck out of here. Like she don't have that much pull. She don't got that much fucking motion. I mean, yeah, she got 129k followers on Instagram. Sure, okay. She's she's a fucking feminist parroting off feminist talking points she's gonna gain a big following from that um and i think they did put an article out on austin holloman but at the end of the day that's just like saying oh you know um i I mean i'm not comparing him to jeffrey epstein but they put articles out on jeffrey epstein in the early 2000s and that didn't stop his motion at all (laughs) so it's like people forget people don't care there's news different news cycles every day there's forty thousand murders in brazil every year they don't have time to just be worried about some nigga getting pussy in Brazil. 
Yeah. That's the reality. This is very heartbreaking to me. The fact that uh, it was always my dream to live in Brazil. And my YouTube channel was centered around me showing other men, not just the women, but just if you if you guys understand English and you watch my videos, you see me talk about how I enjoy just first of all, we can start with just the drinks on how well the drinks are in Brazil. I love the drinks in Brazil over any other country I've been to, even my home country. The food. So uh, and I Jesus Christ. OK, he paid it, bro. He got you said what now? He basically got Andrew Tate, you know. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is in custody right now, so I mean, he's good. He's chilling. Like, yeah. I don't think any legal ramifications were coming of that at all. Yeah, I mean, like they socially lynched him, bro. Like, yeah, they did socially lynch him. Yes, for sure. Um, but at the end of the day, I think he could have stayed in Brazil, and I think he would have been just fine. I really, genuinely believe that because Brazil is a large country. It's yeah. not just Rio, okay? So, um. You know, as long as his Portuguese is good, bro, he could have been straight. And I, I, I just don't like the capitulation. I, I hate because women like this, their goal is to, quote unquote, humble men. Yeah. OK. And I've, I I did a story on like this white girl on the whatever podcast who said that was her goal. Oh, I want to humble men. I want to humble men. Don't let these hoes see you sweat, bro. Stand on everything you fucking said. I ain't apologizing for shit. You can suck a dick because at the end of the day. He was not wrong in anything that he did. Everybody in his videos were willing participants. Mm. He might have associated himself with a person that he didn't do his research on. And I think that happened. I don't know specifically, but that was a mistake. Maybe he befriended the wrong guy. But even if even if that situation, even in that situation, if that if that dude didn't do nothing wrong to him. Then what's the problem? <laughs> Yeah. So it's like you can have some friends who are who are in some fucked up situations. Still your friends, man. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> They're still your friend. That's the reality. I don't I don't have some friends who committed murders. Nigga's a fucked up individual. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> still my friend. OK. That's the reality of the situation. All right. And, and, and people will say. People will say, oh, my God, how can you think like that? Well, how can these rappers say free him, free him, free him? OK, I've done stories where this guy um, killed a nine year old boy in North Carolina under his comment section. Free him, free the nigga, free the nigga. It's <laughs> little Tony. So if I can say if they can say free him, free take a for murdering two people, free YNW Melly for killing his best friends. Then I think it's safe to say that, hey, you know, I might have a friend who did some fucked up shit to somebody else. He didn't do it to me. And he did some fucked up shit to somebody else. And I associated myself with him. And that could have been a mistake. But at the same time, if he did right by me, that doesn't change that he's still my friend. That's called loyalty. That's called being a man and taking accountability for the people you associate with and, um, you know, the people you communicate with. Food is a lot more healthy. I have a lot more energy. My skin glows a lot better in Brazil. Everything about me is better in Brazil. The weather. The beaches, the people are so social. I can be myself in Brazil. I can, I actually feel I can be myself and not be judged by everybody I run into. Shouldn't I portray that life? That's why I made this video in English because I can elaborate more than I could in Portuguese. But I'm, I'm very heartbroken knowing that because this whole situation is going on, that even let's say, for example, I'm not banned to come in Brazil since my name has been slandered around and uh, misinformed to the majority of the people who it seems like the majority of Brazil, but a lot of people in Brazil, it's not safe even if I wanted to come back. You know, if I, if I wanted to come back to stay in Brazil. And I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Unless he, unless he did some shit on the ground where he like blatantly disrespected some like uh, some drug, drug kingpin or some shit like that. Like, in a fight down there with some dude i'm, I'm not yeah sure. yeah i did hear that that he got in a fight out there you definitely won't don't want to fight people out there yeah definitely. um mm -hmm. but my thing is shit i mean if it, if it's like that shit get your hands on a hammer i ain't going nowhere if i can't get my hands on no fucking hammer bro yeah. me personally especially that's personally. just how i roll everywhere i go i'm i'm a i got i'm licensed concealed carry mm -hmm. nigga i got the toolie fuck out of here especially everywhere <laughs> Feel it wouldn't be safe because my name has been slandered 
and mm-hmm. everybody's been geared to hate me to think that I'm some sort of sex tourist that's telling men that, oh, Brazilian women, and I'm not saying this because I know some of y'all are still going to watch this English version first and misinterpret it. I am not saying Brazilian women are easy. They are- you know, but yo, he got he got the most brutal social lynching of 2023, bro. Whoever Bruh. thought this would come, bro, that's fucked up, man. That's crazy, Bruh, I'm I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you, but Brazilian women are easy. <laughs> that's why they have high STD rates. Yeah, I mean, th- there's nothing wrong with saying this, bro. They are sexually liberated, but when they say it, oh, I'm sexually liberated, then it's not a problem. But when when a man interprets that. Okay, she's sexually liberated. She's free with her body. She'll give it up to anybody. That sounds easy. Then it's a problem. Oh, my God, you're slut shaming. The bitch just said she's sexually liberated. Now I'm coming on the back end and saying, hey, you're easy. What's the problem? (laughs) It makes no sense. Either you're sexually liberated or you're not. There ain't no in between. Damn, Austin Holloway, you should have learned from all these famous black guys, man. Yep. Tiger Woods, all of them, OJ, they always get socially lynched, bro. You got to move low-key, man. But Yeah, move, move, oh. yeah, move low-key. Definitely should have been moving low-key. He should have stood on it. Mm-hmm. He should have stood on it, man. Stand on that shit, bro. Oh, well, I wasn't saying that uh, the women are easy. No, how about, okay, I get that, Austin. Austin, you're, out, you're down there. You're physically there. You don't want no smoke. I, I get that. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a buck. They're fucking easy. You are, they yeah, are, I said it. They fucked you up, bro. They already fucked up your name. So just you know, just go out with a bang, like you know? right. <laughs> is it is it or is it not easier to just pay a bitch two hundred dollars to suck your dick or or game her up and approach her and do all this? What's easier? <laughs> That's just like me saying, oh well, well you know, um, <laughs> like it, it's not easy to get sex as a man if you're homosexual. It's not easy, dude. Come on. Everybody knows that that's why the SCD rates are so fucking high because not only is the intercourse that they're engaging in is dangerous and, and, and you know, not safe and, and not sanitary, but it's, they're, they're, but they're fucking easy too because men have a higher sex drive. Yeah. So if you're a, if you're a gay dude, you're going to be fucking banging all types of guys. Mm-hmm. That's the reality. I mean, shit, people just, uh, that's the fucking reality. Okay. Um, Let's see. They said, uh, Shing Shang said, oh, man, he's playing the sad music flute. Yeah, man. I, I, I sure, man. I wish he wouldn't have capitulated. I wish he would have just, you know, got out the country silently and, and just, you know, not said anything. Fuck them. You don't owe them an explanation. You don't owe them an explanation. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Jane LeBron, join the stream, bro. He says, you sound... He said, you sound extremely insecure. If these women are smashing everybody, why haven't they smashed you? Men only hate on women who sleep around, but not with them. Um, actually, you're wrong, bro, because uh, I smash plenty of women. As a matter of fact, I lost my virginity to two women on the same day. So y- your boy is not. Do I have to do this again? I'm not having no problems. When you look like this, you have no issue getting women. <laughs> I literally, I mean, it can't, I'm not saying that I'm perfect, but I mean, I damn near got a perfect body. I don't have no problems getting women. <laughs> like people have lost the, the people have lost the fact that men talk however they fuck they want to talk. I say whatever the fuck I want to say, point blank, in person, online, don't give a fuck. I dare you to shut me up. That's what a man does. Fuck out of here. And you can join the stream too. Okay. I just dropped the link. So like I said, dissenters, people who disagree, you join the stream, you join the stream and you fuck around and find out. (laughs) That's just really how it goes. He says, you're a fucking gym, bro. You're an incel. How am I incel? And I got my dick sucked last night. (laughs) <laughs> it makes no sense an incel is an involuntary celibate nigga i can't remember the last time like i went the last drought that i had which was a six month drought was what was fucking 2018 after i graduated college 
I took six months off of women period, dating period, and just worked on myself. Ended up buying a home. Now I own three uh, uh, three houses, eight properties total, over 50 acres of land. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, nigga. Hmm. All right, keep going. For everybody. What I meant by when I said that Brazilian women are easy. Actually, I own I, I own six houses. I own the two in Sandy Springs, one here, um, two in South Georgia. And then, well, it's not a house. It's a condo. But, yeah, I was off. And I shouldn't use the word easy. I know that now. I know that now. I'm sorry. But what I'm saying is, for a man that's well mannered, well dressed, that has put in the effort to to raise himself, he will have an easier time in Brazil. Oh God, he says compare the way that I look to you. It's not even comparable. Join the stream, then, bro. Show your face. Join the stream, because I guarantee that's a that's a profile picture. You don't look better than me, bro. I mean, even if it comes to, I mean, do, do we, should we go to my Instagram? I got two Instagrams. <laughs> We'll compare Instagrams. How about that? You come on the stream. We'll compare Instagrams. If you're if you're a pussy, just say that. You don't join the stream, then I'm assuming that you're pussy. You're too pussy to join the stream. Um, but because the nigga will just say, "Oh, I look better than you." No, you don't, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, and I'm not even trying to be on no judging a guy shit. But nigga, if I compare my swag to your swag, it's not even close at all. It's not even close. Like nigga, I stay dripped up. I stay dripped up. Anyways, let's keep going. Deal as opposed to where I was from, that wasn't always the case. But to get into the video, I want to apologize for releasing these videos and showing ignorance to the culture that you guys, certain aspects of Brazilian culture. Uh, I know that I'm, I'm not, I don't, I shouldn't expect y'all to forgive me, but I'm asking if you Jesus me Christ. I am a, Lord, asking for forgiveness from, for one, you can't ask forgiveness from a whole people. You ask forgiveness from, from, from one person. Okay. Or one person at a time. Like, I mean, dude, it's just, that's just like, oh, I, I asked the black community for to forgive me, dude. Oh my God. I mean, I, 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 I like Austin, but yes, he is young, dude. You stand on that shit. Men have to be unapologetically masculine, bro. What I say is law is word. My word is bond. Me personally, I'm standing on that shit. I don't know exactly what he said, so I can't defend everything that he said. But I have not heard him say nothing that was too like wild and just fucking straight crazy. All the work that I've seen come from him has been pretty solid. Yeah. Or American in Brazil. I've only stayed there three. Months. Well, I think I did see this one clip where he said he started watching porn at six. That was kind of wild, but that that doesn't owe anybody an apology. That just, I mean, if anything, shit, your parents need to apologize for you uh, to you for being a little neglectful. Hey, you know, I w <laughs> it's not far off, but you know, maybe some American women might have had messaged that that feminist down in Brazil to put them on blast. You know. Cause they, they got dick envy too. So yeah, that is true. That is true. They, they probably, they probably did do that. Months. I've been there a total of four months in the past year and I am still learning Brazilian culture. The things that I did, I didn't know that they were wrong. I know now I very well know now. And, uh, I wanted to, can we get specific on what he did though? Yeah. What, 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 what the fuck do you do? All he was doing was interviewing women yeah. and having conversations. Yeah, what culture did he know? Like, you know, that that would just like what? they did. Yeah, I, I, this shit crazy. I apologize for you know, I guess moving too comfortably without actually knowing. And this is the thing: they don't do this to the nomad capitalist. And if you guys don't know who the nomad capitalist, he's a white guy who travels. He has um, passports in every, damn near every country. Yeah. He has citizenship bank Ball accounts all across the world. They don't do this to him. I've never seen him get on. Uh, and he talks about women overseas too. And and I've never seen him get on here. Oh, I apologize about how I spoke about the women overseas, dude. What the fuck? If anything, Austin is saying, yo, these women are on point. They're yeah. easier to talk to. Like there's, a, there's more of a line of communication. They're more straight up. If they don't like you, they'll say, uh, you know, they're not going to say fuck off, but they're just going to walk away from you. If they like you, they're going to engage and they're not going to play these texting games that American women do. 
Um, I mean, hey, the reality hey. is if you have not gone through the ringer and dated multiple women, you have no idea what um, you're you're talking about. Point blank. You know, the reality is that white men viewed him as some sexual experiment to go have sex with down there. They only viewed them as humans. You know, they just go down there just like, man, I just got to get some exotic bitch to go fucking shit like that, you know? That's how they I mean, and I don't even believe that. Yes, there might be a few men who are like that, but the reality is men are just looking for the best deal possible. Yeah. And yes, finding a mate is, is finding a good deal. It's called yeah. the art of the deal. Yeah. Shout out to Donald Trump. Like, I mean, it, it, that's really what it is. Yeah, we just use when it. I chose my girlfriend, <laughs> even though I'm an incel, I don't get pussy, even though I got my dick sucked last night. When I like it, it makes no sense. When I chose my girl, I looked for a good deal. Obviously, I, you know, I wanted to get along with her and wanted her to be beautiful and whatnot, but I'm looking for the best deal. Yeah. Point blank. And we both have to compete to become the best deal for each other. It just doesn't go one one way. Like the reason why I'm so secure in the fact that, you know, me and my girl locked in is because for one, in relationships, men provide ex exponentially way more value than women in general. Not saying that every relationship is like that, but any traditional relationship, the man is going to provide a lot more um, value. So, you know, as a guy, I provide a lot and she provides a lot as well. And we come together and it works. All right. So. I mean, this shit is so crazy that they got, bruh, capitulating like this. I hate to see it. I hate to see, like, men groveling and apologizing for... I mean, it would be different if he was R. Kelly and he broke the law or some shit. But he's not breaking no law. He ain't dealing with no underage women. He, like, it's none of that, bro. And even, even with that, let's go to the laws in Brazil. Okay? Let's go. Age of consent in Brazil, 14. Let me repeat. The age of consent in Brazil, 14. Straight pedo. That shit is crazy. So, you know, I'm not saying that it's right, but even if he went into Brazil and was fucking with underage girl, as long as he don't go under 14, he's good. Legally. Mm-hmm. What's the rebuttal? What's the argument? I wouldn't do it, but he's well within his rights in that country to do that. As long as his dick is on Brazilian soil, he can fuck as many 14-year-old girls as possible. It's fucked up. I don't agree with the law. I think that that law should be raised to 18. I think the Georgia law should be raised to 18, so there's no confusion. So we mark, we, we put the line in the sand of demarcation of adulthood at 18 or hell, 21. I don't give a fuck if the age of consent raises to 21. Do it. But at the end of the day, then that accountability has to stand for both parties. The accountability has to be consistent. Brazil should change their age of consent laws. Absolutely. But he didn't do nothing illegal. Even if he was over there fucking with little 14-year-old girls, still not illegal. Now, if he brought that girl over to the States, that's when it becomes illegal. That's the reality. That's the reality. He said, if we raise... <laughs> Dude, Jaden is such a fucking troll because he, talk, he comes on here, talks his shit, won't even join the stream. What a pussy. Um, he says, LOL, there's the misogyny. I'd love to have a conversation with your so-called girlfriend. Dude, you couldn't, <laughs> you would fucking, your balls would shrivel up if you even seen my girlfriend. Uh, why not Spurs, Spursy Mickle says, laws in Brazil, LOL, right? Mr. Jake the Great says, isn't that lower than Thailand? Um, probably. Consent in Thailand. The age of consent, nope. So it's not lower than Thailand. Age of consent in Thailand is 15. Jaden also says, if we if we raised it to 21, you wouldn't be able to have any women. My but my girl is 23 or about to be 23 in 10 days. <laughs> make it make sense, man. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Jesus Christ. 
He says, look me up, J.Lebron98. Um, ask her to rate me. Even before I voice acted, I had better women than you. I'm also not a big. You never had better women than me. Dude, if I showed you the women that I fuck, you, bruh. And I can't even do, I wouldn't even do that, you know, out of respect for my current girl. Um. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look, I'm not trying to rate a man. But, bro, you're you're a zit face. What are you fucking talking about? I'm on your Instagram right now, dude. Respectfully, you know, and, and you know, I love my Malcolms. See, I'm the difference between me and you is I'm objective. I like Malcolms. You know, I, I fuck with my Malcolms, but you're a medium ugly. I don't know if you're lucrative. I don't know if you're communicative. I don't know your operation. You're definitely you like likable, but I'm not going to lie. You ugly as fuck, bro. Respectfully. For one, your teeth are yellow. And, I'm, and this is a valid critique. For two, you have a five head. You have a five head. You see me? Forehead. I can put four fingers on my head to my hairline. If I put my hands to your head, nigga, I need, I need another set of hands. Your forehead is, is damn near 12 inches. My nigga, you're ugly as fuck. I don't know. I don't know why nobody has ever told you this, but you ugly as hell, my nigga. Um, another thing, zits. You have acne. That's ugly. Look at my skin, clear skin. Okay. Women don't like zits, acne. Okay. Your teeth, they're yellow. My teeth, pearly white. Your body. I can't even see your body. Your hair, Lord have mercy. My nigga got a perm. My nigga has a perm. Your hair is ugly as shit, bro. And you look LGBT. You're pro I'm going to go out on the limb and say that you are dancing with homosexuality. And look, bro, I fuck with, I fuck with, you know, my Malcolms. I fuck with medium ugly niggas. You know what I'm saying? We could have been friends in another life, maybe if you were more respectful on the stream and actually joined the stream and debated like a man instead of getting in the comments section. But respectfully, my nigga, you ugly as hell. <laughs> like there's there's literally no there's literally no even people in the uh, people in the comments rate this nigga people in the comments. I'm going to go use the bathroom real quick. Please hold on. Let, let me try and find his best picture because this nigga ugly as shit. And you putting on black lipstick. Wow. I mean, respectfully, bro, you're not attractive on any. And this looks like his best picture. I'm going to go to the bathroom right now, guys. Rate this nigga respectfully, objectively. Okay. Objectively rate him on a scale of one to 10. Then we'll go to my Instagram. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, bro, but there's literally no way that you're getting laid at all. I mean, you know, he's not he's not that bad looking. He's he's decent, but you know, he's not known super special. He's cool. That's it, you know. Only a woman could really rate, but you know, so I don't got no seeing in this. All right, guys. Um, so I'm back. So I am back. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You ugly as hell. You should join the stream, though, bro, and defend yourself. Hey, I would but, um, say the gym. Like the gym, he needs some sex appeal. He doesn't have any sex appeal. Yeah, I, this is what I'll say. I will help you out. You need Invis Invisalign. You still have gaps in your teeth. I had Invisalign before. I had gaps. Mm -hmm. That's something you can fix. Your skincare routine is abysmal. 
Stop using that damn Dove lotion. Stop using that damn cocoa butter from Walmart, nigga. And use some coconut oil, some natural essential oils, maybe vitamin Z or vitamin E oil to get rid of those blemishes on your skin. They don't look good at all. Okay. Um, your mustache, you 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 probably need to um trim that, get it lined up with a black barber, not a white barber. You need a black barber to clean that must uh, that beard and that mustache up. Also, I would say grow your beard out, grow your mustache. See, he thinks that I'm just making fun of him, but no, you're objectively ugly, and I'm trying to help you, and, and and you know make you become more attractive to women because I actually know what women want because I'm I fuck bitches. So, um, <clears throat> yes, bro. So I would say, yeah, you need to grow your beard out and stop cutting your mustache and grow like a fucking beard that's gonna honor. Allah, okay. Um, you need a grown man's beard because, like, your face is mad ugly, and you need to you need to cover up some of those blemishes, uh, the acne yeah, on your skin, and take off that choker too, bro. It looks yeah. Look, take off the choker. Look, that's some oh, looks that's rainy. some homo shit, bro. It looks like you suck dick, literally. Like women wear chokers like that. If you're gonna wear a chain, see, this is a little bit better. It looks like you grew out your beard more. Yeah. You need to trim it up. I don't know why your dumbass went to a wedding. And it looks like uh, Bell Tristan. I don't know who that is. Tristan Bell, your friend. You went to the man's wedding and didn't get a haircut. I would have took that as disrespect. Like this motherfucker came here with that ashy ass, shaggy ass beard and didn't cut his hair. <laughs> I might have slapped. I would. I might have had the bride slap the shit out you. Um, and then he he says something about get my girl to rate him, dude. My girl. <laughs> My girl might embarrass you, bro. Yeah, bro. You look like a female, bro. <laughs> yeah. And this right here. Oh, my God. This nigga is an emo black dude. That's where all this shit coming from. That's the worst type of black nigga to be. <laughs> if you want bitches, the worst type of nigga to yeah. be is an emo black dude. Okay. An educated lame. Yeah. The educated lames, it might, they might have trouble getting women. Yes, for sure. But educated lames still get laid. Yeah. How do I know? Because I went to college <laughs> with a whole bunch of educated lanes. I went to the gym and like I'm tall as fuck and I got a ripped body, so like yep. I pull off that game. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's bro. You're really like you think because you're light skinned that you're attractive. Nah. I think that's what he's trying to base off. Oh, yeah. I'm lighter than you, so I look better. No, you're objectively yeah. ugly as shit, my nigga. Doesn't work like that. And Definitely. then you're a black emo. That's yeah. the worst thing to ever be in the dating market, period. He yeah. said, I'm an incel. Do you know that you're hey. in the demographic of people who get no pussy? Hey, hey, if you're a black guy, you could only pull off the athlete look or the, the, the rapper thug or look. the hood look. Not exactly. And Sorry. and we've talked about this, guys. What is it called? Say it with me. Thug maxing. Yeah. Thug maxing, yeah. thug maxing, get it drilled into your head. The yeah. only black guy who could pull off this emo look is if he's a rapper yeah. like Lil Uzi. Yeah. And who Lil Uzi is objectively ugly as fuck, too. He's yeah. just got clout and status. Okay. But the only people who can pull that off are rappers. Like, um, yeah. what's that other Satanist rapper? Um, um uh Playboy Cardi. Fred? Playboy Fred? Cardi. These guys are the only ones who are pulling off that emo look. Dude, yeah. black emos get no pussy, bro. Yeah, they get no pussy. Not, not even from nerdy black chicks, bro. <laughs> even bring it down to high school. Now, it looks like you're doing some great things with the voiceover shit and whatnot. But I'm going to keep it a buck. You're objectively ugly. I Oh, hell no. <laughs> you have white men laying their heads on your shoulder yeah. as if y'all going to bed together. <laughs> so, yeah. Which... Yeah. You know, and, and I'm not going to lie. This is a really good picture of you. Mm -hmm. You need to pull off this look more. For yeah, one, yeah. Get cut that perm. Yeah. Cut that perm. Yeah, Tentacion, another black emo. And and, and the thing about Tentacion, he was literally, before he went emo, he was objectively attractive. Yeah, yeah. Like, no yeah. homo, but he actually yeah. had a, a, a high sex appeal when it comes to his facial symmetry. Yeah. Okay. Especially when you talk about women and ask women, they uh, he was very much more attractive. And then he shaved his eyebrows and then dyed his hair gray and did all this other weird shit. And he looked like a nigga from The Walking, uh, not The Walking Dead, but um, what's that that uh, what's that show? Um, hey, bro, like 
if you're a light skinned nigga, my dude, bro, you, you better go to the R and B look like a Chris Brown type shit. Yeah, bro. yeah. People this is actually a good picture. You got the do rag on. Your your forehead's not showing that much. It looks like maybe you use the filter so your skin doesn't look like as much acne. You still need to trim that beard up. Your teeth look a lot better in this picture though. Um, but your teeth are objectively yellow, which is unattractive to women. It shows that you have bad breath. Um, yeah, another man. thing. Now this is just. Breath. Yeah. You don't want to take a picture with your hands on your hips as a man. Yeah. And then your drip is just non-existent, honestly. You you literally have no drip, okay? Um so I mean that's literally an objective review of you. Uh so this nigga like working for white Sesame Washington. Street or some shit. I'm not going cap. I'm I'm not having none against whitewashed dudes cuz you know what I'm saying, but you look celebrating you look the 20th anniversary of being alive with my favorite twin. Okay, so that's your sister. I ain't going to bag on her. <laughs> I'm not gonna go in on your sister, okay? Respectfully. Um, I see you with no hot women. I I literally haven't seen one picture of you with a hot girl. Cute baby pic though. Your mama should have started right there and and helped you get your swag back, cause. And, you know, at, at this point, it's kind of over. I don't know if you um, look like this nigga got a kid. Oh, shit. <laughs> you shouldn't have gave me an Instagram, bro. Because now, all right, let me stop. Because I ain't trying to bag on your family and shit like that. But this nigga, okay, I'm certainly not the best guy on earth. But if nominated for world, world's best uncle, okay, so that's your, your nephew. <laughs> okay. So your pictures are very grainy. Um Oh, so he called me a gym, bro. But guess what he's doing? Guess what he's doing in the gym? Gym too? Oh, you go to the gym, bro? <laughs> you go to the gym, bro? Yeah. Dude. Hey, bro, you got to get in that aesthetic, though, bro. Get, hit the gym, bro. Cut out yeah. all that old faggot shit, bro. That shit don't yeah. work as a black guy, bro. You're gonna, either going to be the Thug Max Pookie type or you're going to yep. be an athlete. With muscles, bro. There's yeah, no yeah. in between this shit, you know. There's no all the artsy. Oh, the artsy. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. They don't um, you're not getting hot women. He says I'm with a black woman. I guarantee she's less than a five on the look yeah. scale. Yeah, you ain't getting. Shit. Yeah. I mean, everybody knows what my girl looks like. I mean, my girl is literally an eight. Okay, like objectively an eight. I'm not like literally. If I wanted to, like, you know, with any girl that I've been with. Oh, look. Oh, Bay caught me shirtless again. Bay? Who's Bay? You the only nigga in there. So, oh, forever alone. Oh, my God. So I'm the incel. <laughs> you got, you got you him. can't make this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Got him. I'm the incel. <laughs> you are forever alone. 308 weeks ago. 308 <laughs> weeks ago, I was getting my dick sucked by two bitches at the same time. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> I would never take a picture like this. Oh, and, and you could tell he took it on Snapchat because of the little strip. Hey, you definitely not getting any hoes on Hinge, Bumble, Tinder. Hell no. Nah. Hell to the fuck. Nah. No way at all. And yeah. I clean up on dating apps. <laughs> I clean up on dating apps. I no. get like 10 matches a day on dating apps. It's over for this boy. I, this is six years ago. He said forever alone. Dude, I don't know how old you were in 2017, but in 2017, <laughs> I uh, we we just left our February 2017 was spring practice. So I was playing in the G Day game for the University of Georgia. And after that, guess what? I got my dick sucked. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> Dude, I'm the incel. You just got exposed. You should have never gave me your Instagram. So <clears throat> this this just goes to show that the incels that are critical of guys in the manosphere are literally incels themselves. 
There's no way that I would have ever taken a selfie like this. Now, we'll go to my Instagram after this because I'll be fair. Y'all can grill my Instagram if my shit is trash. You're literally about to kiss a dog. He says, he, my dear, I had to crop out his privates for privacy's sake. You're literally into bestiality. <laughs> You're literally <laughs> fucking a chihuahua, nigga. <laughs> Guys, oh my God. This is your room. Oh, shit. If looks, somebody, looks, if, if you brought a woman back to that room. Yeah, it looks like he's on the spectrum, it seems. Even if you could bring a woman, let's just say that you could bring a woman back to your room. All those damn little doll action figures. Yeah. Dude, Come she's on, going dude. to laugh you out the fucking bedroom. She's going to flame your ass, man. Jesus Christ. This is bad. This nigga thought he was Samurai Jack. Ah! Mm. One sword found it in a trash bin. Nigga's dealing, digging in the trash, bro. This nigga's a trash ass nigga. I kind of feel this bad for him. I kind of feel this bad for him. Ain't hold on. Me. Who's that Sesame Street character? Um, who who who's from the trash can? Mookie Monster. Mookie who? Monster. What's that nigga's name? Is it a Mookie dog like that? What's that nigga's name? Uh. Grouch? Is it is it Grouch? Is it Oscar the Grouch? Is it Oscar the Grouch? Ah, oh, this thing is trash as fuck. This thing is Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, yo, 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 stop flaming him, bro. I can't. My it. nigga is pulling samurai swords out of a trash can. You're disgusting, bro. I kind of feel sorry for him. I think he he might be on the spectrum. Or Holy something. shit. And then he tried to talk about my Instagram. For one, I can show you me actually getting bitches in my Instagram, which I'll spare you that. I'll show you my Quarantino Instagram first. And we'll compare and contrast. This is me, SunTrust Park. After I dropped my single um, on the parking lot of SunTrust Park. This is a little rap video when I used to have the BMW that I bought cash. That I bought cash at 19 years old. It's a video, um, music video. Me after graduation with the fam, okay? Me on New Year's with the Avion, okay? Swagged up with the Bape, the City Light shirt, the Gucci headscarf. Oh, my God. This night was a movie. <laughs> Me on Neptune Beach in Jacksonville, Florida, okay? I was pulling bitches on the beach, too. Pulling bitches on the beach, too. <clears throat> uh, me and the homies at uh, the rooftop. All my niggas get bitches. Like, that's just standard. Like, it, anywhere we go, like, we are the main niggas. Like, nobody's... Uh, especially... <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. When it comes to, like, getting bitches, um, <clears throat> I would probably say in the group, the, uh, you know, in it... it, it it's on a spectrum because I'm more quality over quantity. So, bro, on the left, this is my homeboy. You know, he get bitches. And he gets quality, too. He gets he gets a lot more quantity, though. Um, but he gets some quality, and then he'll fuck, like, some bunker buster sometimes as well. But at the end of the day, every nigga that I, that I rock with gets bitches. This is me on the whip before I wrap my car up. Got the Louis V um, hat. Got the gold chain, obviously. Something light. This is me at a photo shoot. There's no comparison. Okay. Hairline intact. <laughs> Dreads looking fire. Me and the homies again in the club. Burberry down. Burberry down for one. My homeboy got the Javinci on. My other homeboy got a clean white tee. He looked like the baby. They call him the baby daddy. <clears throat> me with my car. Yes, this is my truck. Okay. Swagged up with the Balenciaga hoodie, even though, you know, Molestiaga now. This was before I found out <laughs> that they was, you know, fucking little kids. Um, but the Balenciaga hoodie with the trench coat and the Tims, the black Timbos for, to step on a nigga. This is swagged up. I mean, there's a, like a nigga was I, I move around the city like I'm fucking Dirk. I move around the city like I'm top dog because I am. OK, 
<clears throat> you see the caption? I had to bulletproof the hoe because they thought I was Dirk. Facts. Literally had to bulletproof my car because niggas thought I was Lil Dirk pulling up in Buckhead. This is facts. This is facts. <clears throat> Me in the North Face in the Ball Main t-shirt. Okay, we got Ball Main on with the North Face. That's a deadly combination. That night, I had a threesome. What was it, that night? I'm not sure if it was that night, but I used this fit to have a threesome before. Um, Obviously, we lit in the comments. Me and Mr. Organic. Okay. Me and uh, the Fresh and Fit crew in Miami. We cleaned up in Miami, too. Okay. Um, me and my, my brother, blood brother swagged up me and Don J obviously the gang, um, Robbie right there gang on the podcast. The hose was jocking. Okay. They always do me after the national championship. Me at a performance rapping same night. The hose was choosing. Okay. Me with my challenger again, another one of my cars. Popping out with the trench coat. Pop out gang. We lit. <clears throat> There's literally no comparison, bro. I mean, compare your shit to my shit. I'm blowing you out the fucking water. There's, uh, uh, I can't even, I can't even believe bro came out his mouth, bro. Honestly. Now let's, let's, now let's really seal the deal. I'm sorry, guys, but I do, I do have to, um, I got to crush this nigga because for one, he won't join the stream and he's still in the chat talking shit, which is hilarious. Um, but I do want to read some of the comments, but obviously for one ripped out of my fucking mind. I'm a jack. I'm jacked. I'm a unit. One of my workouts, obviously bitches in the gym choose every single day. Like literally niggas have to fight bitches off sand training, training in the hyperbolic time chamber. As you can see, we doing an L drill right here. <clears throat> Look at the footwork. Boom. How you turn a corner. Boom. Round it off. Jesus Christ. Look at this backless bench. Okay. Backless bench. Putting up 195 pounds or 175 pounds like a fucking hoss. Jesus. That guy's a fucking animal. Yeah, that's some serious work. <laughs> Look, work. this dude right here, he was looking. After, after I did this workout, he was like, gosh, bro. He was like, how the fuck do you do that? Niggas is literally appalled. You see the gains. That's why you guys got to get the Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course. Even Jaden, you should get the D1 training course too because I guarantee if you went through my course, you would be a lot hotter than you are now. Right now, objectively, I would give you about a four. And this is an objective rating. You see me with both of my cars. Obviously, I've got over four cars. All right, both of the whips. My Mustang, my Challenger, which the Mustang just got totaled. And I'm about to... Finish the insurance claim. Obviously, my uh, my friend here talking about some tough with the hard eyes. I didn't see no bitches in your comments giving hard eyes, bro. But you see, really objectively beautiful women in my comments giving me hard eyes. I'm not going to put her on blast, but she's a bad bitch. Like, objectively an eight. That's the homie, okay? <clears throat> she's just one of my friends. I ain't even fuck her, Okay? So, like, I stay around bad bitches, like, point blank. As you can see, your boy, I'm out here. But you hate women. How, am I, how do I hate women? And I'm literally, I'm literally holding her by the waist. Oh, my God, reclaim your throne. You hate women. Oh, okay. Obviously, me and my dogs, we out here. There I go right here. That's Quincy Mogger. That is um, Rico. That's uh, my boy Aaron, Jarvis, Malcolm, DB Gang, okay? Dominic uh, Sanders, one of the shit, in my opinion, one of the best DBs to uh, play football at the University of Georgia. It, it was surprising to me that he didn't get a chance at the next level. Obviously, hot blonde. How do I hate women? And I'm literally taking pictures, hugging them. Another workout with a woman. This is when we were in Miami. Me and the homie in Miami. She's a friend. Okay. Thick. Y'all can see how thick she is. Look at that ass. I mean, come on, bro. Obviously, I'm way more attractive than 
not attractive, but more more athletic than all of them. <clears throat> okay. Look at, I mean, beautiful woman right here. Me and her working out. So you're telling me I hate the woman who were literally working out doing scissor jumps in sync. Objectively attractive women with your boy reclaim your throne. Obviously in Miami, dude, when I walk when I was walking on the beach in Miami, pff, dude, bitches was coming up to us talking about, "Are y'all models?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, baby, let me go." <laughs> yeah, bitch, come on. Okay? I hate black women, but here I am. Taking a picture with a black woman, her her hand is literally I didn't force her to take this picture. She's smiling. I hate black women, but with another black woman. <clears throat> okay, this is how you take pictures with a dog, bro. You don't put them to your face and act like you're going to fucking kiss them. This is me after breeding a litter of 13 puppies, pit bull puppies. We sold them all for $500 each. Yes, sir. We working. So, oh, God. I mean, I can't believe bro even compared himself <clears throat> to him. Dude, I mean, as far as a human specimen, like, you're not even close to me, bro. <clears throat> You're not even close to me. <laughs> Nigga said Oscar the Grouch. He said, bro, might off. He said, bro, might off yeah, himself, yeah. chill. <laughs> nah, nah. I mean, he's emo. He's emo, emo, but I don't think he'll go that far now. He said he got a girl, so he got something to live for, right? Uh, Romare DuBose said he gave up now, Gen Z. Jaden, okay, he says, your hair is embarrassing. My hair is embarrassing. Shit. That's not what the women say when they rubbing their fingers through my hair. Got me up in your legs and love me till your eyes roll back. I'm about to put you to bed. Okay, I don't know if y'all remember that song. Anyways, Romero Dubose says um, he got no more fight in him. He says the music is terrible. A 2010 BMW, LOL. 2010 BMW is still solid, bro. I don't know what you're fucking talking about. And I bought it cash, 11000 Jaden LeBron said, I graduated too. What's your point? You're like 5'7". Actually, I'm 5'8", but it doesn't matter because I'd kick your fucking ass. <laughs> it doesn't matter because if me and you got in a fight, shit. Woo, and I don't condone violence, but um, if, if we can go to my boxing videos and I'll, I mean, let me see if I can find one of my boxing videos. Because, uh, bruh, I, I mean, it's funny when you talk about height, but when you... When you stand face to face with a man like me, bro, you're going to shit your fucking pants. Literally. So there's you're you're literally not fucking with me. You're literally not fucking with me at all. The punches, the impact. The upper body strength. Yeah, you can talk all that 5 7 shit all you want. <laughs> But I, I literally could hit you five to seven times within two to three seconds. He says, no, you weren't. Show the women. I just showed the women. He says, here's me with a bunch of guys and we all got women. No women in the photos. I don't know what he's like. He said, your twists are garbage. That's not true. Bro said, Melissa He says, there, there are no women. I ended up showing you the women, right? My Nick. For Life said, Zarek, I thought you said Austin was a man lit on Black Pill Streams channel. Yeah, I said, why I, are you? And was it man lit? What you got to say? Said, he said, okay, he said, why are you talking differently on Reclaim Your Throne channel? Straight snake. What Ooh, did I, okay. I say wrong. Yeah, I didn't even mention nothing about Austin Dunham, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking <laughs> Oh, so hold on. Are we talking about Austin Dunham or Austin Holloman? I don't know. I fuck with Austin Dunham, though. But, I mean, he 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 got his opinion. It is what it is. Jaden said, I guarantee that you didn't play a snap in football. Actually, I played in um, special teams. You can check the film. My Nick for life said, I've always gave Austin his props. Um, he says, you have abs, but your face is an L. Actually, that's wrong, too. Um, <clears throat> I mean, hoes love my face, bro. Your face is an L. Jesus Christ. Your face is an L. He said, you wrecked the Mustang. No, I didn't wreck the Mustang. I have a car rental business. Somebody else wrecked the Mustang, and I'm getting in. I, I mean, it's actually good that the Mustang rank, it, wrecked it, it because. life, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Austin Holloman, like, yeah, I did say some shit, but, like, it's fucked up if they're going to kick the guy out. You know, that that's fucked up what they did there. Yeah. Right? I don't, yeah, for I don't, sure. I don't, I, don't, I don't support that, you know. 
kicking them out. Yeah. You know? He said you wrecked the Mustang, but no, I didn't wreck the Mustang. Somebody else re- wrecked the Mustang because I have a car rental business um, and somebody else wrecked the Mustang. But I'm I'm looking at the bright side of the Mustang being wrecked because now, I mean, the insurance claim is going to come through and it's going to clear that whole lien off of my credit. So now my credit is going to shoot up because all the credit bureau reports is this car was paid off in within a year. I bought that car in April. I'm going to clear it out. I'm going to clear out the debt in in less than one year. So that insurance claim will be finished in two weeks, which I have to go ahead and I got to go to the post office. Um, well, it's Sunday, but I got to go to FedEx to print off these documents to get them notarized and send them to my insurance company. And literally, <clears throat> once I do that, dude, my credit's going to shoot up like I don't know how much, but it's going to go crazy because I just paid off a, a, a thirty thousand dollar lien in less than a year. That's how that works. So it's probably good that the Mustang ranked wrecked, honestly. Um, Jaden says, LMAO, she's my friend. I didn't even F her. He said, you begged for a photo. Come on, dude. You don't even believe that. I begged for a photo with like five different women. Come on. Are you kidding me? If I was begging for a photo from women from my gym, I would be kicked out of my gym already. In this Me Too era, Dude, what you don't understand is when women see a guy like me in the gym, they're like, how do I get next to him? <laughs> Jane Le- uh, LeBron says she was not hot. Who was not hot? He said, bro, show your girlfriend, bro. Show your girlfriend because I guarantee she don't look better than any of the women that I took a picture with. I guarantee that. Um, better to have begged for a photo than not have a photo at all. I, oh, yeah, I didn't beg for no shit. I, what you guys don't understand with a guy like me, dude, there's no begging involved. Most of the women who I interact with, they come up to me and ask for my help. How do I get my ass right? How do I get this right? I'll show you, baby. <laughs> Jane LeBron says, your face versus my face, you're below a zero. Bro, your face... I, I literally don't know how you're saying this. Like, you literally have zits all over your face, bro. There's not one blemish on my face. Um, <clears throat> He says, I'm light-skinned. TikTok, man, I obviously do better than you. You don't have more followers than me on TikTok, bro. You don't have more followers than me on TikTok. He says, I have a 749 credit score. I'm good. Okay, I'm going to have to mute you, uh, Zarek. But, uh, I mean, honestly, I, I really don't care. I, you can always have a better credit score. Um, well, I guess you can't technically if you have a maxed out credit score, but I mean, what's, what's wrong with getting a boost in your credit score? I don't see what the, what's the issue is. Anyway, let's get back to Austin Holloman. I had to grill this nigga, but honestly, bro, join the stream or I'm gonna have to time you out. You're objectively ugly and that's fine, but you don't look better than me, dog. Not even in the slightest. Like there's literally no woman on earth unless they heard what I like, they would come on my YouTube and say, Oh yeah, he's ugly. But before I open my mouth, they're like, Oh my God, that's a, that's a nice chocolate brother. (laughs) But then once I start talking shit, they're like, Oh my God, you ain't even all that. Okay. So I was something right. See if y'all read, if y'all read my comments, I got love and hate on both sides. Like I got some people saying, Oh my God, you're so hot. And then I got some people saying, well, you ain't even all that to be talking all this. That's what they like to say. (laughs) But we all know that my results speak highly. Okay, <laughs> you know, I, I should have had a, a Brazilian man or a Brazilian woman tell me, you know, I should have reviewed. I should have reviewed <sighs> with someone from the culture to see if that was fine. But I know now uh, my intent was never to promote sex trafficking, sex tourism or exploitation of women. Uh, <laughs> my, my original intent and still my intent was for men, like I said, that have worked on themselves that cannot find what they want in their home country, in this case, the United States. Oh, here we go. Here's here's the colorism. He says, you're not light skin. I am. And there you have it. So you called me a bigot, but the reality is you're the bigot. You're the bigot. You're the bigot. You're the colorist. See, I brought it out of him. This is what this is what these liberals this is how they see the the difference between me and these fucking liberal cucks is that I will I will go out and I will say the truth about our culture. I'll say the truth about what's going on in black culture and whatnot. And I'm unapologetic about it because I live this on a daily basis because I'm in the city of Atlanta and I know what black people do. Okay, I know how we move. I know how we move. All right. 
The difference between me and Jaden is Jaden will will say, oh, well, black people aren't leading in homicides in the United States or, oh, well, you know, this thing happening and that's not happening. And then on the back end, they're like, oh, my God, these dark skinned people, they're just any anybody who's darker than me. They're uglier than me based off of this color of the skin. You're a fucking colorist, dude. It doesn't matter if you're more light skinned. You're an ugly light skinned nigga. That's worse than being a, a, a dark skinned nigga. That's worse than being a dark skinned nigga because at least every black woman wants a, 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 a tall chocolate nigga. That's the facts. And if they can't get tall, if they can get fit in chocolate, they'll settle for that too. Facts. Ask me how I know. Ask me how I know. You, on the other hand, you're an ugly light skinned nigga. That's an L. How you be ugly and light skinned? And I could tell you had potential, but your swag is all fucked up. You had potential, keyword in had, it's over now. You got too many zits on your face. Your swag is fucked up. You got a perm that's not attractive to black women, bro, at all. <clears throat> so Cloud just joined the stream. What's good? Cloud. Cloud, you're online with Reclaim Your Throne. And dropping them. All right, Cloud. Um. You're gone because you didn't speak. Uh, let's keep going, though. These guys are fucking pussies, dude. It's That's hilarious. This is actually turning out to be a really good stream. Let's keep going. I w My message was that, hey, women in Brazil still appreciate and will still, uh, you know, value the work that you've done to yourself and you'll find a fulfilling relationship in this country. It wasn't about, oh, come through here and run through women. Uh, and I think the, the misconception was whenever I had the video where the woman said that she would kiss me right away. And I was like, oh, come get your passport. What I'm not I'm not saying, oh, come through here and just run through women. What, in my country, women do not. Dude, since when did a kiss become running through women? A kiss means nothing. A kiss means absolutely bullshit. I don't even kiss women in the club. I would never do it again. I've done it before in the past, unfortunately. But that was when I was young. I'll never do it again because it, it it's a fucking tease. All they're going to do is make out with you and then go home with some other nigga. Fuck that. I'm not kissing you. If you want to fuck, if you want to fuck, then let's go fuck. But if you just want to make out, fuck that. I'm not fucking 15 years old. I'm a grown ass man. Cloud, what's good? Disagree with what what up, what up, man? Yeah, I just came on to support. I disagree with some of your comments, agree with a lot of it, though. Most of it I say like I agree with, some I disagree with. What do you uh, disagree disagreement with? Disagreement part? I don't know, man. I feel like some of your interpretation of the statistics are a little bit off. I think you could add a little bit more color to that. I know that How? you're an intelligent guy. I think, first of all, when you're talking about, you know, Brazil is a violent place and most black countries are violent, there might be a genetic component to it and all of that. I think there's a lot yep. more, um, what would I say? color that nuance. you can add to it. it nuance to it and i understand you're speaking in generalities and all of that stuff but you're an educated brother i can tell right now so i think that i don't want to say it's how you said it but there's some color that you could add to that as well you know what i'm saying like for instance when we're saying so you that, want me you want no, 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 this is what you want this, go ahead, go and ahead. sorry to cut you off but this this is what you. i this is what i assume that you want me to do you want me to say these things and then blame white supremacy on it is that is that what you would like to hear I don't think I want you to blame white supremacy because it's not all white supremacy. It's also a lot of black culture too, right? Like it's also in our culture. I'm also black. I know my voice sounds yeah. you know, like I'm a white guy and shit, but I'm actually black. No, I knew you were black. I knew you were okay. black. Cool, cool. Yeah, so I think that there It was the way you said white... brother. It was the way you said brother. <laughs> uh, he gave it away, man. Yeah. So I don't think it's all white supremacy. There is obviously a white supremacy component that we both know exists. But yes. and there's also like misinformation within the black community and whatnot. So I'm not hating on you. I'm not saying that you're doing a wrong job or anything like that. But somebody like you who's well put together, who can articulate these issues, you know, appropriately and whatnot, you could add a little bit more context to it. Because I don't think that every single black country is an evil, rancid place where people are getting their heads cut off. They're a black. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm exaggerating your point a bit, but you did say most black. The majority countries are more countries are more dangerous are, than white countries. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, not true. I, I don't agree with that at all. No, it is I, true. You know, I agree. I disagree. Completely disagree. You you know, it might be different, more, uh, how would we say, dangerous for different reasons. But there are places in Europe that have been warring for how long? It doesn't matter the reason. It doesn't matter the reason. It, it ma the, the danger level is the only thing that you should factor into. 
that that's that's the thing you're trying to say oh well th there might be a reason why this is more dangerous than that and i'm telling you that they're more dangerous period absolutely not true numerically you think that there are more black <clears throat> countries that are dangerous than white countries talk about ukraine yes. right now russia as a black person it also depends on your experience. russia is not dangerous as a black person stop it russia is incredibly dangerous as a black person in certain stop places. They it have a serious neo neo -Nazi in, movement in certain there. in certain places fair or in the right. whole country. Overall, I would say. So isn't that a nuanced place? Russia is extremely dangerous for dude. My dad, da, my dad spent two years in the Ukraine. My dad spent time in Russia, um, you know, on business. It was not dangerous for him. And he's a black man. I've there was there. no it's, danger. As a I've matter of fact, it's more danger in the United States than there for him. Uh, it is not more dangerous as a black person in the United States than it is in Russia. They oh, have yes, a there strong neo-Nazi movement down there. Like you go out there and you talk to the wrong person at the in wrong the Ukraine in a popular city, you are getting shit kicked outside of that club. You're getting your ass kicked. I've seen it. That's happen. anywhere. That's not anywhere at all. I could talk to a bitch in, in Atlanta. I'm not getting shit kicked by a bunch of brothers. Outside oh, of Atlanta you are Atlanta out of your goddamn mind. mind. You don't you don't live in Buckhead, do you? Definitely not. Okay, I'm in Buckhead. If you talk shit and you said a woman, you said a woman. Not only you, you're not, you're, you're not gonna get your ass kicked by a man if you talk shit to a woman in Atlanta. No, you're not. You're gonna get your ass kicked by a fucking woman if you talk shit to a woman in Atlanta. These women are masculine as fuck. They can fight. They went to, they went to Gwinnett High. They went to North Gwinnett. They went to South Gwinnett. They went to Tucker. They went to Booker T. Washington. They went to um, Milton High School. They went to Norcross High School. They fight. The, these women will kick your monkey ass up and down the club if you say some shit to them. What do you mean you won't get? Dude, if you disrespect one of these people out here, they will kill you. Yeah, I didn't say disrespect. I said talk to. I'm saying talk to. You could go to a place in Russia, talk to the wrong girl, and get shit kicked the fuck out of. I also don't know any of those Maybe if you talk to somebody's way. girl. Nah, man, you're talking to a white girl as a black man in a lot of these countries. You are getting beaten up. Come you're on, beaten up, man. Come on, bro. 100%. You don't even believe that. I believe that 100%. Then Overall, why are they, then why then why were there so many Africans who were going to Ukraine and going to Russia to study? I did a story on this Africans in Ukraine and they were complaining that they were being unfairly treated in when when they were evacuating people from um from the Ukraine. Why were there so many foreign exchange Africans who were going over there to study if it was so dangerous for them? They were leaving their home country because it was too dangerous to study in their home country. So they went to the Ukraine. Higher education. You got it backwards, man. Higher education system, and I don't think no going from one the danger level to another dangerous place considers a, a bump in life. The Where Ukraine was not dangerous before. The Ukraine was not dangerous before Russia invaded. The Ukraine Point was blank, incredibly period. dangerous as a no, black it wasn't man traveling. A hundred. If it was dangerous, why do you have African immigrants going over there to study? They're the putting... African immigrants will go to Afghanistan to study to get the fuck out of no, Africa. Fuck some of won't. these countries. Are you no, they me? won't. You don't fight don't do the fever. Don't do that. Don't do the Africans <laughs> like that. I was talking about Africans, but what you did was way more disrespectful. These Africans are intelligent. They go to where they can get the best education, the bang they for their buck, the US, to man. be safe. They go to be safe because their home country is not safe and there's no freedom. So they go to places that are free where they can study. They don't go to places to be put in danger. A lot of them didn't even anticipate the um, the invasion of Russia, which I think that they should have done. But the mainstream media was saying it's impossible. Russia would never invade Ukraine. Russia is never going to invade Ukraine. So the mainstream media um, uh, misled them and put them in danger by misleading them and telling them that Russia would never invade Ukraine when they had plans to invade Ukraine months before the announcement was even made. So, bro, R Africans are not leaving Africa to go to a more dangerous country. Otherwise, they would go study in fucking Mexico. Africans and they'd say fuck the United States. Africans are all over the place. There are Africans in the Philippines. There are Africans in Brazil right now. Would you agree yeah. that Brazil is a more dangerous country? I don't disagree with you. I'm in Brazil. There right are now, Africans dog. in Brazil because there's a large Afro-Brazilian population. No, I'm talk that's not African, money. That's that's Afro-Brazilian, completely different. Those are Africans that were brought there as slaves. I'm talking about there are niggas from Cameroon that hopped off a plane and are selling watermelons outside of the airport. It's completely different. There are straight up because, Africans from Angola down here. Because Brazil is more civilized than their home country. That's why. 
Brazil, I'm not saying it's maybe more civilized. However, it is still an incredibly dangerous country. Civilization. So, so and what are you saying now? What are you saying? Is is Brazil dangerous or is it not? Because earlier in the comments, you were saying Brazil's not that dangerous. I did not say that at all. Brazil is incredibly dangerous, and that's okay. why you know. And I don't want to interrupt your take with Austin and all that and derail the street. No, so go ahead. If you want to go on, it's all good. But that's why I would say, and I kind of disagree with you on the Austin Holman point. <laughs> Maybe we could talk about that, but I think he needs to get his ass out of Brazil if he has not already. What do you think about that? Because you were saying he should stand 10 toes down. I'm like, nigga, I'm in Brazil right now. No, he should not. So <laughs> no, he, he should not. So he should not stand 10 toes on like his physical location. Yes, he needs to <laughs> he needs to leave and he needs to let it cool down for a little bit. But just to say that, oh, he can't never come back. That's bullshit, dude. Brazil is a huge country. He can go to another uh, a smaller city where, um, you know, there aren't that there isn't that much access to the Internet and, you know, technology and whatnot. And he'll be 100 percent fine. Uh, the, the, the reality is that, yes, he was talking shit and whatnot in the, in the feminists expose him. He was in the news for a little bit, but that shit is going to die over. And most people, I guarantee if you went on this street interviews in Rio and you asked, do you know who Austin Holloman is? Then women wouldn't know who the fuck you're talking about. I don't know, nigga. I, I'm saying I don't think I would take that chance. And saying to, for him to go to like a beach town, nigga, you already know. You've heard, you've seen his videos. The guy speaks third grade Portuguese. They're going to put him in a beach town where he's the only guy who can speak English. Like nobody's going to be able to communicate with him. I get your point overall. I'm not saying the entire country is going to be searching for him like he's a, you know, terrorist or whatnot. But at mm -hmm. the same time, I, I think I, I would tend to agree more with your point duck down, maybe go to Cuba, maybe go to Colombia, maybe go to one of these other places or whatnot and come back. I don't think they're going to be chasing him for the rest of his life. Of but at not. the same time, I don't think he should grab, you know, stand there 10 toes down and grab, grab a blicky because niggas down here don't play, man. They really don't play. I, I, I think don't know. I know. The spot personally, like, what do you think about the overall passport bros movement? <clears throat> I support it. I think that, I think that um, it, it's good that they're educating people on the, uh, ability to travel in general because a lot of people, a, a lot of black folks ain't never left their home city. A lot of black folks ain't right. never been on no damn vacation. So, um, I mean, I know people in, in the hoods from my hometown who ain't never left their hood. For real? Yep. <laughs> they like, what is Broad Street? They don't even know the fucking main street of the whole city. So, um, I think that it's good because when you travel, you learn and you grow and you understand different cultures. I support the Passport Bros. I think that they should not get any flack for going overseas and exploring their options, um, whether it be financially or whether it be relationship-wise, because the reality is these women been getting flewed out to Dubai and to African countries and getting fucked and shitted on by, uh, you know, uh, African princes and kings and sultans and all that shit, and they're going to Dubai and they're going to Iran, they're going to Afghanistan and getting shitted on by um, uh, Middle Eastern Persian kings and whatnot. So what's what's better, going and prostituting yourself as a woman, which nobody has any smoke for, by the way, or going as a man, picking up your balls, taking a leap of faith, and going and trying your luck in another country outside of the USA, outside of the USA. Not to mention that you have a huge tax benefit. I think you can write off about one hundred and sixty thousand dollars if you have dual citizenship um, outside of the United States. So there's even more tax benefits than being um married in the united states being single and traveling okay but let me ask you a question about that then do you not no. think that on some level like i don't know how much of his content you've seen and some of these travel bros that are moving through brazil and some of these latin american countries that focus specifically on the romance uh, i'm going to take romance out of it the hot women aspect the ass aspect and the breast aspect do you think that that could raise a negative perception about African-American men in these countries? Because that's what I'm hearing here now. Like, he's not famous, but people do know him. Like, how do you how do you feel about how it's being? Portrayed what do you mean? The there? hot woman, the ass and the breast aspect. A American women got ass and titties. What are you talking about? A lot of these passport bros, many of them are going into <laughs> Latin American countries that don't play around. Let's get it straight. But that don't play around. Colombia, Brazil. Uh, not so much Bolivia and whatnot, a little bit of Peru, so on and so forth, showing videos of women on the beach against, you know, that may not know that they're being filmed, uh, showing close ups of women's asses, asking them lewd questions like what kind of penis size do you prefer and all of that stuff. I'm saying, OK, have you, you have you been to PCB spring break? Panama no, City, that's Florida. Have you been there? Spring break. 
I don't think you can do that comparison though, man. That's America. That, you can't do that. It's a completely different culture. That's that's they're bigger holes in struggling. Brazil though. I disagree are, with that. They're more slutty in Brazil. They may be more sexually liberated. I'm not going to debate sexually you on that. Sexually liberated, dude. I, they're fair having game. sex you with multiple call it men. Slutty, wh whatever. Okay, we can agree. You're fucking on slut. Yes. Fair. But I don't think that you can take American culture and say, well, since it rolls in spring break in Florida, I can take that same energy into Brazil and ask her, does she like a 12 inch cock or a six inch cock? You can't do that shit. You know that. Why man. not? Why not? Nigga, it's a different culture. You can't do that. It's a it doesn't matter. I'm, you're asking a question. What's the problem? Answer, the question is lewd. Come on, man. If I walk into a bar in Texas, I walk up to a conservative white woman and I mm -hmm. ask her, do you like 12 inch penises? What mm -hmm. happens next when it's a cowboy bar? Let's be real. This is in America. Now imagine doing that. I, in and, I, and I don't even agree years. with your take there because I live in, I, I've lived in a college country ass cowboy town and and there's there's plenty of black men doing street interviews asking hey what's the most crazy sexual experience you had hey you know is the size matter is it the motion of the ocean or what dude I, I i literally have reviewed videos from guys from my from my alma mater from university of georgia i mean i literally just did a video where the, the there was a white guy going around asking hey if you saw stetson bennett the qb1 for the university of georgia who just won the national championship if you saw him right now what would you do and it was women talking about oh daddy i would fuck the shit out him da, 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 da. he could do anything to me dude there's nothing wrong with just asking a question and doing a street interview y'all are dragging it there is definitely something wrong when you're asking a girl who did not agree to necessarily be on camera she if she looking straight in the camera she agreed to be on camera why do y'all think that women have no autonomy and no responsibility dude y'all gotta stop this shit if women are equal then the bitch can realize that she's getting filmed right or wrong if you ask her that you, if you ask her for an interview and you say, I'm going to be asking you dating type questions, and then you ask her what penis size you prefer is in your mind right now. Is that something that a logical thinking person is going yep. to expect? Yep. Like if somebody came up to you and said, I mean, it, are they going to expect that? No, they're not going to know what I'm going to ask them. Of course, they, they're not going to expect anything. But if I if I say, hey, I'm doing I'm doing beach interviews, I'm, I'm interviewing women about relationships and what they want in a man. And I ask a question which he's not just coming out. Hey, do you like 12 inch cock? Dude, he's doing a lead up and he's asking really good, genuine questions. I've seen some of his interviews with these women. They're good, genuine questions. As a matter of fact, I'll pull up his uh, his shit right now and you tell me what was wrong about what he said he's literally asking right up right now I, I, i'm sorry to interject but he took all that shit down because the incriminating stuff is what's getting him the death threats you can go on his page right now those interviews are not up i am literally telling you he asked women what penis they prefer like straight like, up like straight up my nigga i will literally send it to you like straight up if you go on his page right now i think you only see like his youtube shorts one video <laughs> see that's why you're like a straight up yeah nigga, that's not true straight up that's not true straight though up. I'm, I'm looking at his shit right now no he literally took it down i'm not even playing so what is he this literally took down so what is this no it was a beach interview i saw the video he has so you're talking about up. one video no i'm not talking about one video he has at least two or three of them they're not up if you go to his short section like you literally click on shorts they used to be there but those were the do, ones that do were you know what up. do you know what a short is bro it's sure. 60 seconds of a of a larger longer video you're taking a snippet you're taking a segment and and you're you're saying oh he asked this girl straight up no that video came from a a, a a longer video probably a video about as long as this one right here and if we go through this video i guarantee that woman was 100 percent good with all the questions come that is a on completely different video it's a short it doesn't have to necessarily be a longer video. He could take the longer video down and leave the short up. And that's exactly what he did. The shorts, I'll send it to you offline, my nigga, but like he literally- So he left me. the short up. No, just put it, no, just put it in the private chat in, in StreamYards. Just put it in the private chat. No, he didn't leave the strut. I'm going to have to look for it because it's not on his page. That's what he was getting the heat for. See, you're not up to speed on what actually happened. He took all that shit down because if he kept it up still, he'd probably be kicked out of the country already. Or at least somebody would have ran down on him. But yeah, man, he was literally asking chicks, would you prefer to have great sex with a gangster or, uh, you know, date a businessman? What's you wrong know? with that question?
from an American lens, nothing. As a black man walking into Brazil, which is what the last country to abolish slavery, which is probably one of the largest racial disparity countries in the world, a lot. <laughs> a and, lot. And, and, and and that's where so if it was a Brazilian man asking those same questions in Portuguese, would there be a problem with it? That's a great question. An Afro-Brazilian. That's a great question. I think if no, was, I'm gonna answer that no, no, no because there's literally Brazilian influence who are, who are asking worse questions. They're not gringos though. It doesn't it's fucking complete, matter. It does to them is what I'm trying to say. We as black men really got to move smarter when we're going into these countries. And I know you know. I that agree with that. I it agree looks with like that. You're pretty well traveled and you're intelligent, well spoken, all of that. So I'm not. I'm not in any way trying to come off disrespectful or anything. No, like you're that. fine. But a lot of us going to these countries like you know, Colombia and whatnot. And we just think it's the same thing as the US, but it's really not, man. Like even me, when I first came to Brazil, I was having women come and go, not prostitutes, legitimate <laughs> women, accountants, lawyers, doctors, like actual literal great women coming and going. The door guards were looking at me like, what's this really, what's this nigga really up to? Like there's a certain level of envy. There's a certain level of, are you here for sex tourism? there's a certain level of danger that we're exposed to when we walk into these countries. So I don't disagree with you in terms of if he asked those questions in the U S you know, they probably would not have resulted in such an extreme reaction, but as a black man going into these countries, asking these questions, we got to be, be, be careful. I'm going to stop talking. Cause I'm taking up your whole. Fucking no, you're good. Right I'm, I, I'm just going to say that. Um, sure. <clears throat> so 2006, this, this comes from two, 2016 crime statistics out of 40 days. Damn near 40,000 murders, there were only 977 foreigners, tourists, who were killed. Yeah, 100%. So I'm not saying Brazilian men are not about that smoke, but y'all are <laughs> overestimating the, like their, their willingness to just go kill a foreigner. That's not necessarily killing. I was literally in Copacabana, what, a month and a half ago? My friend got robbed. Like it, killing is one thing. That's the most extreme thing. They will beat the shit out of you. They'll, they'll beat you. And it ain't going to be no U.S. beat down where they stop kicking you when you pass out. They keep mm -hmm. kicking you. I've seen this shit. Yeah, but I, I mean, agree. I'm, Niggas I'm not are dragging saying it. You Niggas are dragging you, it. I agree. I agree. You can get your ass beat in Philly. You can get your ass beat True. in New Orleans. You can get your ass beat down here in Atlanta. True. And, and, and I'll tell you what. Yeah, they may not beat you to death like that, but they're just going to end it with a gun. They're going to beat the hell out of you, and then they're going to fucking kill you. True, true. That's what they'll do in the States. I know Brazil is more dangerous than the States. We've already looked up the statistics, but the danger is from Afro-Brazilians, um, majority, okay, of it is from Afro-Brazilians inflicted upon Afro-Brazilians. And that's facts. Of course, but I mean, how many tourists are there? You're saying 900 tourists got killed? I, I can't remember exactly what number you said. And there's probably sure. way more. There's probably millions of people who go to Brazil every year from from countries all over the world. I Not even just the U.S. I guarantee there's over a million people who go to Brazil every year from the U.S., just from the U.S. alone. I don't know that of those million people, a large majority of them are African-Americans asking people what it doesn't matter. It it's a foreigner it, it does. period. It's what's provoking the beat down. They're not just going to see you and kick your ass. So, so, so being black is promoting. The, so what's the difference from, from being, uh, okay. How about this? How about I'm a, I'm an African-American. I'm a black American, mm -hmm. but I speak Portuguese. What's the difference between me and those Afro Brazilians besides yeah, where we're born i'm just talking about face value i i, I go down there and i'm just boom i immediately nobody i don't have no american clothes on i assimilate when it comes to the way that they dress i speak portuguese i speak the language i'm just black what's the difference between me and then the afro-brazilian culture All right, if you if you're saying you understand their <laughs> culture inside and out there's no difference but if you don't culture it looks like they're people it looks like they're exactly like us when you get there you walk off the plane they got That's two hands just like we got hands we got two they got two feet just like we got feet and they're black as hell just like we mother. are it, they black just like us i agree with you until you get into an argument with one of them motherfuckers and you can't de-escalate this shit by saying okay next time i see you xyz nah they don't let you walk away from that shit i'm not trying to say it's a war black zone men in the united states don't let you walk away from arguments either dude Nigga, I've walked away. I, I'm in L. I've, I've, I've lived in LA for like ten years. You can walk away from some shit if it pops out. I'm saying you largely cannot. Walk Atlanta's away more from dangerous than LA. Here. Atlanta may be more dangerous than LA, but LA has a gang culture. 
They're going to yeah, check that, you depending on whatever city that, that, that LA is a birthplace of gang culture. Like, I agree. That's literally where gang culture started. You 100%. can de-escalate shit if you're in Inglewood. You can de-escalate shit if you're in Compton. Sometimes. I agree with you. Sometimes, sometimes. sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't. Most but of the largely time you can. in Brazil, their culture is if you cross a certain line, it is very <laughs> difficult to de-escalate that shit. That's that's all I'm saying. I mean, I, I don't I agree disagree. with 90% of what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we agree. We agree. But we also, you know, we just have a different way of interpreting the information. Um, I think, you know, I agree. Austin Holliman should leave. He should worry about his safety. He should secure his safety. He should regroup. He should replan. He should come back. And and then he should get down with some real, I mean, me personally, I, see, I'm the type of dude who I can, I can get down with some real, like, 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 like some real niggas and, and have my security spoken for. If I was him, I would get connected because I know some Brazilian dudes um, in Sao Paulo uh, who like are like workout guys and whatnot. But, you know, that's where I'm at I mean, right now, man. Yep. Yeah. So I know some I don't know if you know this guy. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to put him on blast, oh, but man. he's he on Instagram. He's doing all workouts and he's he's doing these workouts and shit like that. But like he's told me, you know, we've had conversations and he's like, yeah, I'm a straight gangster. Like, nigga, I sell drugs like nigga. I <laughs> I, you know, I, 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 the community, I, right. I do this <laughs> shit. So, so all you have to do is get connected with one of them niggas and you're spoken for in the whole country because I agree with that, depending on who they roll, because with the people fear the gangs. Yep. They fear the gangs because they know there's no justice coming after that bullet. So yep. if I was Austin, fuck what these feminists is talking about. Nigga, I'm just getting down with some some real niggas in Brazil. <laughs> I'm not getting no gang ties. I'm not saying you're gonna do Austin like that. Does he look like that kind of nigga to you, man? He can't even speak Portuguese. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you can make the connections though uh, through social media. You can make the connections through whatever. I'm just yeah. saying, just like you got to check in when you pull up to LA, you got to check in when you go to them Brazilian hoods. And you know, it, it, if you are spoken for from a real gangster nigga in Brazil. You are not hurting for nothing in the country. Even the police ain't gonna fuck with you. Fair man, fair man. And so I, I mean, it, it, it's about man. networking. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I just wanted to give you my support. You're doing a tremendous job, man. Um, hey, how'd you get up to three plates? How long did that take you? I saw your Instagram shit where you're pushing up three, man. Uh, I was I was benching three fifteen in high school. I mean, I played football all my life, so you know I, I've always been like super strong. But if you want to increase your bench, mm. um, what you do is. Let me show you a video. I'm at 225 but, right now, so it's going to be a while. Yeah, so I benched 225, 25 reps. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay. Eight. Yeah, that's that's good, though. That's good. Yeah. Um, so let me see. I'll show you exactly what you do to get to increase your bench. So what you do is you do the same reps, the same weight, but put a resistance band on it. So whatever your split is, you use the same reps, the same weight, throw a resistance band on it, and dude... That shit is going to make you so strong in less. I guarantee your bench will go up. Your max bench will go up in less than two weeks. If you bench right. three times a week with a resistance band, your max bench will go up in less than two weeks. 100% guaranteed. All right, man. I'm going to take that tip. Also, also buy, also buy the Reclaim Your Throne D1 Elite Training course. Um, link is in the description box below. And I guarantee if you if you go through my course – You'll literally be a fucking unit. So you're gonna do a uh, live stream on on uh, physical fitness and all that stuff because I see you tearing it up on Instagram. So I have done a live stream on physical fitness. I talked to Doctor David. Uh, is it David Co? Um, let me just double check his name. I don't want to get it wrong, but really great guy. Um, he was critiquing some of my techniques. We got down. We got on the stream. Caleb Co. So go to um, Big Cat for Big Cat Performance, aka Dr. Caleb Co. Says right. reclaim your throne workouts are stupid. We had a really good debate. We had a really um, intelligent, high IQ debate about physical fitness and and what workout techniques um, work. And then we were also talking about uh, fast twitch, slow twitch muscles and and, and um, sports replication because he believes that you can't get better at sports unless you're actually playing that sport. And I totally disagree because especially when it comes to a contact sport like football, you can't play that sport because it's dangerous to play that sport five days out the week. So that's why, you, you know, you do seven on seven, you do shells, but that, like, like what he's saying is like, Oh, well, you know, if, if you don't play football, you, you know, um, the full sport, like you'll never be able to be good at it. And that's just not true. So we debated on sports replication. It was a really good debate. Uh, it didn't get heated, but it got extremely technical. So if you want, more fitness content, I, I definitely advise you to go to that one. 
All right, man. I might hop up next time you have a live stream, but thanks for having me up, man. All right, cool, man. Thanks for the disagreement, bro. All right. Thanks All right, for man. being respectful, too. Of course, man. You got not disagreeing with the dude who can bench three plates. Come on, man. What you talking about? <laughs> All right. You, later, you dig? Man. All right, brother. All right, so um, that was Cloud. Man, I mean, that's a stand-up brother right there. We had a respectful discourse. We disagreed. You know, we got heated. We, we you know, we went at each other. It's like, damn, nigga, that's stupid. Damn, nigga. Like, we name-called and all that. And and look, at the end of the day, we're good. That's, that's, a, that's a brother for life at this point. You know what I'm saying? That's how you work. That's how you operate and work out your grievances. That's how you, you know, have tough conversations. That's how you disagree. You agree to disagree. That's how you do it, black men. So, you know, we don't have to resolve our issues, especially Afro-Brazilians, too. OK, we don't have to resolve our issues with violence, even though the woman um, who is going after Austin threatened him. We don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. So let's keep going. Wait, it's not that women push up said Brazilian men don't know how to fight. <laughs> I don't know, bro. They got Brazilian jujitsu, so I'd be, I would, I would, I don't know if I necessarily disagree when they have a whole form of martial arts coming out of Brazil. So, they behave, behave a bad way. If they behave badly, I wouldn't have came to them. I believe I really love the way how Brazilian women act, and the fact that Brazilian women don't withhold affection. For men and they're not afraid to make themselves vulnerable i think it's very valuable to american men in a yes and and there's nothing wrong with saying that some women are more affectionate than others like if i was to say you know um from my experiences latina women are more affectionate than black women people would say oh you hate your mom you hate your grandma but the reality is we all know that to be true okay they're also more crazy mm, well i don't know I wouldn't go that far because I've seen some horror stories in the community. Um, so I can't really compare that. But they're known for being spicy Latina. Oh, she's crazy. You know, she'll cut your dick off or some goofy shit like that. Um, I've never, me personally, I've never seen no black woman cut, no, well, probably a couple news stories, but I've never seen a black woman cut a man's dick off. Now, I have seen like um, self deletion, you know, I mean, I'm just going to say it murder, self deletion, right? I've seen that. That happened in Atlanta with this pastor who was divorcing his wife, she, she couldn't let him go. So she deleted them, you know, the whole family. Um, well, she didn't delete the whole family. She deleted herself and the husband and, and the kids ended up finding the bodies, which is absolutely abysmal. I'm not saying the black woman ain't crazy too, but it's, it's, it's like a known stereotype for the spicy Latina. You know, she's going to key your car and, and bust the windows out your car. Even though Jasmine Sullivan wrote a song called I'll bust the windows out your car. A lot of American men that are looking for serious relationships that I think that's beneficial. I, I don't think that a man gets any beneficial uh, any benefits out of a woman not even wanting to kiss him, but she claims that she likes him, and that's very common in my country, and that's not common in Brazil. And that was my whole point of me promoting that. But I would I would never promote any of those things because I love Brazil. I didn't want to have to say goodbye to Brazil, but I, I, I that was not my intent. I would not talk poorly about the women in another country that I'm staying in. That's not very intelligent of me to do that. That's why I think there was a misconception. Yeah, and I don't I don't I don't see any videos of him talking poorly. As a matter of fact, you start to see that Brazilian women are, you know, they they're pretty feminist minded. Now, if you want women who aren't feminist minded, go to the Philippines. Like in my business, I have my whole staff outsourced to the Philippines and they are not feminist minded at all. They're marriage minded, like young too, like 22, 23, they want to be married. Now, during my time in Brazil, I really grew to see the affection and good nature of the people in Brazil and the Brazilian women. Like I said, Brazilian people in general, are just very warm people where I came from it. I told you guys before I cried on the way home on the first uh, trip to Brazil last February. So this is the respect that he has for Brazilian women. How is he, how is he how is he wrong, bro? We were during Carnival, <clears throat> and it was because I was around people that were just very welcoming. It, I felt I feel very at home with almost every Brazilian I meet. I have, I don't I can count on one hand, maybe one or two people in Brazil out of the four months in total almost I've been living there that were rude to me 
and in the United States, I can I can run out of hands to count on how many people were rude to me. So there's definitely a huge difference. That's why I left everything in the States and came to Brazil, because it was really that much of a, a, a great deal for me. Yeah, I really love it here. Um, and I just wanted to share on my YouTube channel. Like I said, I want to influence other men to if they feel like they've worked on themselves. And I, I tell men that you cannot come to Brazil super fat, no hygiene no money you you can't be a a, a nobody yeah and come to brazil i've made that clear hundreds of times on my channel yeah i've made that clear uh but i chose to make the channel so i people could learn i'm learning about brazil i'm learning what it's like to live in brazil and this is a dude the the fact that they're trying to make it seem like brazilian women don't want american men is absolutely absurd they love american men dude i i know this Brazilian woman, this Brazilian OnlyFans model right now, dude, <laughs> she, like, uh, these, these women want Brazilian men, or not Brazilian men, but uh, American men, like, stop with the bullshit, stop with the bullshit, and, and, you know, it, it might sound fucked up, but they're also willing to fuck with the homies if they find the homies attractive, I'm telling you that right now. I'm telling you that right now, bruh. That's just the reality. Okay. It's a learning lesson that I'm going through. And hopefully men in the future know not to do what I did. And I was willing to make myself vulnerable to prevent other Americans from. This dude, Jaden, you still here, bro? I failed economics. How would I get my degree from the Terry College, the business school, if I failed economics? You can't even fail a core class to get your degree, dude. I literally, I got my diploma right there. Okay. I'm coming to Brazil, you know, had with a very ignorant mindset. So I was willing to take the blame for that. Uh, not that I did any of this on purpose. I'm just saying I was willing to. And I got a 96 in African-American studies. So I know my shit. Show my experiences of learning, of living in Brazil firsthand publicly to just help other americans know what to do and what not to do when they come down here but i enjoyed my time in brazil i always spoke very positively about it and i will limit how many videos i speak on brazilian women because damn they got this nigga shook this shit is embarrassing honestly i ain't gonna lie i never say anything negative about brazilian women uh, but i can see that pretty much anything that i say about brazilian women now can be twisted so i don't even think it's safe for me to even speak on them i don't even think i should say the word brazilian woman anymore you know it's just it doesn't feel safe so i think i'm just better off just showing the food and the streets and you know parties and stuff but I, dude I dude I this is what i gotta say to miko worldwide when he went to colombia after he fled um, prosecution in the united states he he was like known in colombia for like you know doing some weird shit and nobody touched him I think he had to, he ended up getting kidnapped in the United States, bro, by some hood niggas who stole his camera equipment. Nobody touched him in Colombia. They're they're really trying to make it seem like he should be fearful. I I I genuinely don't think he should be fearful for his life. I genuinely believe that he's in no danger, no physical danger whatsoever. I I genuinely believe that. I think they got him shook. I think there's a lot of death threats coming from bot women who are on Twitter because of this feminist. I mean, she literally put this man's life in danger and he broke no crime. Like I said, the age of consent in Brazil is 14. So even if he was going to the local fucking junior college or the junior high school and fucking with 15, 16 year olds, he still would be within the, the law. And that sounds fucked up, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Jaden again, he says, obviously not if you don't understand our communities are over-policed. They have always been over-policed, so don't say because we commit more crimes. If we had the same amount of police in white neighborhoods, that would find, or they would find way more crime there as well. I disagree 100%. I disagree 100%. I don't even know where you came out with that. <laughs> like, how is that even relevant to the conversation we talk about passport bros? You're talking about police. And Jaden is a defund the police 
idiot, but you can't even def- – you can't defend yourself, Jaden. I looked at you. There's no way that you're winning any type of fight. So if one of these super gremlins – and I and I, I pray for your safety. If one of these super gremlins run up on you, you're toast. Me? No. He's going to meet 556. Five, He's going to meet Glock 40. He's going to meet Keltec KSG, shotgun, pump action. He's going to meet my my um 22. Okay? With the scope. On you, I mean, and he could meet these hands too. Who knows? <laughs> On you, you're getting your ass kicked. Like you can't even defend yourself. So you need police. I can't believe you're you're talking about over policing in the black community when we literally have 9-year-old girls getting shot in the streets. It's crazy. Even talk about Brazilian women. If I do to a very minimal, Moita Pequeno, Moita Pequeno Vezes, or Menos Vezes. Um, and also, I don't want to record any Brazilian women because at any moment, you know, they can change their mind and say, hey, you know, I didn't, I didn't want, you know, to be on video. I didn't want to be on your YouTube, but I, I can promise you. I would never just walk up to a woman and just record her and say, answer this question, answer this question. I would never do that. I would never do that. That's dumb. I always ask them, hey, can I ask you a question? I have a YouTube channel. They say yes. They answer the question. I post a video. Then they say, I didn't know you were going to put me on the YouTube channel. So I think it's better that I just don't record at all unless if I just really, really know them or if I pay them to be on the video because it's – it's 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 too inconvenient for her and I to be on like for example in Perolino there's the the Bianas with the the big vestitas on the big dresses I don't know what they call them and you know she is in a tourist zone and we took a picture with her I think she took a picture with all three of us three different times and apparently she ran up on somebody I know in Brazil and she said that she's going to contact the lawyer because she didn't know that that picture was taken dude oh my god they're just <clears throat> man tell that bitch to fuck off how about that dude they're ch- they're yanking your chain bro oh my god i can't believe and this is this is being young this is because they're hustlers so this is what this is the gambit this is the this is the gambit they're gonna say oh well i'm gonna sue you because i you put me in a photo da, 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 which is totally legal it's my photo as a matter of fact even if I take a photo of you, that's my intellectual property, bitch. Okay, so that's one. Um, and then, and then what they're gonna do is, oh well, you know, pay me, pay me a hundred dollars, and I won't say anything about it. And then they'll come back next week and say, uh, oh, well, I changed my mind. Pay me two hundred and fifty dollars, and I won't say anything about it. Then they'll come back next week and yank you for some more. That's they're scammers, bro. They're scammers, bro. It's a scam. It's a known scam. Just like the scoplamine shit. It's a known scam. Austin, wake up, bro. You're not in any danger. You're not in any danger. Get down with some gangsters. I ain't gonna lie. Get down with some gangsters. Check in. You gotta check in. Check in with some gangsters. There ain't nothing wrong with it. Okay. They're gonna extort you. Pay them a thousand dollars and you good. You good. Okay. That's the game. Especially in these third world countries, money talks, baby. Bullshit walks. It's a fucking scam. That's what that is. They're not going to sue you. Do you think that bitch got some money to sue you? Nigga, she can't even pay for formula for her baby. How's she going to retain a lawyer? <laughs> this shit is crazy. The ho- She's in poverty, bro. She's not going to sue you. People in poverty don't sue unless they get killed by the police in the States. That, that's the only place where, like, suing is a big thing in the States. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, sue my dick. And it, uh, she looked right in the camera and took the picture three times. And, you know, I, I just don't – that's just an extra problem, and I don't want any problems in Brazil, so I think it's just better I don't take any pictures. But I did make a mistake, and I apologize because I showcased. They got this nigga scared of taking pictures, bro. Fuck out of here. The women way. I, I think where people are getting sex tourism from is because I show. It seems like I'm only show, which I didn't only, but I can agree that 90, 95 percent of the time, I showcased women. Uh, because that's just. I mean, Brazilian women are great. They're beautiful. They're nice people. I 
that's why I showcase them that much. But I, I would agree that I did do that too much. I could have showed more of the food in the streets and the beaches and how to get your bank account. And IG. Uh, I still was going to make a video about how America can get a bank account, but I don't think I can do that anymore. Why? I've been better off showing off my journey. Why? Has anybody, has any police come up to you and said, hey, you're under arrest? Bro, you're not in any danger, bro. They, they, they did a hit job on social media dude tell them to suck your dick bro fuck bruh oh my god and this is what when it comes down to being a man and standing on 10 that's what i mean by standing on 10 i'm not saying he go and you know act foolish in the streets i'm saying he need to stand on 10 man if he got a blick up blick up if he got to carry a blade carry a blade and i dare one of them niggas to try me bro straight up dirty rather than just women so and I would, you know, that's pretty much wrapping up what I have to say. This is longer than my Portuguese version. Okay, so um, look, it says, looks like the Brazilian feminists are trying to falsely accuse you, bro. And then um, this woman says, LOL, we knocked out a congressman in Brazil with similar thoughts about women. Who is this YouTuber? Let's go after him. Man. Gang up, nigga. You need to get connected with some real gangsters. And Sao Paulo, some real gangsters in Rio, bro, you need to get down with the gang. <laughs> and I wouldn't advise this in any other situation. I really wouldn't. Like, if, if, you, if you talk about gang culture in the States, I'd say, hey, look, you know, it is what it is. I don't want no parts of it. You know, I, I have no disrespect for these niggas, but I'm not a part of it. Uh, but when it comes to being overseas, bro, pay some real niggas for your protection. That's what I'm, uh, you know, vet them, make sure that they're doing this for other people, okay? And get down with the cause, nigga. Get down under the umbrella of what really runs the country. These feminists would never say that to their men. Why? Because they'd get butchered. That's the reality. Uh, it, it's a horrible thing. It's deplorable. They should not do it. Those, those individuals are savages. 40 thousand murders a year they're animals they're animals they are sacrificing people to the sun god no remorse the gore the whore the videos that are coming out of brazil are disgusting guess what the feminists have no smoke for them none at all none at all Feminists have no smoke. Sorry. Sorry. The number one, the number one cause for homicide, domestic disputes. Y'all getting y'all ass whooped down there in Brazil. So I understand why there's such an extreme push for the feminism because, yeah, it's like that down there. But for them to single out and isolate Austin Holloman, he was doing a little too much. I do agree that he was doing a little too much. Um, <clears throat> once he got to Brazil, you know, honestly, he should have became like one of these, uh, like one of these Derek Jackson type niggas. Man, the Brazilian women are there are just amazing, and they, you know, what I'm saying. If if you were like, he should have started going the Derek Jackson route. Honestly, once he got to Brazil. Uh, but you know, rebranding move, I, you know, it's hard for somebody to put on a personality that that's, they're not genuine about unless they're just like, straight. that's why I could never done my shit down. I try, I try, I try, but I can't do it, bro. I can't do it, man. I, I got to talk my shit. I'm going to say whatever the fuck I want, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. And I'm standing on it. I'm standing on it. I'm telling you, bro. Uh, but uh, anyways, yeah, so they pressed up on him. If I was him, I would have told that bitch to eat a fucking dick. You know what I mean? And got down with them niggas, paid a nigga, uh, paid a nigga my monthly YouTube salary. How about that? Dude, I'm paying that nigga. Matter of fact, I'll pay the nigga 20% of my monthly monthly YouTube salary to be down. Straight up. It, 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 it's not extortion if you go to them first. It's not extortion if you go to them first. Then it's just business. But when they come to you and press you at the airport, that's extortion. 
But when you go straight to them, like, oh, hey, psh, nigga, what? Hey, security? Yeah. Yeah, these bitches talking shit online. I just want to make sure I have a good time. Okay, word. We down. Okay, nobody going to touch you, bro. Whatever the fuck. However the fuck you say that in Portuguese. That's what you do, bro. That's what you do. Straight up. That's how you handle shit down there. Cops can't do shit for you. They're not going to arrest you. You think they're going to arrest an American? Unless he really did some shit. I know they love saying, oh, well, you're a black man. And da -da -da -da. Bob. Bob. Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. That's the reality. So I, I think that, yes, he probably should have left for a little bit. But, bro, you know, let it cool down. Pull back up. You good, bro. Because I can elaborate in English, like I said. But I would also like to say that on several occasions, I tried to reach out to her name. I believe it's Stephanie, uh, which is the woman on Instagram and Twitter. And that's what they do. They at you. They talk shit about you. And then and then when you reach out and try and get a conversation, they don't want to have a conversation just like Jaden. That's why he's in the chat. Like, you know, all this all this bullshit. But he won't get on the stream, even though I've let up two people who disagree. I, I let up one guy who agreed with me and another person who disagreed with me on the stream. And we had a civil discord. But Jaden can't he can't hop on the stream because, you know, <laughs> bro, if you hate me so much, why are you here on every damn stream? It's crazy. Uh, that has been blasting my posts and tagging the U.S. Embassy and the federal uh, Policia Federal and all these other big names and stuff like that. And I asked her, and I have the photos. I asked her, could I come to her platform? Because she's, I told her, okay, look, I, I. And that's where you fucked up. We don't negotiate with terrorists, bitch. If I see you in the streets, I'm gonna slap the shit out you. Not literally, but. <laughs> like come on bruh we don't negotiate with terrorists bruh you are the enemy now now it's up now it's up you don't put my name out there it's up you had connections to write little goofy ass articles it's up look at the demographics of the people who visit their site it's it's hella bitches bro the the niggas don't even know who you are they don't have no smoke for you now i heard he got the fighting out there you gotta chill with that shit but other than that, bro, like, come on, dude. Come on. Get it. What do I need to do to, to stop this? Because this is getting out of hand. And she said, apologize. I said, could I? Man, I'll use it to clout up, bro. This is what these guys don't understand. Use it to get more clout. Stand 10 toes on it. He probably could have gained 100,000 Brazilian followers if he would have just stood on it. No cap. And then shit, leave the country, yeah, for a little bit, but then, boom, you sliding right back. Now you're a fucking god. Y'all got to stop capitulating to the mob when you stand on that shit. I'm telling you right now, people respect you more and you get more followers. All the people who, huh, well, I'm sorry that I said this and this was insensitive. No, nigga, I'm going I'm to explain why I said it, and then we could pick up the pieces where, where, we, where we lay off. And that's all I can do for you, bro. I emailed her and I messaged her on Instagram. I said, can I come to your platform since your platform is the one catching all the attention? You have more Brazilian followers than I do. If I do it on my platform, it's pretty much all Americans almost is going to see it. Who cares? 1.7% of my audience, I believe, is Brazilian. So it's not going to make a difference if I do it on my platform. I asked her, can I go to your platform and apologize publicly so we can get this, you know, and so I can at least have the people can hear me say my perspective and the truth. Lord Unfortunately, have mercy. Uh, those requests were rejected and denied. Mm. And I, I have photos where she didn't respond to that. She would respond to a different text, but she didn't respond to that text. Y'all see it. Shout out to my guy, Matthew Sharp. He says women know what they are doing. Absolutely. Do stand on that shit. Stand on it. You 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 broke no laws. Okay. You broke no laws. What's the problem? I would have told that bitch to bite me, bro. Fuck out of here. Jesus. That oh, you know, she so she's pretty much not gonna let me respond from what I can understand. And I think she's trying Nigga. to make me a target, which she said. 
Get down, bro. I'm telling you right now, reach out to some real niggas and get down. Pay them what you got to pay them, monthly, whatever. Get down with some bros, bro, so you are good in the city. You have to, sometimes you got to pay for respect. People respect that dollar. Sometimes you pay for respect, straight up. <clears throat> sometimes you pay for respect. I think there's a, a white YouTuber who's out, who's who's in in brazil too let me see is that is that the john anthony um lifestyle guy right i think so he's in brazil too yeah he's in brazil and he actually for one i think he admitted to dating a transgender or some shit or having sex with a transgender a couple times and then for two he's out there teaching guys how to date overseas and use women to get more women. I mean, look at this. He says, my three Brazilian girlfriends preparing for the barbecue. And the thing, and say what you want about John Anthony lifestyle, he's standing on his shit. He fucked the transgender, and instead of trying to lie and whatnot, he admitted that shit. I wouldn't do that, but he's standing on that shit, and I can respect that. Preparing for the barbecue. Preparing for the barbecue. Woo! He got Brazilian women. He's filming them. They're all cooking for him. Oh, my God. That's it. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> They're doing a lot. <laughs> Are they held captive? I mean, he allegedly smashed some transgenders, but hell. I mean, he's he, he's turned. He's turned. I mean, he's turned, bro. You you can't deny that. Now, me personally, I'm not with the Transformer stuff, but he's literally doing the he's pulling the Andrew Tate using women to get other women and money as well, obviously. And no smoke for him. You don't see the feminist writing anything about him. Try this trick today to get more women. So for the next 10 days, I want you to approach at least one attractive stranger that you see out in public. That means you're going to be talking to 10 different girls. And the goal of each conversation is just to have some small talk, flirt a little bit, and then ask for her number for the purpose of taking her out on a date. You don't want to just say, hey, can I have your number? You say, hey, we should go out for coffee sometime. Hey, we should go out for drinks sometime. Yeah, sounds good. Cool, let me grab your number. When are you free? And then you plan an exact date. Okay, so by going out... Bro, this nigga is systematically training guys how to pick up girls and using a woman to, I mean, come on, bro. And they got smoke for Austin. Dude, Austin, you're straight. You're straight, bro. You're, you're, you all good, bro. Maybe grow your hair out, get a fro or something like that, but you good, bro. Stop letting these people scare you, man. Blick up whatever you got to do, nigga. Successfully doing that in Brazil. Somebody said, I have no respect for that man. Come on. Why? I mean, what's the problem? Uh, you got to respect. I respect business. I, and I stand on business. I respect business. The man's got a business that works. And he's fucking hella hoes. So he's living the life that he wants. I've seen people come out and say, oh, well, you know, working with John Anthony Lifestyle, it was a toxic environment. Maybe, but nobody said he broke any laws. OK, uh, the, the man is standing on business. So um, <clears throat> it's some bullshit. And I don't know. He did a video on Andrew Tate. I don't know really what he's saying, but he's in Brazil approaching women and, and, and doing all the shit that people are saying is sex tourism. And nobody has smoke for him. OK, um, you know, I, I'm not big on the obviously I'm not big on the transformer shit. But if he genuinely got tricked, then I can understand that. But if he's like just outwardly just, okay, I'm attracted to transsexuals and, you know, I'm going to fuck them. Uh, I mean, but then again, a lot of shit gets a pass in the white community. Like white people, you know, sometimes they might participate in a homosexual act once or twice in their life. And, you know, they just don't give a fuck. That's I, I think that's why there's been a push on, you know, uh, stop being homophobic because there are a lot of people and it's not just white people it's black people too who have done one or two you know maybe three homosexual acts in their life and maybe they do prefer women but they've done some homosexual acts in their life 
Um, I don't think I don't know if he would fuck a guy. Well, he did fuck a guy, Transformer. Um, but I'm not trying to justify it. But what I am saying is that that really doesn't change the fact that like, OK, how about this? Which and I don't even I don't like Bill Gates at all, but he was seen with Jeffrey Epstein and all da, 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 whatever you want to say. Um, it is what it is. You know, unfortunately, uh, he might have he might have did that thing with the underage girls and whatnot. And he, you know, he's a piece of shit if he did that, if there's evidence. But um, and, and, and apparently his wife divorced him for his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. But that doesn't change the fact that he created Microsoft. Now, I'm not saying that he ain't a piece of shit and he's not a horrible person. I'm not saying that. But that don't change the fact that he created Microsoft. OK, that don't change that. It, it Yes, it may change like your perception of him, like Michael Jackson. OK, I genuinely believe that he was touching them kids. That doesn't change the fact that he's the greatest pop star to ever live. It sounds bad, but it's the truth. And, and that's what I'm about. I'm about the truth. OK, I think Michael Jackson did that shit. I think Bill Gates did that shit. I think. Other guys have done that shit. It doesn't change that. Okay, uh, George Soros, right? You know, even with all his shit, we don't fuck with him. But at the end of the day, he's a fucking billionaire and he owns the world. So it's like, shit, you got to respect that. It's not that you you think he's a good person and you like him genuinely, but you respect it. And you're, you, you have to respect it. You better respect it. Or they're going to Andrew Tate you. Point blank. So I think Andrew Tate fucked up because he didn't respect the billionaires. You got to respect them niggas. Yes, they may not be in shape. Yeah, they might be a lard ass. Yeah, they might be doing human sacrifice shit and all types of weird shit. But they know how to get the fucking job done. And and you have to respect that. You have no choice but to respect that. And uh, she even said it right here in this photo. In that photo, she's saying basically she wants me to be a target and that she wants to kill me, uh, have me killed, kill me. I don't know whichever one, but she said it right there. Okay, so whose money is longer? Who's willing to put that that bread down? Who's willing to shit? Because if she, if you want me killed, bitch, I want you killed too. Then it's up. If you want me killed, shit, monkey see, monkey do, bitch. Fuck is you talking about? You you, you put a hit out on me, shit. I'm gonna put one right back on you. Hypothetically, allegedly. <laughs> okay. We could go tit for tat. We can go eye for eye. And I guarantee your bitch ass gonna be blind before I am. Point blank. That's how you stand on that shit. Okay, bitch. If I see you out, it's up. Straight up. Straight up. And I, I think that's why she doesn't want me to apologize because she has her mind made up that she wants me dead. And I don't, I don't, I, I really don't know. So I just took it upon myself to make this video to speak up for myself, even though less than 2% of my audience is Brazilian. I at least want to show effort and apologize again that I had no negative intent uh, on giving, I mean, I had no negative intent on placing a negative perception on Brazil. I had no intent on placing a negative perception of Brazil or the culture or anything, the beaches, anything, the people, anybody. I love Brazil. Uh, I love living in Brazil. Take out this nigga shook. <laughs> Look, man, I, I like Austin. Austin, I've been on the stream. I fuck with Austin Holloman. Don't get me wrong. But when it comes to being a man, um, you know, obviously he's young, bro. You have to stand on that shit, bro. And it, and I, if I was his brother, like blood brother, I would say, bro, fuck them niggas, bro. What is you talking about? It's plenty of dudes doing way more damage than Austin. I mean, Anthony Lifestyle, shit, he's fucking all types of Brazilian hoes, man. He and let me let me keep it a buck. If he can do it, damn near anybody can go out there. OK. If he can do it, anybody can go out there. And do it. So and Austin objectively is way more attractive than um, Anthony Lifestyle. Austin just needs a team around him and it needs to be a Brazilian team. It needs to be a Brazilian team. 
Straight up. Straight up. It needs to be a Brazilian team. And you're good. <laughs> I, I mean, sometimes you do have to build these relationships. I get it. People don't want me there now. They think that I disrespect them. I mean, even even the women, you know, I did know in Brazil. Uh, you know, we knew each other for months. And because Stephanie posts these videos and her perspective on how she views the video. Hot blocking. The women that I've been nice to and respected for months all of a sudden don't like me anymore. Fuck them hoes then, bruh. Straight up. Fuck them bitches. Abundance mindset. Abundance mindset. Okay. So I don't know. You know, I, I guess they don't. They just go off whatever she says. But I'm just here to say that I'm apologizing. And uh, yeah, I mean, however you want to take it. I'm sorry for posting the videos. I've already taken the videos down. Uh, I won't do it again. But yeah, I appreciate you uh, <laughs> watching the video. Thank you very much. Hello, I won't. You. I won't do it again. Is crazy. I won't do it again. Oh God, man! Don't let these hoes scare you, bro. In, unless she really got motion like that in the streets, she you, she can't get you touched, bro. Unless she really is gonna like call call a legit hit on you, which could she have motion in the streets like that? Maybe, but I, from what my understanding of the culture. The men, the, like I said, Brazil has the largest MGTOW population in the world. Okay. Um, why not, says Anthony Lifestyle is basically a pimp slash groomer. Had the women recruiting for the team. Um, okay, so what's wrong with having a woman recruiting for the team? I really don't understand this, this, this issue. People are trying to compare Tate's girls to Ghislaine Maxwell. Um, no, boo boo. Ghislaine Maxwell was grooming underage women. When these women are of age, it's a whole different story. I'm going to break down the Andrew Tate shit. I just want to wait for more facts to come out. I want to wait for more facts to come out. Um, right now I'm, I'm rocking with Tate. I think it's bullshit. I think a lot of it is bullshit. And I think, you know, he self snitched for sure. Like he was talking too much shit online about illegal activities. You can talk your shit online. Just don't say no illegal shit. Okay. Just don't say no legal shit. Um, but yeah, I I I think that um yeah, I I think that uh it's bullshit. And I want to talk about it later, but uh I had to break down this Austin Holloman shit, bro. Because I like Austin and I think that he should have stood 10 toes. That's my main critique of him. You know, if he was in the states and getting death threats in the states from women in the states, I guarantee he wouldn't have gave a fuck. Oh, you been man, fuck them hoes. I don't give a fuck. I'm in Houston, bitch. We got guns out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a different mindset. I get it when you're overseas, but um, I wouldn't have been scared at all, honestly. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, people people have given me death threats from TikTok, dude. And, and, and I'm in Atlanta, and I literally cover content on crime where, like, you know, it's real niggas, like, real niggas in my DMs talking about, hey, you little nigga, take that video down. And I'm like, hey, little nigga, fuck you. Or come on my live stream. And we'll talk about it because if, if you don't want to have a conversation, I'm not taking my damn video down straight up. I might change the title. I might change the title if you ask me, hey, you know, I think that title was wild. You know what I'm saying? Out of respect for my family, I might change it, you know, out of respect. But you're not going to tell me to take no fucking video down at all. OK, at all. OK, so he says nothing wrong. Just saying I see that. I mean, if he ain't doing nothing illegal, those y'all keep trying to take accountability from the women. And, and it's just like, bro, if we're equal, if if men and women are equal, then then if I get if I go on a fucking yacht with, you know, a whole bunch of gay dudes and they're all flirting with me and da da da, da and they want to fuck me, then it's my fault if I end up getting fucked. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like you're you're putting you're you're trying to take all the autonomy away from women like they don't have a choice, bro. These women have a choice. You seen they were showing pussy on his little uh video that he posted. So th there are issues, bro. 
there are fucking issues with what's going on um, out here. And I think Austin Holloman, he should have just stood 10 toes. I don't think he was in really any real danger. I don't think he's in any real danger. Um, it looks like he's dropping the geolocation uh, in his YouTube videos as well. Um, but yeah, uh, Carlos Pagan says, I think I like, he said, I think like you said, having a team around him that included dudes from the area would have helped him out. Yeah, exactly. Like, bro, it ain't no smoke. If I, if, if I befriend two or three Brazilian guys who I know are like, you know, some real dudes, bro, you're Gucci. <clears throat> um, so people are in the comment section, whatnot. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Carlos said I would have stayed. Fuck the apology. Yeah, I ain't break no laws, bitch. Fuck out of here. Y'all can contact the U.S. Embassy if you want, and they can eat my dick too. I didn't break no laws, point blank. And that's and that's the end of discussion. That's the end of discussion. Okay, straight up. So I think more men need to stand on business, stand on principle, um, stand on their word. Word is bond for me, so I'm standing on my word. <laughs> do I do I exaggerate? Do I you know uh, use hyperbole to entertain you guys? Absolutely. Wouldn't be any y'all wouldn't be here five hours with me. Twenty people in the chat five hours later. You wouldn't be here if I didn't. So do we get amped up? Do we have fun? Do we make jokes? Yes. But at the end of the day, you're not finna come on my shit and say, oh, well, I didn't like the way that you said this. Yeah. Mm, okay. And all right. So anyways, <laughs> you already know what it is, man. I appreciate everybody who came in here. Y'all already know. It's your boy, Reclaiming Tone. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Same relationship with questions to the email down below with a screenshot of your cash. I'm so new. you paying your ties, man. Y'all need to be on your my freaking name with the BS. You already know. We want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.